I studied gangster films to pose as a mafia boss. But unexpectedly a foolish rich second generation believed me. And directly paid me 10 million in protection fees. He also introduced to me the recently divorced female supervisor. All because I inadvertently obtained a top secret dossier that revealed the company would go bankrupt in five days. By selling this information to the boss ahead of time there was a chance to root out the mole and avert disaster. However, as I continued to read the content I was stunned. Li Yuzhen the eldest granddaughter of the main family of the Li clan in Yanjing city, is surrounded by 18 security guards all top-tier retired special forces. There's a pistol in her office desk drawer always loaded. I envisioned the scenes within the office building. Under the watchful eye of a security guard I approached Li Yuzhen, when suddenly the woman raised her pistol at me. The thought of this scene made me break out in a cold sweat my legs going weak, but facing this once-in-a-lifetime chance to change my fate. I clenched my fists and after much thought came up with a plan that was to sell the information to Li Yuzhen as an intelligence dealer. What I needed to do was to maintain an air of mystery. So I quickly played the movie The Godfather on my laptop and began to learn and mimic The Godfather's demeanor. I also bought several imitation guns online, a mysterious informant should have a more secretive organization behind him. I cast myself as a cold-blooded assassin who has experienced life and death and whose hands are covered in blood, the most crucial aspect was the look and expression. So holding a gun to my reflection in the mirror my expression became restrained, my gaze gradually indifferent as if the gun's barrel was coming closer to my very soul an increasing sense of immersion and identification. It felt as if the gun was really pressed against my forehead the fear of death making my body shiver uncontrollably, in the days that followed I watched extremely gory horror films. And as the terrifying scenes unfolded before my eyes my gaze grew colder and more detached. Today happened to be the day before the company's collapse and after sending all my colleagues away I took out my phone and dialed that number. At that moment on the 58th floor of the same building Li Yuzhen took out a silver gray feature phone from her drawer. Seeing an unfamiliar number she frowned slightly and asked who is this, I sat in the dim fire escape with a hint of a smile and said hello Miss Li. Li Yuzhen blurted out who are you? I just chuckled and said Li Yuzhen I truly pity you. In our eyes you are like a beautiful canary trapped in a gilded cage performing a struggle with an already determined end. In the office Li Yuzhen's face turned colder, who are you? But I continued to recite the script I had written. A dangerous aura pouring out from Li Yuzhen, after a long thought she asked in a deep voice, what do you want to say, I'm here to help you I said after a pause. Send someone to pick me up in 50 minutes, as for the location I think it's not difficult for Miss Li to guess, I hung up first then dusted off my clothes and returned to my workstation quietly waiting for the person to come for me, it only took 10 minutes for Li Yuzhen to get my file, Lu Ping 26 years old a company employee. With a file so ordinary it couldn't be more ordinary, yet Li Yuzhen's expression was unusually solemn. I had worked in this building for two years and she had moved into this building exactly two years ago. Li Yuzhen didn't think this was a coincidence, staring at the surveillance screen on her computer Li Yuzhen murmured, who are you really? At 6 o'clock a woman of exceptional bearing appeared outside the office. Our eyes met and with a light smile on my face I called out her identity, Secretary Chow let's go. Secretary Chow looking displeased gestured for me to follow. We then took the elevator to the 58th floor a place only those summoned by Li Yuzhen are privileged to enter, along the lengthy corridor. A row of security guards in black uniforms stood at intervals of 1, 5 meters. I had rehearsed the scene in my mind but still my legs felt weak as I faced them. I had to remain calm and continue to Li Yuzhen's office. A middle-aged man with a long face stepped forward and said excuse me. With a composed smile I handed my briefcase to Secretary Chow and recited the lines I had prepared, I am someone who always follows the rules. Then looking up to meet the middle-aged man's gaze I said I'm sorry for the trouble Captain Bao. Bao Hui Gun gave me a meaningful glance, in the company. He used the alias Zhang Wenrong a name only known by Li Yuzhen and a few others from the Li family. I turned around pushed up my glasses and asked Captain Bao is the check complete? The middle-aged man didn't respond but moved to the side of the door. Secretary Chow once again gestured for me to enter. Upon hearing the door open Li Yuzhen finished the last page of her document and then looked up. So it turns out the subject of the investigation is an employee in my office building, I thought someone had stolen your information, what is your purpose? I calmly pulled out a chair and sat down smiling lightly as I looked into Li Yuzhen's eyes, haven't I already said, I'm here to help you. Li Yuzhen took off her glasses her red lips slightly parting. Based on you, how can you help, help me kill Song Ziwen? I looked at Li Yuzhen with a smile, that's not impossible as long as you agree to be my woman. Upon hearing this Li Yuzhen's expression immediately turned cold, 
she pulled open a drawer to take out a silver white pistol. Its dark muzzle suddenly pressed against my forehead, speak, who sent you, just a light press of her finger would cause my head to burst open like a watermelon. Yet my eyes did not blink once, instead. I admired her graceful figure and said lightly, a cold M2000 pistol a birthday present from your grandfather when you were young. Li Jianguo held you in his arms and said boldly, who says women are inferior to men? From now on my granddaughter Yuzhen is the tiger daughter of the Li family. Upon hearing this Li Yuzhen's expression revealed surprise and shock because at that time only she and her grandfather were present. And even to this day she might have forgotten what her grandfather looked like. Li Yuzhen sat back down her voice cold, get to the point. I raised my eyebrows and introduced myself again, let me reintroduce myself, I am an information broker who sells intelligence to those in need. My surname is Lu and you can call me Mr. Lu. In the past two years Song Ziwen has planted one spy after another around you. Although you have each chosen different paths for a bet at the moment your Chuhi is in its ascendant phase. And Song Ziwen has become restless, by the time I finish laying out all the information Li Yuzhen with a cold gaze spat out two words, what price? Let's give you a favorable price 10 million I said. Without a moment's hesitation Li Yuzhen firmly stated deal, then. I took a pen and paper writing down one name after another along with their corresponding events finishing with my own bank account number. Li Yuzhen glanced at the list in the notebook her gaze still calm, after a long pause she pressed a button on the edge of the desk, Xiao Xiao, come to my office she said. As her voice faded within a minute or two Chao Xiaowei, the second secretary who had greeted me earlier respectfully pushed open the door and entered the office. Li Yuzhen's tone carried an icy edge of interrogation, you've taken 5 million from Song Ziwen over the past two years. Chao Xiaowei chosen by Song Ziwen naturally possessed strong mental fortitude, even after hearing these words she remained composed. Where did you get this information presently? I am willing to have all my bank accounts and transactions publicly investigated by someone you appoint. Li Yuzhen watched her speaking coldly, Yu Li Jin Feng Tan Liang Feng Dan. You've got quite the nerve to take me for a fool, as each name was exposed Chao Xiaowei struggled to conceal her reaction, her pupils contracting. But still, a moment of panic was captured by Li Yuzhen. Suddenly a gunshot rang out with a loud bang. I wiped the corner of my eye and looked at the fresh blood on my fingertips. Only to see Chao Xiaowei who had been trying to explain with trembling lips collapsing at my feet. This was my first time witnessing a shooting at close range and I was thoroughly terrified but dared not show the slightest bit of it. Keeping the forced smile of someone used to toughing up on my face, behind the desk Li Yuzhen's expression was very cold. After skillfully putting the handgun back in its place she said indifferently Mr. Lu I apologize for the unpleasantness. I was frantically scratching the floor with my toes to relieve the pressure all the while responding with a light chuckle. Miss Li truly lives up to the name of the Li family's tigress such decisiveness is rare, upon hearing this. Li Yuzhen cracked a smile then took out another cell phone from the drawer and tapped the screen. Mr. Lu the transaction fee has been transferred to you. I looked at the long string of zeros in the text message not daring to look too closely. I diverted my gaze, still smiling and waving my hand, it was a pleasure doing business with you. I shall not disturb Miss Li any further, I calmly reached for my briefcase and Li Yuzhen also stood up from behind her desk, I'll see Mr. Lu out, as I got up to leave. Looking down I saw Chao Xiaowei with a bullet embedded in her forehead. Her pale face with wide open eyes staring directly at me, this brief eye contact sent my heart racing. But out of the corner of my eye, I saw Li Yuzhen watching me, so once again I forced myself to appear calm. Nudging Chao Xiaowei's head to the side with the tip of my shoe. At the office door Li Yuzhen paused and said I've prepared a car to take you home. My smile faltered at her words if possible I would prefer to take the subway but now was clearly not the time to refuse. So I could only nod calmly, then Li Yuzhen extended her hand and said I hope we have the opportunity to work together again. I lightly held Li Yuzhen's hand while continuing to read from the script I had prepared in advance. It seems Miss Li is very satisfied with our cooperation which puts my mind at ease. Then Bao Huijun led me to the underground garage and escorted me to a pure black Maybach. Just as I was about to step into the car I saw a beautiful woman in business attire sitting in the back seat her eyes covered by a black cloth. Despite this I recognized her it was Lin Shoyue my former supervisor whom I had once had feelings for. After settling into the car I exhaled deeply because during this transaction I had discovered a potential within myself that I had never tapped into before. It seemed that the more tense and dangerous the situation the more I was able to maintain a facade of calm and rationality. Just as I was about to continue pondering the sole of a foot hooked in a wine-red high heel slowly caressed past my calf with its tip. The owner of the delicate foot seemed very nervous with the tip quivering incessantly. 
Seeing this I calmly asked with a slight smile, Miss Lee is there something you want to say? Mr. Lee said that if you like I am your gift, she mentioned that you can use it with confidence no matter where you are. Since Lin Xiaoyue's eyes were covered with a black cloth she didn't yet know I was her subordinate. At that moment I propped my chin and teasingly asked is this voluntary? Lin Xiaoyue pursed her lips and nodded then continued my name is Lin Xiaoyue I'm the administrative director of the company 33 years old 1, 73 meters tall weighing 105 pounds. I was married once three years ago but my husband died in a car accident two years ago, now it's just my two-year-old daughter and me. Upon hearing this I broke into a smile and said alright that's enough for now, half an hour later the vehicle stopped outside an old residential complex. I walked steadily with my briefcase in hand though my rapid intense breathing was no longer concealed. It wasn't until I entered the pitch black stairwell that I took two steps at a time to the second floor, in the darkness I clenched my fists and exaggerated fierce expression on my otherwise calm face. Not knowing how long it took before I stopped, I hastily took out my phone which had been silenced earlier, and saw a message pop up, Mr. Jiaogua with the last digits 9527 had a bank transfer on December 16 at 1845 depositing an amount of 10 million. Counting the numbers with my fingers my cheeks flushed I swallowed hard, this was what I could have earned only after working hard and saving for 70 years. I wanted to roar wildly with my mouth agape but at that moment footsteps sounded from below. Taking a deep breath I continued upstairs with my briefcase towards the third floor and pushed open the door of the shared apartment only to see my roommate Xia Mindan wearing a silk slip dress emerging from the mist. Lu Ping your back she said suddenly pausing in her hair drying motion, she often teased me like this. And usually, I would blush and weakly call out Sister Dan before hastily retreating to my room, but today I gave no such reaction. So she looked towards the figure at the door only to see my burning gaze fixed on her. Yet, she didn't feel offended, instead, with one hand on the door frame. She gently lifted her beautiful leg running her fingers over the skin, and asked, Lu Ping do I look beautiful? The fire that had been ignited in the car by my supervisor had not yet been extinguished and at this sight a surge of impulse welled up inside me. However, at that moment Sister Dan quickly retracted her leg and hurried towards her bedroom, clearly she too was worried that she had gone too far. As the woman was about to close her bedroom door I suddenly called out, Sister Dan you once said you wanted to be the mistress of a top wealthy man. I swallowed before continuing how much money would it take for you to be my mistress? With that statement the atmosphere in the room froze instantly, Xia Mindan surveyed the man standing at the door holding a briefcase and dressed in work attire. After a moment her face lit up with a radiant smile, for any other man it would take at least 10 billion but for you I think just 1 billion would suffice. Lu Ping you have to work hard, your sister is waiting to be your mistress, with those words and a smile still on her lips she closed the door. At this moment I withdrew my gaze and my heart which had been beating rapidly gradually calmed down. How could I have said such things? Was that really me just now? Since childhood I have been an honest and well-behaved person yet since receiving those 10 million my ambition and desires completely broke through my rationality. As I looked at myself in the mirror an indescribable fear rushed into my mind. It was then that I glanced down and noticed at my feet the ghastly image of Chao Shaowi. I immediately took off my leather shoe and threw it away but when I looked again it seemed as though I saw a fierce face begging for help, swallowing my saliva continuously. I don't know how long it was before I shakily stood up barefoot and, gathering my courage, picked up the heel of the shoe with two fingers placing it into the kitchen waste and throwing it into the garbage bin. After doing all this I immediately took a hot shower which slowly subdued the fear within me. Meanwhile in the office of Li Yuzhen, Bao Huijun had brought back some items from Chao Shelwi's apartment. Li Yuzhen opened the sealed bag, glanced at it without much interest and then pressed it down with her palm. Find someone to replace Chao Shelwi's shadow, I will arrange for her to have an excuse of being on a business trip during the year-end promotion period she said. Additionally a specialized team was to be formed to assist the shadow in handling all of Chao Shelwi's social interactions for the next month. After becoming aware of all the undercover opportunities at her disposal Li Yuzhen made an extremely crazy decision. She decided to go along with Song Ziwen's plan waiting for him to stir up public opinion, she would then use the momentum he created for a classic major comeback. This was the audacity of Li Yuzhen the eldest daughter of the Li family's main branch in Yinjing City. Bao Huijun stiffened his body and nodded solemnly. Tapping her fingertips on the desk Li Yuzhen then asked what do you think about Mr. Lu? Bao Huijun's gaze sharpened and he uttered two words very mysterious. But suddenly as if recalling something Bao Huijun added before Mr. Lu entered the lady's office I conducted a routine check on him and found Mr. Lu seemed very nervous. Upon learning this Li Yuzhen immediately carried out a frame-by-frame -frame analysis of the surveillance footage. 
Two and a half minutes later, she made a very bold conclusion, suggesting that the nervousness I occasionally showed was likely intentional for the cameras. After a pause, the woman's red lips curled up high and she said, interesting truly interesting. Just then having finished my shower and returned to the bedroom. I noticed another piece of confidential intelligence in front of the bookcase, I almost wet myself with fright at the mere glance. Immediately, I turned on the movie Infernal Affairs and began to mimic the boss eating lunch and the police station went to the library to read authoritative books on actors' self-cultivation and noted the key points. While visualizing the image of a godfather I made thorough preparations and the next day went to work as usual. But just as I was about to enter the office building, I encountered Lin Shouyue who had served me in the car the night before, a group of colleagues were surrounding her with wild congratulations. She had been promoted from administrative manager to director. I knew at a glance that this must be Li Yuzhen's reward for her service to me. Lin Xiaoyue walked into the hall trying to appear calm but the images from the previous night lingered long in my mind. Even though my eyes were covered and I hadn't seen the person's face I was sure that he must be quite young. Just as I was about to sit down at my workstation, the supervisor's figure suddenly appeared at the office door and said Li Yuzhen asked me to coordinate work with Lin Xiaoyue. On hearing this, my eyelids twitched and while I was pondering how to deal with the situation later. My good friend Dashi suddenly slapped me on the shoulder and said what are you standing there for, let's go. Soon he and I took the elevator up to the 48th floor, following closely behind Dishur I tried to avoid the surveillance cameras. Unexpectedly the camera above us suddenly began to rotate. Sending a surge of heat through my blood, the image of Chao Xiaowei's death flashed before my eyes. And although I desperately wanted to dodge the camera's gaze my legs would not move. As the camera completed its turn toward me, I steadied my nerves, lifted the corners of my mouth into a smile, looked up directly into the lens, and said lightly we meet again. Li Yuzhen watched the surveillance her fingertips tapping on the desktop. Her cool eyes betraying a hint of confusion, she saw many contradictions in me a ferocious beast and a lamb should not coexist within the same person. At this moment I had reached the door of Lin Xiaoyue's office, where she was sketching the profile of a distinguished figure from the previous night. Suddenly Dishur joked your goddess has become a director. My smile was barely perceptible facing Li Yuzhen brought tension and pressure. But facing Lin Xiaoyue I felt an indescribable sense of challenge and liberation. After passing through the secretary's corridor I slowly stepped into the office. Lin Xiaoyue immediately put her sketchbook back into the drawer and picked up another document intending to finish reading it before dealing with us. However, she had barely started on the first page when her brow furrowed and her gaze shifted to me her pale back breaking out in goosebumps. For a moment she felt as though the featureless face of the mysterious man she had sketched in the drawer was the unremarkable office worker before her. But she quickly dismissed the thought, the esteemed figure that Director Lee values so much. How could he be a poor man with a monthly salary of 30,000? She thought to herself, then with a change in her demeanor she met my gaze and said, in our Sichuan he's year-end promotion plan, the part that your woman culture is responsible for is crucial. Just as the three of us were getting into the swing of our work discussion, the secretary suddenly knocked and entered, calling Dishur out for a meeting with the designers leaving only Lin Xiaoyue and me in the office. Without thinking, she raised her hand to shield her face, peering through the gaps between her fingers at the young man sitting before her only to find that my silhouette completely overlapped with the shadow behind the black cloth. Lin Xiaoyue's eyes widened in shock. She vaguely remembered a bump behind the man's earlobe, possibly a mole, to confirm her suspicion. She abruptly changed the subject Mr. Lu there's a document on the top shelf of the bookcase that I can't reach. Could you help me get it? I nodded meeting Lin Xiaoyue's gaze as she walked beside me guiding me to a file on the highest shelf. Then fixed her gaze on my right ear. Just then the door rattled again but she ignored the knocking and kept looking up only to find that I had already retrieved the folder and turned around. The secretary burst in once more Director Lin Director Kai requires your presence at a meeting now. Lin Xiaoyue nodded in acknowledgement and had to leave temporarily. Now alone in the spacious office. Both Di Shi and Lin Xiaoyue had been called away clearly this was no coincidence. Intelligence suggested that Li Yuzhen was very controlling so she must be watching me from her office right now. The most direct view would be from the area in front of me, thus I looked straight ahead smiled faintly. At that moment Li Yuzhen was observing me through the screen, then she zoomed in on the surveillance footage making even the text on my notes crystal clear, lines of design requirements and professional draft sketches, for the first time a hint of doubt and apprehension appeared on the woman's strong and stunningly beautiful face. If behind Lu Ping there truly was a massive entity capable of handling intelligence personnel with such meticulous realism the power and ambition behind it was beyond her imagination. The woman immediately closed the screen. 
After two and a half minutes, pushed open the office door of Lin Xiaoyu. We meet again, Mr. Lu. I considered my words carefully speaking with utmost calm, Miss Li wishes to see me and of course I am available at any time. Upon hearing this Li Yuzhen offered a faint smile, talking with someone as smart as you really is no fun. So I won't beat around the bush, Mr. Lu you've done me a great favor this time, I wonder if you would honor me by joining me for dinner? Feeling the woman's gaze I wanted to decline, dining could reveal too many intimate details. If Li Yuzhen shows western cuisine or something I had never even seen before I would quickly expose myself. Yet I chuckled lightly and took Li Yuzhen's right hand, then I shall look forward to it. Not until I saw Li Yuzhen leave the office did I breathe a sigh of relief. And immediately ran to the restroom stall to look up western dining etiquette on my phone. But as soon as I opened the first page I was stunned, French, Italian, English, all sorts of main courses including soup appetizers and entrees. So I decisively exited the page and turned off my phone, instead of clumsily imitating western etiquette it would be better to respond with composure. At a quarter past six in the evening I arrived at the underground parking garage as promised. A Mercedes stopped at my feet. After I got into the car Li Yuzhen put down the documents in her hands and looked towards me. Mr. Lu we meet again. The same words but with a different tone and expression she now had the allure of a top tier woman. My heart skipped a beat Li Yuzhen was indeed a woman of many faces. But my lips still smiled in response, to be remembered by Miss Li is truly an honor for me. Li Yuzhen didn't engage in much idle chat with me quickly refocusing on the documents and contracts in her hands. I looked out the window trying to stabilize my nervous emotions. But noticed the reflection of Li Yuzhen's feet in the window, just that glimpse was enough to captivate me. I couldn't help but marvel at the perfection of the proportions. However Li Yuzhen's cold voice suddenly rang in my ears, do you want to touch them? At her words the hairs on the back of my neck stood on end. Her gaze piercingly cold but no matter what I could not show fear. So once again I responded calmly, if it's possible. Li Yuzhen's red lips parted with a smile and then she lifted her right foot towards me. Somehow my fingers actually reached out slowly towards her calf. Li Yuzhen's smile remained but her eyes grew colder. Her left hand dropped to the side where according to the intelligence a handgun was also hidden. If I really dared to touch her she would undoubtedly shoot me without hesitation, if I really dared to touch her she would undoubtedly shoot me without hesitation. So, with a look of regret on my face, I withdrew my hand, perhaps another time. About 20 minutes later the car stopped in front of a classical building. Li Yuzhen took off her gold-rimmed glasses and smiled, Mr. Lu after you. The restaurant sign bore a string of French words I did not recognize, damn it how was I to confess that I had never eaten western food. At that moment Li Yuzhen poured me some champagne and then lifted her own glass. I watched the beauty before me with a mix of anxiety and excitement, as the crisp clinking sound rang out. Li Yuzhen took a sip and began to speak softly, this bottle of Perrier Jouet Belle Epoque Rose was made in 1996 and only 35 bottles were produced for that batch. Hearing this, I set down my glass and joked, I'm just an ordinary person, I don't even drink beer often let alone champagne or wine. Of course, I couldn't fool Li Yuzhen, with a probing tone, she asked it seems Mr. Lu doesn't have much of a taste for western cuisine. I shrugged my shoulders and responded honestly my status doesn't allow me to frequent these places often. Making Li Yuzhen appear to suddenly understand, no wonder Mr. Lu can achieve such heights. No wonder even after a thorough investigation of your background I still couldn't find the slightest flaw. The atmosphere gradually relaxed over the next few minutes, I thought I could easily get through the dinner. But then Li Yuzhen suddenly asked a probing question. Mr. Lu your circle is so mysterious and elusive that even my family's old master avoids discussing it, I wonder if Mr. Lu could share a thing or two with me. My heart skipped a beat, circle? What circle do I have? As I met Li Yuzhen's piercing gaze I frantically flipped through the two reports in my mind. Moments later I forced a smile and started speaking, it's a place untouched by sunlight a gathering place for the ambitious. Li Yuzhen's predatory eyes were fixed on me as she repeated my words and in that instant all the hairs on my body stood on end. So when the next dessert came, I quickly found an excuse to go to the restroom where I wiped the sweat from my body with a paper towel. From Li Yuzhen's reaction, she probably thought I was just a puppet with the real puppeteer still behind the scenes. Five minutes later, I returned to the table calmly and composedly. This seemed to be the best way to handle the situation, never try to explain when faced with skepticism. After we finished dinner, Li Yuzhen escorted me to the entrance of my residential complex. I watched her Mercedes drive away before entering the building. In the car, Li Yuzhen spoke coldly, How's the investigation going? Bao Weijun looked up at the rearview mirror and respectfully replied Miss according to the investigation there's nothing wrong with Mr. Lu's records. 
However, there was a time during his sophomore year when he became very excited, if he was recruited by some organization it would likely have been during that period. Upon hearing this Li Yuzhen closed her eyes each frame of our meeting flashing through her mind, after a while she judged in her heart, Lu Ping is just a puppet put forward by the intelligence organization. Meanwhile I had just returned to my rented place and couldn't wait to retrieve the two reports from behind the bookshelf. Li Yuzhen's company had no changes, Chao Shelwei's disappearance went unnoticed and the other spies were still at their respective positions. My pupils contracted as I read the content of the report, this woman actually planned to use their plan against them. Waiting for Song Ziwen to smear Chui company with dirt and when the heat reached its peak on the internet she would leverage it for a reversal. Under normal circumstances Li Yuzhen would have succeeded but unfortunately she was doomed to fail. The report clearly stated that as soon as Song Ziwen cut off the predetermined overseas freight logistics company through his family influence, the chain reaction of contract breaches and product damage would directly destroy Chu He leaving her with no chance of redemption. After clearing all my thoughts I opened the second report. Zhanghai is one of the core areas, much like a feudal lord's territory where many big shots do not fear the Li family nor are they intimidated by the Song family, in this patch of land it holds its own power, could it all be a coincidence? Lu Ping pondered as he undid the entangled knot, the intelligence involved the titans within Zhanghai's grey circles basking in the sunlight of their industry shipping, danger. This information was even more dangerous than the first, could I make the... Queen Li Yuzhen kneeled before me, begging me, pleading with me, Lu Ping gasped for air his eyes wide open. His body trembled, a tremor of nervousness, a tremor of excitement, the next day, work, in the conference room of woman culture Lu Ping was taking notes, a faint smile on his face as he watched his colleague Gudashi seriously explain the design requirements and assign tasks on the PPT, the major contract from Chuanha was overseen by Lu Ping and Gudashi who pulled together a design team to work on it collectively, Lu Ping Gudashi called out to him, to assert his authority he didn't use. The familiar Ra Ping but called his full name, do you have anything to add? No replied Lu Ping, Lu Ping and Zhang Yingying you two stay behind, the rest of you may go on with your tasks and report any issues to me at any time Gudashi spoke meticulously, with that he sat back down and began organizing the documents in front of him. One by one colleagues left the room Lu Ping and Zhang Yingying stayed seated one flipping through materials the other intently staring at the screen her long fingers tapping away at the keyboard, after the last colleague left. Closing the conference room door softly behind them, Click the sound of the door shutting resonated. Gudashi pushed the folder in front of him forward casually unbuttoning the top two buttons of his shirt and leaned back in his chair taking a long breath, this was a rare moment of seriousness from his usually casual demeanor, big stone brother so handsome, Zhang Yingying's eyes curved into crescents as she applauded and exclaimed, Lu Ping watched the scene his lips curling slightly upward, the pre-launch campaign for Chuanha Media has already started, I took the bus to work today and... All the billboards at the bus station were Chuanha's ads said Zhang Yingying after a moment. The two sitting there then spoke of Li Yuzhen's ambition from the floor above starting from today until Chuanha's big year-end promotion revealing a major brand each day with four special overseas events, the scale of it is just too large, I heard that Chuanha is burning through astronomical amounts of money every day, Gudashi added. After their conversation was filled with awe and emotion Lu Ping more aware than anyone of Li Yuzhen's investment in the year-end promotion still shared. The same reaction as Gudashi. At the same time, a deep anticipation and excitement for that grand event were growing in his heart, if no third-party forces intervened Li Yuzhen's all-in gamble would surely be destined to be the most spectacular fireworks display, after gossiping for a bit and discussing the main topic, the three left together, time passed second by second, in the afternoon Lu Ping finished his work and lifted his head to glance at the office a common, busy atmosphere enveloped his colleagues. He took a deep breath, the once intolerable monotony that he found numbing now gave him a sense of enjoyment and solidity, pushing up his black-framed glasses he lowered his head and drew a stack of white papers from the drawer beside him, he carefully sorted through the information of a certain individual from the second set of intelligence, jotting down the key elements. After reviewing it again, his grip tightened on the pen and then lines were drawn straight across from his hand. Covering all the information with lines, Lu Ping grabbed an A4 sheet of paper and walked to the paper shredder in the corner of the office, amidst the crunching sounds the recently noted information was turned into confetti, he grabbed a handful and spread it on his palm, sifting through to ensure no piece of information was missed, 
after confirming he grabbed another handful from the box of shredded paper before he turned to leave, tonight he was planning to start making contact with the individual from the second piece of intelligence. Lu Ping was an average company employee with not much courage yet he possessed extraordinary resilience, unusually strong resilience, at least in his few encounters with Li Yuzhen, despite his fear and panic he was never pushed to his limit, besides Lu Ping was decisive in action, once he made a final decision he would not back down or delay, the sky had completely darkened, it was a rare instance of working overtime. Okay, that's it for today Gudashi glanced at the time and said to Zhang Yingying and Lu Ping, I'm exhausted. Zhang Yingying heard this and immediately slumped over the desk, she stretched ostentatiously and said it's past 9 up ping yingying let's have some late night snacks before we go back, we'll treat ourselves this time and take a taxi directly, we'll ask sister Tan for reimbursement tomorrow, Kudashi said, the trio slung their bags over their shoulders and left the office, their company rarely demanded overtime and by this time most of their colleagues had already left, I bet Sichuan he is having everyone work overtime right now Gudashi remarked as they entered the elevator glancing at the Sichuan he floor indicator. Come the annual promotion those guys at Sichuan he will be wound up tight like clockwork, Zhang Yingying chimed in upon hearing this, they stepped outside the building into the bone-chilling winter night air, Zhang Yingying shivered and wrapped a red scarf from her bag around herself standing next to Lu Ping blowing on her hands to keep warm, before long a taxi pulled up, Gu Dashi gave Lu Ping a meaningful chuckle and then got into the front passenger seat. Zhang Yingying head lowered. Sat next to Lu Ping. After finishing their barbecue at a nearby shop, they went their separate ways. Master go to the color of lust bar. Lu Ping instructed the middle-aged, slightly chubby taxi driver as he got into the taxi. After the car drove off, he noticed that Gu Dashi was still standing there watching his taxi. Gu Dashi always appeared cheerful and carefree, but in reality, he was a very caring person. As the taxi drove away, Lu Ping's expression grew serious, he rested his chin on his hand, gazing out at the neon-lit city. For this piece of intelligence, Lu Ping chose not to directly approach the central figure but another individual who intersected with the core subject. The central figure was too terrifying. After merely skimming the material, Lu Ping dared not make contact. What kind of person can play the role of a lifelong hero revered and trusted by his followers, yet beneath that guise of righteousness lay chilling shrewdness and hypocrisy. Lu Ping was certain, if he were to rashly approach that person, based solely on the intelligence he might end up ruined under that benign appearance. Ding Qing Lu Ping whispered to himself, an absolutely tragic character and orphan taken in during his youth by that same formidable figure he became the sharpest blade under his command, shedding blood and risking his life for the old master handling the dirty work, as he reached middle age his territory and business began to stabilize, he fell in love with a woman, married her, and had a child. Coming from an orphaned background, having lived a life of constant upheaval what he yearned for the most was a family of his own. He finally had a lover had children, he didn't know, he didn't know, Ching Gu, with slightly curled short hair wearing a floral shirt the middle-aged man with a large gold chain stepped on the coffee table, singing Li Tian Wang's Red Sun with abandon, as the last note faded, all the men and women around him shouted in unison. The middle-aged man took the glass of alcohol from a seductive woman, tilted his head back to drink not minding that the liquid was soaking his clothes as it ran down. His neck. He leapt off the coffee table, two women with glamorous demeanors approached him, smiling and opening their arms to embrace him, one on each side, leaning against the central sofa, Chingu they cooed in a seductive voice. One woman took a cigarette from the pack, bit the filter with her lips, then approached the middle-aged man, amidst his laughter she was kissed and the cigarette was placed in his mouth. Just as he bit the cigarette, another girl hurriedly took out a metal lighter and on. The second tried lit it and brought it close to the middle-aged man's face, Chingu, the flickering flame reflected in his eyes, the cigarette was quickly lit and with a deep inhale he saw the sparks brighten spreading fast, Ding Ching exhaled a long breath and through the curling smoke his gaze seemed to blur, he thought he saw a pure and cheerful girl, his legs crossed he lay on the sofa with glamorous women on either side amusing him, flirting and posturing, in that private room it was a dizzying scene of luxury and wild revelry, Ding Ching took another drag of the cigarette exhaling a long plume of smoke, smoke, I don't want to be a widow so young, do you know what your lungs look like, a crisp voice echoed in his ears, the corners of Ding Ching's mouth unconsciously lifted, it was a Klitsch D story, 
a gang boss wounded in a fight with another group was saved by a woman as pure as a white lotus who took care of him with tender devotion, the unexpected reaction that followed the collision of their different worlds was after all true love, he remembered. It was the tail end of summer, at night he remembered the girl in a white dress wearing open-toe sandals, he didn't know, under the night sky, in the taxi. Lu Ping rested his chin on his hand looked up at the high-rise buildings lit with neon lights and sighed although he regards the old man as a father willing to be his sharpest blade ready to die for him, although he never had thoughts of supplanting him, yet his gradually growing influence and prestige still made him an object of the old man's jealousy, and so the appearance of that girl was for the old man just perfect. With love with a family then comes the greatest weakness and it becomes easier to be controlled. The hypocritical old man encouraged him to open up his heart to have a family, sir, we've arrived, right on time, the middle-aged, portly driver stopped the car expertly flipped the vacant sign and then looked into the rearview mirror at Lu Ping in the back seat shouting, WeChat, holding his phone, I've transferred it to you, Lu Ping said as he opened the car door, he stood outside the bar under the neon lights watching the diverse crowd of young people coming and going. Lu Ping glanced at himself. A suit shirt carrying a briefcase his appearance was out of place in such a setting. Standing at the curb, Lu Ping took a deep breath, pushed up his glasses on the bridge of his nose his gaze hardening growing cold, then he stepped forward heading towards the Jesha bar, the bar's disco was on the second floor, Lu Ping saw from a distance that the elevator doors were about to close. Inside a girl dressed like a punk hastily pressed the close button when she saw someone approaching, he met the provocative triumphant gaze of the punk girl. If it were just the ordinary office worker Lu Ping he would have grumbled to himself a bit and then waited for the next elevator, but now, immersed in the persona of an intelligence dealer Lu Ping felt the emotions and energy that such a character should possess, the corners of his mouth slightly upturned and suddenly with a surge of power in his leather shoes snap. Just as the elevator doors were about to close a hand suddenly reached in, feeling the resistance the doors opened again. Lu Ping met the gaze of several defiant-looking girls in the elevator, walked in calmly, and stood in the corner. Hey, uncle, one of the girls with a nose ring, bare belly button and heavy makeup called out, Lu Ping holding his briefcase turned to look at her maintaining a deadpan expression as he met her gaze, behind his black-framed glasses he observed piercing through her thick foundation he saw her greenness, she must not be very old, just about adult age, this. The girl felt a vague fear under his gaze her heart wavered and she said evasively this isn't the place for old folks like you. Lu Ping didn't bother with her only withdrawing his gaze he stared expressionlessly at the closed elevator doors waiting for it to reach the second floor, the girl breathed a sigh of relief and didn't try to provoke further, the doors opened, Lu Ping stepped out walking on the luxuriously decorated corridor meticulously surveying everything in sight. The club was not far away behind the towering doors more than two meters high emanated an intense heat and colorful lights, gloved waiters. In uniform stood by the door, ever since Jiang Yun's death Ding Qing had become a ticking time bomb acting crazily off inventing his despair. Approaching the door Lu Ping recalled the descriptions of Ding Qing and his intelligence, starting the game this way I need to be prepared prepared to be attacked by Ding Qing but that's not a big problem for Jiang Yun he will kneel before me giving up all his dignity to beg me, his grip on the briefcase tightened without a sound, hello, Lu Peng looked towards a middle-aged man who looked like a supervisor next to the waiter, smiling faintly he called out, sir how may I assist you? The middle-aged supervisor sized up Lu Peng and asked. I would like to see Mr. Ding Ching Lu Peng said pausing slightly before the last two words, at that moment, the supervisor's expression changed rapidly, almost reflexively straightening up his gaze towards Lu Ping turning to one of surprise and solemnity, just tell him I'm a friend of MS, Jiang Lu Ping added. Upon hearing the name MS, Jiang, the supervisor's eyelids twitched, not knowing Lu Ping's identity but not daring to neglect him, he respectfully said please wait I need to make a report, with that he walked to the side and picked up a walkie-talkie from his collar to report something. In a short while the supervisor returned to Lu Ping with a solemn manner respectfully saying sir I will take you there, please follow me, the club's doors were pulled open by the waiters, the intense atmosphere hit him face on, red blue and various dreamy and dazzling lights then the DJ's sound system exploded next to his ears, the writhing figures danced wildly, the wealthy second generation youth living in a drunken stupor. The western girls in bikinis holding up signs, seen after. Seen imprinted in Lu Ping's eyes, 
he followed the middle-aged supervisor through the club towards the private rooms on the mezzanine level above the dance floor stopping in front of the only large private room in the lust bar. Sir please wait the middle-aged supervisor said respectfully, Lu Ping nodded, he took a moment to assess the two bodyguards in front of the private room door, the supervisor knocked on the room door, Lu Ping took a deep breath, Mr. Lu, Mr. Ding is waiting for you the middle-aged supervisor said, Lu Ping carrying his briefcase entered the private room, before he had a chance to survey the people inside a tall dark shadow appeared before his eyes, followed by a sudden intense pain, he only saw a large hand grabbing his head directly, bang, Lu Ping had no time to react. His body along with his head smashed into the room's recently shut door shattering the glass in the center with fine cracks spreading out densely, blood, crimson blood flowed from the back of Lu Ping's head, after a moment of dizziness Lu Ping finally saw the middle-aged man holding his head those were a pair of crazed eyes like a wild beast enraged, pain, such pain, fear, terror. Lu Ping endured this predicament was something he had anticipated even something he had instigated. Only by doing this could he gain more benefits later on otherwise he would not have used Zhang Yiyun's influence to facilitate this meeting. Lu Ping ignored the blood flowing down the back of his head, he maintained an indifferent gaze towards Ding Qing his expression revealing a pitiful smile, Ding Qing do you know about Truman's world, Lu Ping said, in the bar's private room one by one the sexy and charming women were frightened not by the sight of a man's head being cracked open but by the fearsome beast-like rage that Ding Qing exhibited at that moment. Around the seating area, the men stood up clustering behind Ding. Xing watching the young intruder with dangerous eyes, the throbbing pain from the back of his head, despite being mentally prepared, still made Lu Ping's breathing hurried, he looked at Ding Qing at the gazes of the men behind him, he felt like a lamb being eyed by a pack of wolves ready to be torn apart and devoured at any moment. Lu Ping was certain that each one of Ding Qing's backers was not to be trifled with entities that even his former office worker self would be afraid to look in. The eye fearing to provoke their wrath. This world it's simple if you describe it as such, but incredibly complex if you delve into it, in a world bathed in sunlight ordinary people work hard live their lives diligently, they carefully follow the consensus and rules of ordinary life not approaching the abyss lightly, then their lives are simple and peaceful. But once you start breaking the established rules, once you penetrate layer upon layer of circles you enter a world shaded from the sun, just like the former Lu Ping, as an office worker he would never have been held at gunpoint by Li Yuzhen, nor would he have his head held down and be stared at by such a group of people, he was stepping into the abyss. What do you want to say? Hearing Lu Ping's words, Ding Qing's expression did not change, he noticed Lu Ping's indifferent eyes and felt maddened by his pitiful smile, a fire was suppressed in his heart, he wanted to grab that head and keep smashing it to see it burst open like a watermelon, but he still let go of his hand. A hoarse voice came from him, you're ruthless, Lu Ping breathed a sigh of relief internally, he had also worried that Ding Qing, having lost his reason would relentlessly smash his head, but according to the intelligence reports Ding Qing was a man who seemed reckless but was actually very meticulous. As long as the probability of success was greater than that of failure Lu Ping was willing to gamble, he steadied his body against the door, his head moved away from the glass, Waves of pain surged from the back of his head into his heart. Lu Ping gritted his teeth and inhaled sharply. Do you know what you will have to pay for this? Lu Ping first straightened his glasses, then reached back to touch the back of his head, feeling only a sticky and moist sensation. Bringing his hand to the front, he saw bright red blood staining his palm. His vision was dizzy, uncertain whether he was concussed. Twisting his head, he glanced behind him at the door's glass, now shattered into a fine, dense web of cracks. Lu Ping's heart pounded forcefully as he soothed himself internally. When looking towards Ding Qing his face wore a smile that wasn't quite a smile reciting his lines even before he finished speaking, in the private room as Ding Qing's subordinates began to show anger ready to step forward they were stopped by Ding Qing's raised hand, before starting my suggestion is to collect everyone's phones in the room, Lu Ping pushed past Ding Qing and the cluster of underlings behind him walking over to sit down on the sofa by the booth. Blood was still streaming down his forehead, but his demeanor was exceptionally calm and composed, he picked up a clean wine glass from the coffee table in front of him and poured himself some champagne taking a sip, then he picked up a half slice of watermelon and began to eat it under everyone's gaze, after finishing the watermelon and wiping his mouth Lu Ping lifted his head to look at Ding Qing who was on the verge of losing his patience, he felt the atmosphere in the room, the throbbing pain coming from the back of his head. 
He was fearful and nervous yet at the same time excited and mad adrenaline growing within him, his mouth curled into a light smile as he slowly said, in some ways Lu Ping is also a madman, a sick madman, do as he says, Ding Ching stared intently into Lu Ping's eyes then suddenly spoke in a deep voice, Brother Ching, someone called out, do as he says, Ding Ching roared, one by one phones were tossed onto the coffee table, and yours? Lu Ping ate from the fruit plate watching each man and woman as they took out their phones. When everyone stopped moving he still wasn't satisfied, instead he turned to another middle-aged man in the room and calmly said you, this time it was Ding Ching who had a grave expression, that man was his most trusted friend brothers who had shielded each other from knives and risked their lives for one another. Ching Zi, the middle-aged man called out. He looked at Lu Ping drew out his phone from his pocket and slapped it onto the coffee table then turned his pockets inside out to show his hands were empty. If you don't explain yourself tonight you won't be leaving this room, Ding Ching sat down next to Lu Ping also taking a big bite of watermelon from the fruit plate waiting until he finished a slice before lifting his head, without looking at Lu Ping he said in a deep voice let me tell you a story, Lu Ping heard this and smiled, he picked up a napkin to wipe his mouth his gaze slowly sweeping across the room, there were 12 people in the private room 8 women and 4 men on the other end of the room there was a huge floor-to-ceiling glass window from which one could see the whole disco's drunken revelry. At the moment countless fluttering pieces of paper were falling from above the disco with dazzling lights flickering rapidly, Lu Ping withdrew his gaze and calmly started the conversation. It has two perspectives. The first perspective, 1996 winter that year in Zhanghai was particularly cold and a 14-year-old orphan was about to die, Lu Ping's words drew out imbued with a sense of storytelling. In the room everyone listened without understanding only Ding Qing's eyelids twitched. Lightly and the other middle-aged man seemed pensive. That year, the welfare home that often provided winter supplies to the orphans seemed to be struggling as well so they cut back on the provisions for the orphans making life even harder for all the orphans in Zhanghai. It was unclear who started it. To survive one had to become like a hyena, scrambling for food amongst themselves. The orphans of the Central Sea began to huddle together passively forming small groups, by the trash bins, in the alleyways of the sewers in places untouched by. Sunlight they abided by the law of the jungle, Lu Ping recalled the intelligence reports. He also reconstructed those years in his mind, those scenes in the corners ignored by the glamorous adults, Ding Ching continued to eat and drink, the 14-year-old orphan secretly passed his meager food to a weak companion who had been robbed of his meal, he plunged into the city, he set his sights on the strongest group of orphans, like a hyena like a lone wolf, but ultimately two fists can't beat four hands. The orphan failed and nearly died, discarded next to the trash bin like. Garbage, as the light before his eyes was about to fade a tall figure appeared before him, Lu Ping's story reached this point and he fell silent. Beside him Ding Qing remained unchanged, in the private room the other men and women gradually reacted stealing glances at Ding Qing who was known in the underworld as Brother Ding Boss Ding, below is the second perspective, he 54 years old proposed a plan in the winter of 1996 in Central Sea, the Gubreeding Plan. Consequently, the welfare home run by his power began to cut back on the orphan supplies that winter, with only those meager supplies in that especially cold. Winter who knows how many orphans would freeze or starve to death, to survive they had to steal food from other orphans. At the same time that man sprinkled his spies and carefully watched each seedling that performed the best in this plunder, Lu Ping's voice faded, the ever calm Ding Ching suddenly looked up his eyes tearing open with veins of blood like an extraordinary beast, the aura he fought for all his life rose and suppressed down, in the private room many sat restlessly fearfully bowing their heads, that's it, no way, did he break down just like that? The room fell dead silent, Lu Ping's heart also tightened. The second piece of intelligence he obtained was about Yuan Taiping the third branch's spokesperson in Xiaoman and hence his knowledge of Ding Qing was only a subset of Yuan's information not very comprehensive, Lu Ping was gambling, his face remained expressionless as he slowly took a deep breath, a faint smile hung on his face, but his toes inside his leather shoes were restlessly scratching the soles, this is the world of Chumen, Lu Ping noticed that Ding Qing's emotions seemed to be under control again his heart slowly relaxing. He took off his glasses from the bridge of his nose pulled out a disposable glasses cloth from his pocket and began to wipe them speaking as he did so, perhaps due to nervousness fine sweat formed on his forehead dampening the wound on his head, 
the pain which had already been bearable intensified once again, was that horrific winter night really orchestrated by Yuan, Ding Qing remained silent. That childhood winter was his nightmare even today he often dreamt of it, dreamt of Dia starving to death, dreamt of Taizhu being beaten to death protecting their food, Brother Qing, I didn't let them take the food away, Taizhu's last words at only 11 years old, Yuan was the person he respected the most who had saved his life the light that shone into his most desperate moment, Ding Qing lowered his head again, he grabbed a slice of watermelon from the fruit plate and ate it. Voraciously juice dripping continuously onto the carpet. Let me tell you all another story Lu Ping said looking at Ding Qing with sadness for the life that had been schemed against him, he raised his head his gaze slowly passing over the faces of the people in the private room eventually pausing on the man who had handed over his phone last then retracting, the corners of his mouth turned up slightly, the narrative maintains two perspectives, from the first perspective the orphan now 14 years old has grown up to be 30 spending his Days in ceaseless conflict and indulgence his status and prestige ever increasing, yet, with this rise his confusion deepens, he falls victim to a treacherous attack, a knife plunging a finger's width from his heart. He collapses in a dim, filthy alley his vision blurring as he begins to lose consciousness, vaguely he recalls a time 16 years prior remembering himself similarly awaiting death beside a garbage bin, Lu Ping describes the first encounter between Ding Qing and Jiang Yun, his voice distant yet vivid, in the private room everyone familiar with Ding Qing's legend in the Jiang who realizes the orphan Lu Ping speaks of, they marvel inwardly and start to sense the mystery of the young man. Who abruptly entered and was shoved against the door, Ding Qing halts his actions the scene from that day appearing before him. As he loses consciousness, the image of a beautiful girl in a white dress at the far end of the alley imprints on his fading sight, and then he knows nothing more, they married and had children Lu Ping says with a faint smile suggesting a seemingly pleasant ending, in the private room the women seasoned by years in the pleasure quarters and carrying an air of worldly experience all smiled their eyes filled with longing, but then remembering something their cheeks show pity and sorrow. They steal glances at Ding Qing, seated beside Lu Ping Ding Qing is like an outsider, continuing to drink eat fruit and consume meat. Next the second perspective, Lu Ping, he says his tone growing colder, that man by virtue of the Gu raising plan attracted a vast pool of talent and successfully ascended to the position of the decision maker, as Lu Ping utters the words decision maker everyone's expressions shift they hold their breath, daring not to speak or make unnecessary movements, this figure holds high esteem in the circle not someone easily criticized, the man begins to dread his 30-year-old adopted son. Devising ways to eliminate him, after a leak of information the adopted son faces an assassination. Assuming the son would die the man did not expect his fortunate survival nor that he would encounter a stunning woman, this too seems rather fine, bound by love having a family and birthing new life, people become soft-hearted exposing immeasurable vulnerabilities, the man changes his strategy appearing increasingly benevolent, he encourages his adopted son in the guise of a father to boldly embrace his love witnessing and blessing their union, he watches over the small families. Happiness and tranquility, Lu Ping doesn't keep them in suspense, he continues his narration becoming more succinct and refined. There is a third story again with two perspectives, first perspective five more years pass he is 35, his old enemies somehow locate his wife and daughter, the enemies, they extinguish all he has, his world is dead, Lu Ping looks at Ding Qing with pity, second perspective, the decision maker's son-in-law returns from overseas, the former hoping his son-in-law would inherit his position, with just this sentence Lu Ping says no more, boom, the simple words explode like thunder in. The private room, Ding Qing lifts his head looking at Lu Ping, in his eyes Lu Ping sees complexity madness and distortion he's never witnessed before. Is what you say true? Ding Qing's hoarse voice rises, Yuan Yi is the man he regards as a father never once doubting him having shielded the old master from countless blades in this lifetime, he had never coveted that position, upon hearing the question Lu Ping did not respond, instead he picked up the wine glass from the coffee table gently swirling the thick liquid inside, he leaned back which in turn aggravated the pain at the back of his head, he grimaced openly without any attempt. To hide his discomfort, Mr. Ding's blow was truly ruthless, Lu Ping remarked with a sneer that did not reach his eyes. At this point he had entered a state of performance casting aside any nervousness and becoming more adept, his identity was that of a mysterious information broker not some kind-hearted do-gooder, I apologize to you Sir Ding Ching said, after he finished speaking he grabbed a bottle of champagne from the table one that had yet to be opened, 
without blinking an eye bang. A muffled sound echoed as the thick base of the champagne bottle smashed against his own forehead, the bottle. Shattered instantly spilling alcohol mixed with Ding Qing's blood down his head, not enough Lu Ping said expressionlessly. Upon hearing this, Ding Qing remained silent, he suddenly stood up, he was a tall man blood and champagne dripping from his hair, he turned around facing Lu Ping in silence his fists clenched, then he slightly bent his knees, pause, he couldn't kneel, Ding Qing's eyes reddened, in his life he had emerged from the ranks of scavengers, possessing nothing but his pride and self-respect, he would kneel to heaven to earth to his parents, but having no parents he had never knelt before. Anyone, not even to the foster father he respected the most Yuan Yi which was perhaps one of the reasons for Yuan Ye's wariness towards him. Bang, Ding Qing heavily knelt before Lu Ping, please tell me sir. Ding Qing pleaded, propping himself up with his hands his head knocking against the ground his hoarse voice sharp as metal exploding through the room, brilliant beams of light passed through the floor-to-ceiling windows of the private room casting dreamlike colors onto the carpet, downstairs in the discotheque, men and women stood on sofas and coffee tables, draped over each other, dancing wildly to the DJ's beats like a horde of demons, in unseen corners, passionate couples entangled? The silence in the mezzanine private room was stark. The moment Ding Qing kneeled Yuan Li Jun, the last to hand over his cell phone, widened his eyes in disbelief, standing up as he was beset by the memory of years ago when Yuan Yi took them in as foster sons, that day Yuan Yi wore a black Zhongshan suit sitting at the head of the hall flanked by the elders of the clan, five teenagers stood nervously before him, performing the tea ceremony, greeting their foster father. When it came time to kneel four of them did but Ding Qing kept his head. Down lips pursed resisting the elders' words and even their angered faces, someone took a cane to his ankles, but Ding Qing remained steadfast, head bowed teeth clenched refusing to kneel, the young Ding Qing was stubborn. Yuan Li Jun looking at Ding Qing propped on his hands his head thudding heavily on the ground felt a pang of pain grow inside him, his throat constricted, eyes reddening, he clenched his fists nails digging into flesh, he bowed his head his body trembling slightly, in the underworld and the legitimate world alike, Ding Qing was the second in command of the Zhanghai shipping group. Watching the middle-aged man kneeling before him Lu Ping thought of the man's identity and status and a different kind of delightful sensation spread through his body, his heart thudded heavily his blood coursing feverishly through his limbs. Power was the best aphrodisiac for a man, that statement couldn't be more correct, Lu Ping no longer felt the pain at the back of his head, he toyed with the wine glass in his hand, murmuring something under his breath. You want confirmation? Why not ask your good brother? Lu Ping said nonchalantly. Kneeling on the ground, Ding Qing suddenly looked up, his entire head of hair wet and dripping with a mix of blood and alcohol, his whole appearance extremely wretched. Upon hearing Lu Ping's words, his pupils contracted, and his weathered face was filled with disbelief, his body stiffened. Still kneeling, he slowly turned his head to look at his good brother Yuan Li Jun not far away. Brother Ching, I didn't, Yuan Li Jun's lips trembled and he spoke with a trembling voice, he and Ding Ching had come out of the orphanage together and for decades they had both been willing to entrust their backs to each other, oh, Lu Ping crossed his legs looking at Yuan Li Jun with narrowed eyes his expression a mix of a smile and a question, his fingertips tapped on the wine glass the clear. Sound echoing in the private room, Lu Ping pondered over the second piece of intelligence Yuan Yi Yuan Tai Ping, his influence ran deep. Just skimming through the lines was enough to send shivers down one's spine, Yuan Li Jun was likewise being manipulated by Yuan Yi arranged to be by Ding Qing's side occasionally called to Yuan Yi's side and casually questioned about something, do you remember what you told Yuan Yi the day before Miss Jiang and her daughter had the accident? Lu Ping asked, what was said, what was said? Yuan Li Jun gasped for air somewhat out of his wits, muttering to himself, he recalled that day, Ding Chung knelt on the ground his eyes fixedly staring at Yuan Li Jun. Yuan Li Jun's lips suddenly trembled as if he remembered something and then his face turned pale in an instant his emotions seeming to collapse, his body shook, was it really me, was it really me who caused the death of my best friend's wife and daughter, uh, uh, Yuan Li Jun clasped his head in his hands, seeing this reaction Ding Chung understood everything, he revealed a miserable smile, despair for anyone was enough to shatter the entire world, his whole life seemed to be in a Truman Show arranged and controlled by others. The death of his wife and daughter was caused by his best friend propelled by the foster father he respected most, pain, his heart felt as if it were being torn apart, 
Ding Qing had never felt such pain before, Lu Ping sipped his champagne watching the two men in the private room consumed by despair whether Ding Qing or Yuan Li Jun, both of high status and great authority, yet at this moment they were like drowning men struggling and roaring in pain, such was the power of information. It could give life, it could bring death, even Yuan Taiping a terrifying figure Lu Ping did not dare to confront directly but still dared to gamble with. In the private room Ding Qing and Yuan Li Jun's dozen or so underlings and companions were all scared stiff, they felt they had heard a great secret that should not be spoken, that was Yuan Yi, Yuan Yi, who held such a revered and prestigious position in the underworld, who would have known that Yuan Yi had such a side, they dared not speak out certain that if word got out today they would be sunk to the bottom of the Pu River by nightfall. Brother Qing, Brother Jun, the men and women. Fought in their hearts, they too felt sorrow for their leaders. At that moment Ding Cheng stood up, grabbed the broken champagne bottle he had smashed earlier and walked over to Yuan Li Jun, he was silent and after what seemed like minutes he suddenly lifted Yuan Li Jun by the collar with his left hand, pressed him against the wall and raised the other hand holding the sharp edge of the broken champagne bottle, Yuan Li Jun did not struggle nor did he explain, he just met Ding Cheng's gaze, tears continuously slid down the corners of his eyes, for men like them men do not easily shed tears was not an empty saying, at this moment Yuan Li Jun longed for death longed for his life to end at the hands of Ding Qing only in this way could he feel a little better in his heart. Lu Ping propped his chin in his hand his fingertips still tapping the stem of a tall wine glass, he watched the standoff between the two big shots before him his heart screaming excited roaring, he was just the most ordinary of clerks yet he had managed to have Ding Qing of the Zhanghai shipping group and Yuan Li Jun at each other's throats, None of this tumult of emotions was revealed on his face. His mouth curled up slightly deliberately showing an amused expression as he watched everything unfold, death, life, Lu Ping murmured, before his words fell silent he saw Ding Qing grip the bottle in his hand even tighter his expression maniacal veins bulging on his forehead, he was an uncontrollable beast, the bottle crisscrossed with shards reflected a cold light as it stabbed swiftly towards Yuan Li Jun's neck. Yuan Li Jun didn't dodge his lips moved without speaking, just forming. The shape of the words I am sorry then he closed his eyes. In the private room, some women turned their heads away not daring to watch what was about to happen, Lu Ping's eyelids twitched his grip on the wine glass tightened he was also nervous inwardly moved, he had only used the intelligence twice and each time he had witnessed a murder on the spot, in the blink of an eye the sharp bottle shards veered away from Yuan Li Jun's throat at the last moment but still left a trail of blood. Yuan Li Jun's neck from the Adam's apple to the side began to ooze bright red blood in an arc, crack. The bottle full of shards hit the wall and Ding Qing with bloodshot eyes stared at Yuan Li Jun twisting the bottle against the wall its pieces shattering and exploding, we are brothers but from now on we are cut into Ding Qing's hoarse voice rang out, he let go of Yuan Li Jun turned around and walked up to Lu Ping his cold eyes staring straight at him, soon he sat down beside Lu Ping again, he grabbed the strong foreign liquor on the table and gulped it down wiping his face, I owe. You and I will pay it back, what do you want, Ding Qing didn't look at Lu Ping as he said in a deep voice. Let them go Lu Ping smiled as he looked at the rest of the people in the room, put down his wine glass and said, after a pause he continued with your abilities you should know what to do, the election for the third branch head inside the door the new director of Zhanghai Shipping Group takes office and old master Yuan has a let up on you. With that Lu Ping stood up paced to the floor-to-ceiling window and looked down on the disco's neon lights and chaotic revelry, the scarlet light. Hit his face, behind him Ding Qing was instructing something and in a short while including Yuan Li Jun a dozen people left the private room one after another. Quite interesting, the election for the new head of your faction is in 15 days on the 18th of the 12th lunar month just before the big promotion at Yuzhen Lu Ping said with a smile, alright, that's it for today. Call me when you've made up your mind, I'll wait for you until midnight tonight, in the private room only the two of them remained and the atmosphere seemed less tense, but the pressure on Lu Ping's heart hadn't lessened one bit, at this time facing Ding Cheng head. On was too risky too likely to reveal more details, he was barely holding on, he didn't dare to overstay, or rather he needed to maintain a sense of mystery. Having hinted at his intentions Lu Ping didn't wait for Ding Qing's response before picking up his briefcase getting up and meaningfully patting the latter's shoulder saying no need to see me out, Lu Ping took a couple of steps then turned back and looked at Ding Qing who was expressionless and said with a half-smile take care, he pushed open the door, 
walking through the corridor stepping down the stairs he entered the heated atmosphere of the disco, as he walked past the edge of the whirling crowd he was just about to take a deep breath when his peripheral vision suddenly caught something in a certain direction then he looked around at different areas. In that place, in several corners, there were youths that looked like hooligans watching him, only when they met his gaze did they hurriedly look away, Lu Ping's mind grew tense, he made his way through the nightclub with composure, pausing just before leaving to turn his head and look up at the private room on the second floor above the dance hall, behind the floor-to-ceiling glass that occupied an entire wall one could vaguely see a tall, dark figure, perhaps it was a preconceived notion. But Lu Ping felt that the silhouette behind the glass exuded a sense of decadence and sorrow, he waved at the shadow. Thank you, when Lu Ping reached the door the middle-aged manager who had brought him in had already pulled the door open early nodding his head in greeting, he walked through the corridor and stood in the elevator, looking at his own reflection in the elevator doors even though he knew the camera in the upper corner was recording his tense heart gradually began to relax, the pain that was bearable when his nerves were on edge now surged like waves, pain, such pain, then dizziness, Fine cold sweat broke out on Lu Ping's forehead and back, the sweat intermingling with the wounds exacerbating the intense pain, and during the pain he stepped out of the elevator. Although it was late at night the lights outside the Jessa bar were still bright and bustling with activity, for this surrounding area the nightlife was just beginning, Lu Ping stood by the roadside looking around, driver, the nearest hospital, he approached a taxi, opened the door and sat in, he spoke with a heavy voice. The middle-aged driver glanced at Lu Ping's blood-clotted hair through the rearview mirror, but without asking further questions he released the handbrake and stepped on. The gas, Lu Ping rolled down the window, the cool wind of the winter night sobered him up quite a bit and the pain wasn't as unbearable. The car started moving, taking turns, Lu Ping's tense heart finally began to unwind, he watched the passing cars from the rear window his gaze casually sweeping over them, a thought crossed his mind and he kept an eye on those cars exhaling only after seeing them turn at different intersections, done for, I'm in too deep, I can only tough it out, the taxi entered a tunnel, the light suddenly dimmed, Lu Ping adjusted his position and after entering the tunnel felt a strange sense of security at a psychological level. His expression didn't change much but his feet were tapping continuously his mind racing with frantic thoughts, these big shots, they are truly terrifying, among the cars Lu Ping had noticed earlier was a white Chevrolet driven by an ordinary looking young man, he had been following the target taxi from the start and at the intersection the left turn signal lit up and the young man passed the taxi, turning down the next intersection, report, target 3 has withdrawn according to plan. Received, but when the taxi continued straight on at another intersection a black Volkswagen turned right and followed at a discreet distance behind Lu Ping's car. Did he meet with Ding Ching, the luxurious hotel's top-tier suite, Li Yuzhen was wrapped in a beige bathrobe standing barefoot by the window, beneath her feet was the modern metropolis, a city that never sleeps, she looked up to see a slightly chilly crescent moon, hanging up the phone, several photographs imprinted themselves in Li Yuzhen's eyes, they showed Lu Ping with a bloodied head walking out of the Jessa bar, a feigned mystery, Li Yuzhen's face was cold as she muttered to herself. She turned off her phone and looked out at the metropolis under the night sky, as for Lu Ping Li Yuzhen had two theories, first, that he was a real big shot with incredible connections, second, that he was a false big shot a puppet put forward by some entities, now, she leaned more towards the latter, she was known by the old master as the tigress of the Li family and naturally she would not easily entrust her fate to others, regardless of Lu Ping's underlying motives she would not readily lower her stance, Yuzhen, Big promotion, the quiet private room of the bar, Ding Qing lay back on the sofa his gaze lifelessly fixed on the hanging crystal chandelier above. Many details from the past, previously overlooked, flashed before his eyes like a carousel lantern, he laughed at himself mockingly, then, in a low murmur he said Li Yuzhen, for an existence like his his mind was etched with the names of all the notable figures in the small circles of Zhanghai city, among those circles there was a record of Li Yuzhen, if it were just a wealthy tycoon with an ordinary fortune of two or three billion, they would not have caught his attention, but Li Yu. Jin was different mysterious in origin with intricate ties to the families of Yinjing City, what did they want? Were they targeting the Zhanghai Marine Shipping Group or a Ding Qing mumbled expressionlessly you show no kindness so don't blame me for my lack of righteousness, Yi Yun Jin Jin, I will avenge you, his eyes shifted. The inheritance of the Chao family had lasted a hundred years and was divided into four branches each managing a legitimate business in different fields, 
entertainment logistics real estate and finance, even though Ding Qing was once the highly sought-after second in command of the Zhanghai Marine Shipping Group he still could not be considered part of the upper echelons of this massive entity, Ding Qing took out his phone and dialed a number, Dudu. Zhanghai Rinji Hospital, the young doctor carefully cleaned the wound at the back of Lu Ping's head, when disinfecting alcohol was applied to the edges Lu Ping gritted his teeth sweating from the pain, what happened here, said the wrong thing provoked someone's mood, got pushed against the door in a fit of rage and then they broke a beer bottle over my head, you should report this to the police, looking at this wound I reckon you'll need about 8 or 9 stitches, do you want a medical assessment for the injury, the doctor asked, your phone is ringing. After getting stitched up and bandaged Lu Ping returned to his shared apartment in Dongcheng at over 3 in the morning, he walked into the dark corridor his hand covering his head and he sighed, in the novels the protagonist always pretends to be a pig to eat a tiger all cool and impressive, but for him he was a lamb clothed in wolves or even tigers or dragon skin going out to eat wolves and tigers, to eat those sitting around the round table holding knives and forks treating. All beings as food, as leeks those powerful elites, Every step he took was a dance with wolves, a dance on the blade's edge. Ding ling dang lang, he took out his keys from his pocket, their crisp, pleasant sound echoing in the corridor, he opened the door, Lu Ping glanced at the familiar living room feeling much calmer inside, he didn't turn on the light but changed into slippers, he walked quietly to his bedroom door, turned on the flashlight of his phone and carefully inspected the lock and the top of the doorframe to ensure that the strand of hair he had left when he departed was still there, after checking A. Few details Lu Ping entered the bedroom, the dim glow of the incandescent light illuminated the room. A desk and bookshelf by the window, a one and a half meter wide single bed, a solitary nightstand and a wardrobe were all the furniture in the room, he placed his briefcase on the desk, Lu Ping first went to the bookcase, paused with his hand on the handle and in the moment before he pulled open the glass door a dark brown leather file spontaneously appeared in the corner of the second shelf. Even though he had already summoned intelligence reports twice and had witnessed their appearance. Once Lu Ping's heart still skipped a beat, he stopped opening the door, took a deep breath, and then opened it again. Holding the leather file in his left hand, his right hand caressed its thick texture, it was still marked as white for confidential. Lu Ping undid the entangled fastener and glanced at the white object the size of a fingernail, he relaxed a bit. It was only the lowest level of information yet it had allowed him to witness bullets whizzing by his ears young lives falling at his feet. It almost got his head cracked open, barely making it out of the private room, at this point in time Lu. Ping's personal abilities and network resources were still not fully established. If he were to receive information pertaining to even higher level bosses he might indeed die without knowing how he died, he'd look at it later, about to open it Lu Ping glanced at the thick stack of documents inside the paper bag and closed the clasp again, holding the craft document bag close to his chest he grabbed some fresh clothes and left the bedroom for the communal bathroom. After the bath Lu Ping stood on the toilet lid tiptoed and pushed open the bathroom ceiling. Reaching out he groped around and soon pulled out two pieces of intelligence, Lu Ping had already tested it, the craft document bag was extremely waterproof and it was hard to leave a scratch even if you cut it with a knife, placed on the partition there was no need to worry about damage, I have 10 million now he murmured as he returned to his room, the 60 square meter old apartment is probably worth 3 million, let's do it soon first by the house from the landlord, back in his. Room Lu Ping shirtless sat at the desk muttering as if he remembered something. Since he wasn't planning to move for the time being he had to secure ownership of this house first, after pondering for a while Lu Ping opened the first piece of intelligence on Li Yuzhen, he flipped to the end his gaze intensifying at the latest entry which had changed again, the first three points remained the same, white secret level intelligence D001 Li Yuzhen has begun to doubt you your rating in her heart has further decreased, Li Yuzhen has started to assess the power behind you. When her wariness of you decreases again, she will let you experience how those in power value and probe into privacy. Song Ziwen's plan against Li Yuzhen is progressing further, Lu Ping's brows furrowed, his fingertips rubbing against the desk. He continued to pull out the second piece of intelligence on Yuan Taiping, he flipped directly to the last page, as expected a new neutral and objective summary had appeared. Lu Ping took a deep breath his expression solemn as he read the lines whispering white secret level intelligence D002 outcome. You chose Yuan Taiping's adopted son Ding Qing as the point of entry intending to push Ding Qing to a position of power and through Ding Qing's hands have Yuan Taiping killed, you have. 
Offended Yuan Taiping the third leader of Chao Men a cunning and meticulous man, your choice is bold, but it can also yield a very rich return rate once Ding Qing takes power you will initially have the ability to mobilize power and resources, my intentions are all marked out. This second piece of intelligence recorded all the information about Yuan Taiping including the unscrupulous measures he took to rise to power and his cruel and ruthless schemes for better control of his subordinates, Lu Ping flipped through the documents, with a marker he highlighted some key information, the election for the helmsman of the Chao Men's third branch the Zhanghai Maritime Group requires the votes of 12 directors, based on this content how many votes can I get for Ding? Xing, Lu Ping wasn't very confident, after all he was just an ordinary company employee, in fact if it weren't for this detailed and alarming intelligence Lu Ping wouldn't even have the courage to face Yuan Taiping. His advantages were, 1. Inch the intelligence, 2. The enemy was in the light while he was in the dark, 3. The capabilities and prestige of Ding Qing that once made Yuan Taiping wary, a mere Lu Ping with intelligence couldn't defeat Yuan Taiping, but if that intelligence was in Ding Qing's hands who would win was still unknown, Lu Ping's cleverness lay here, he leveraged the leverage prying greater possibilities for himself, he continued to examine the documents, Yuan Taiping had done many. Things that far exceeded the imagination of ordinary people. Lu Ping's heart pounded with fear and nervousness his skin hot to the touch yet he felt a thrill, after verifying the information again he finally picked up the third white classified intelligence report that had just been updated tonight, taking deep breaths his heart throbbed powerfully, Lu Ping held his breath slightly then immersed himself in the report reading the detailed life of another influential figure, who could it be, A hey, damn it. None of the big shots who have climbed to this. Position were easy to approach, Yuan Taiping and Ding Qing might be terrifying but at least their killings were bloody. This one inch however did not need to spill blood, ah uh, do I already have goosebumps, the night grew deeper, in the old public housing most of the lights were out leaving only the dim yellow light from Lu Ping's narrow bedroom seeping through the curtains, after integrating the information I deduced that Li Yuzhen would encounter three major changes during the year-end promotion, maritime logistics publicity and flow of resources, if Yuan Taiping's domain represented maritime logistics then. This report represented publicity, was this really a coincidence, Lu Ping didn't finish reading the information but pressed the documents under the palm of his hand lifted his head with some tension and whispered. So, could I make another guess about the trigger mechanism for intelligence updates, it could provide me with a safety net, the trigger for unrefreshed intelligence is related to the refreshed intelligence and I can solve the residual problems slash crises caused by the refreshed intelligence through the unrefreshed intelligence. With this hypothesis a look of joy appeared on Lu Ping's heavy face, for the immense pressure of dancing on the knife's edge had been slightly relieved, if this were. True Lu Ping would dare to continue probing the limits of madness, early morning, the piercing alarms sounded in his ears. Lu Ping frowned and then opened his sleepy eyes, he had slept too late last night and added with the wound on the back of his head he hadn't rested well at all, sitting up he rubbed his temples feeling the throbbing pain from the stitched wound, I should take a half day off, Lu Ping grabbed his phone to check the time, without hesitation he called his supervisor Tan Hong, the ringing echoed in the room, hello sister Tan, I'm sorry, but I need to take a half day off, I got hurt last night. And had a few stitches, no problem, it doesn't affect much. Lu Ping responded, his current state was bad mainly due to lack of sufficient rest which prevented him from focusing and bearing the immense pressure like crashing waves, one very effective method of interrogation was to deprive the subject of sleep, the company culture at our alliance was good, with just a word from Lu Ping Tan Hong agreed and showed concern before hanging up, give De Shure a call, Lu Ping leaned against the headboard, his mind went blank for a while until his focus came back. And he dialed another number, damn it, got out of the car yesterday and ran into a drunk middle-aged man who cracked my head open, it's alright it's been dealt with. Just that this morning's work might be delayed, Lu Ping said, after hanging up he put the phone aside yawned and lay back down, he preferred to sleep on his stomach not daring to lie on his back, he was very tired but for some time he couldn't fall asleep just lying there with his eyes open, in this cramped bedroom his thoughts shifted continuously and he was gradually consumed by fear again. From wild ambition to frightened unease, the shift occurred in the blink of an eye, beneath. The quilt Lu Ping curled up his body. At this moment he felt as if he was in a small boat amidst an endless ocean with waves constantly surging and beating against him, he lay prone hands tightly gripping the boat beneath him yet still at risk of being capsized at any moment, 
What direction would the future take? Lu Ping murmured to himself, thus he fell asleep unknowingly, run, I must keep running, I can no longer afford to stop. Noon, the Porsche center in Zhanghai City, carrying a briefcase and dressed in professional. A tired Lu Ping walked up to the entrance where the automatic doors had already swung open revealing the clean and stylish Porsche showroom. A faint smile hung on Lu Ping's face, his demeanor calm and composed, where was the shadow of the young man who had been curled up in fear and helplessness in his bedding that morning? Inside the showroom, a few customers were being led by salespeople examining different car models. Good day, sir. Which of our cars would you like to take a look at? Lu Ping was surveying the scene when a tall saleswoman in a pencil skirt and dark blue blouse, wearing high heels, approached him. She discreetly took in Lu Ping's appearance, then with a light smile said, The 718 sports car starts at 600,000. The Mekong SUV also starts at 600,000, the 911 begins at 1.3 million, Lu Ping did not respond, he was casually observing the cars on the display with their models and approximate prices continuously popping up in his mind, these luxury cars, once out of reach and greatly desired, now seemed well within his grasp. When he had just obtained 10 million from Li Yuzhen, although he had come into a significant amount of money, he dared not spend it for fear that Li Yuzhen would discover the weakness beneath his wolf's clothing, but now, after meeting Ding Cheng again he no longer had such concerns. Or rather after experiencing the morning's collapse into fear, Lu Ping urgently needed power, he needed ambition, he wanted to tangibly feel the charm that money and authority brought, show me the Panamera said Lu Ping, this way please sir the beautiful saleswoman replied gesturing graciously. She personally opened the car door for Lu Ping and after he seated himself in the driver's seat, she elegantly sat down on the other side, Lu Ping grasped the steering wheel slowly exhaling a long breath, his heart was joyful his body excited, this was exactly the feeling he wanted to awaken. Once upon a time when he was just an ordinary employee no matter how much he fantasized he only dared imagine that after making it big he could afford a Mekong worth six or seven hundred thousand, the Panamera was a car he liked but never truly fantasized about buying, because the old imp no matter how confident felt that on tiptoes he could only reach for a car worth six or seven hundred thousand. Let's check out the back seat, Lu Ping said glancing at the beautiful saleswoman through. The rearview mirror, her smile was in place but her demeanor was cold. His gaze traveled from her plump legs wrapped in flesh-colored stockings, moving up and retracting from the hem of her pencil skirt, he moved to the back seat. Bang, he shut the car door. The beautiful saleswoman glanced at Lu Ping but did not close the door on her side. If the man beside her were dressed in haute couture luxury brands she would have actively created a more private space for the two of them. Lu Ping took a light sniff, detecting the scent of perfume continually emanating. From the saleswoman, he pushed up his glasses, rules are made for ordinary people, I need to break through the mindset I've held for over 20 years and my obedient adherence to rules, Lu Ping murmured. He lifted his hand palm open fingers inching towards the attractive female sales associate, despite having danced on the knife's edge three times before Lu Ping could not conceal his nervousness and excitement, he could feel his heartbeat thumping clearly, contact, Lu Ping's palm rested on the saleswoman's plump leg, sir. Just as he placed it there, the saleswoman's body tensed sharply, her pretty face instantly soured, she moved her leg away and rebuked him unfriendly, I'll take this car. Lu Ping said in a timely manner, as his words sounded the saleswoman's voice abruptly stopped. Go get the contract and equipment, I'll choose the configurations and make the payment right here. Lu Ping's gaze met the saleswoman's surprised eyes, a unique sensation like a jolt of electricity blossoming within him. A smile spilled from his calm eyes as he continued to speak. Okay, please wait a moment sir I'll get everything right away, the saleswoman replied hurriedly. She trotted away on her high heels and soon returned at the same pace. Sitting back in the car the saleswoman closed the car door and the entire back seat suddenly became much quieter and more private. Sir, what kind of configurations would you like? The saleswoman asked enthusiastically leaning towards Lu Ping. What's your name? Sir, my name is Li Ying, but you can call me Xiaoing. Lu Ping took the materials, glancing at them for only a moment before reaching out again, his palm moving towards the saleswoman's dark hair. As soon as his palm touched her silky strands, he could feel the slight shiver of her body, but she quickly put on a professional smile. I don't need to look at this. I want the best possible configuration, the top end model. As for the payment, whether it's paying in full or in installments, just do whatever benefits you the most, Lu Ping said calmly. The saleswoman named Li Ying's eyes widened, 
a top in 2021 Turbo S Executive Extended Edition 40T with all the best configurations, the total comes to 2 inch 748 385 yuan. Luping took the pan and signed his name on the contract, the long string of numbers hardly phasing him as his mouth curved slightly upward. He swiped his card with composed ease, completing the down payment. Nearly 3 million yuan spent in a matter of minutes by Lu Ping, he turned to the young and attractive Li Ying. Beside him, whose gaze towards Lu Ping had become much warmer, I'd like to do it right here. Lu Ping glanced out the window at the Porsche Center where the occasional customers brushed past. His index finger gently traced a circle around Li Ying's red lips. Li Ying bit her lip, sir, she called out. 100,000 inch this is extra for you, the pen in her hand dropped with a clatter and she covered herself with her jacket, Lu Ping leaned back, half closing his eyes, wearing black rimmed glasses and holding his briefcase as he walked out of the Porsche Center, he paused, pushing up his glasses, gazing at the bustling traffic and towering skyscrapers with azure skies and bright sunshine stretching between the buildings, the world was vast with fish leaping and birds soaring, he let out a long breath, Recalling his recent experience, Lu Ping's face broke into a radiant smile, a delightful sensation growing within him. In less than half an hour, he had splurged over 3 million yuan and indulged in the ultimate allure of money from the back seat. Didn't play it well, Lu Ping muttered to himself with a smile, clutching his briefcase. With that, his gaze swept left and right in front of the store, preparing to hail a taxi back to the company, that gentleman just now. He was venting, at the Porsche Center, the beautiful saleswoman Li Ying, who had just attended to Lu Ping delivered the freshly signed contract to the relevant department. She hurried back, her high heels tapping a rapid staccato against the floor, her mind lingered on the recent encounter, occasionally she would lift her head in the image she saw, the man lying back with his eyes closed in the rear of the car, his calm, composed expression, his breathing was even, but there was a fleeting heaviness that could not be concealed. Li Ying had grown up in a single-parent family moving from the countryside to the city of Zhanghai witnessing its neon lights and hedonistic lure, she often felt lost and pained for the brilliance and excitement were to her an unattainable dream a mirage of desire. Li Ying was very perceptive skilled at noticing what others overlooked, she mulled over it unable to pinpoint a specific reason but something told her that the gentleman was under immense pressure far beyond her imagination, this is my opportunity. The gentleman is no ordinary rich man, even to be his mistress would be enough, Li Ying murmured to herself. By then, she had returned to the lobby and looked towards the lounge area, but at a glance, she didn't see the gentleman which made. Her heart suddenly panic, she quickly searched the lobby her gaze passing over several people. Xiao Chen, where did the gentleman from before go? She asked anxiously upon seeing a colleague who often tried to woo her, he just left, she heard and hurriedly ran out, she saw Lu Ping not far away. Mr. Lu, Lu Ping turned at the sound and faced Li Ying his eyes cold as if looking at a stranger he had never met before and not the woman who had just had an encounter in the back seat. That we haven't added each other on social media Li Ying said, biting her lip softly, no need for that, Mr. Lu. As Lu Ping was about to get into his car Li Ying clenched her fist and called out again, her red lips trembled. I was thinking perhaps you might need a companion who won't ask too many questions, someone between a stranger and an acquaintance, Li Ying spoke softly, she was smart, conveying her awareness of the indescribable pressure on him in a subtle way, expressing her willingness without being too direct, here is my business card Li Ying offered respectfully, Lu Ping paused, turned back, and looked at her steadily, he smiled slightly, took a glance at the card and then got into the car. Her words had struck a chord with Lu Ping. Indeed, he felt the need for such a woman, one to contact only when the pressure was great and to part ways after the contact, someone who wouldn't know too much about him or ask unnecessary questions. Li Ying stood disappointed by the roadside, watching the slow starting taxi, not expecting that as the car began to move, the rear window would roll down and Mr. Lu's voice would reach her ears. I will contact you, her head shot up, just in time to see. The window rise again, success, Li Ying's heart leapt and she clutched her hand to her chest, her face breaking into a happy expression. Damn that's exhilarating, in the taxi Lu Ping sat in the back seat glancing curiously at the driver in the rearview mirror and nodding slightly to him, his right hand unseen by the driver at his side clenched tightly into a fist the veins on his arm bulging beneath his sleeve, whether it was spending money or women both gave him a profound sense of satisfaction. As the car drove away his mood gradually stabilized, no longer the fear of the morning nor the wanton release in the Porsche. Time to calculate, Ding Qing should have started by now, what kind of presentation will he hand over to me?
Lu Ping propped his chin with his hand, his gaze drifting to the city bathed in dazzling sunlight outside the window, a broad smile lifting the corners of his mouth. Meanwhile elsewhere a black Mercedes-Benz S-Class pulled into the top-tier villa district in the eastern part of Zhonghai City heading for the Jujiantang Clubhouse, which was decorated in traditional eastern style. Shedding his floral shirt for a formal suit Ding Qing perched his leg and looked out of the window with a solemn expression, white walls and black tiles set the scene for this prime real estate in Zhonghai City a deep residence with three entrances and exits. As the car entered the garage Yuan Ye's old butler was already waiting at the door, through the glass Ding Qing gazed at the elderly man dressed in a Zhongshan suit once respectfully known as Butler Jia with a surge of crimson in the depths of his eyes, but as the car halted in the next second Ding Qing's expression changed as swiftly as a face-changing act in Sichuan opera. As he lowered his leg and leaned over to pull the door open a decadent, cynical smile appeared on his face the moment the door swung open, Butler Jia how have you been? Ding Ching stepped out of the car wrapping his arm around the old man's shoulder and patting his back loudly, I've been very well indeed. Butler Jia, who had served Yuan Yi for a lifetime and was nearly 80 years old, was still robust and spirited, his gray hair meticulously combed, young master Ding, it's been a while since you last visited, Butler Jia said with a smile appraising Ding Ching, well here I am now, I've missed you and master Yuan dearly, Ding Ching said expansively, the master is waiting for you in the garden, the butler replied, Perhaps due to his advanced age, the old butler seemed to have lost some of the stiffness and iron-bloodedness remembered from Ding Qing's younger days appearing more benevolent and kindly. Well, we can't keep the old master waiting, Ding Qing responded, his hands in his pockets, he followed butler Jia, the carefree grin still played around his eyes, but his pupils were recalling the words spoken by Lu Ping, butler Jia was the person who trusted master Yuan the most and knew his tactics best. After you young master ding the two walked one after the other through the corridor and courtyard. The old master is still so afraid of death ding ching casually remarked as he glanced over. The black clad bodyguards his tone jesting. As they entered the Chinese garden composed of rockeries and pavilions ding ching could already hear a string of bell-like laughter before even getting close. As he stepped in he saw in the distance under the sunlight master yuan lying on a lounge chair a scholarly and genteel middle-aged man sitting beside him pouring tea. Further away Master Yuan's young grandson was playing by the flowerbed with fine stones and an elegant woman stood by his side her eyes never leaving her son, Ding. Ching half squinted his eyes, watching this picture of familial warmth, the affection between father and son and grandchildren at their knees. In time as Master Yuan caught sight of Ding Ching a respectful smile spread across the latter's face yet Master Yuan's expression abruptly changed. One or takes what Xian away Master Yuan called out still lying down but with a hoarse voice, the little grandson not yet done playing was reluctantly led by his mother muttering as they entered the house, let Uncle Cheng give you a hug, you've gotten so heavy recently, you're going to grow up into a big boy soon, as Ding Qing burst into this. Bright Chinese garden the harmonious atmosphere of filial affection that existed just a second ago suddenly tensed. The elegant woman hurriedly left with the child. Before they could get far, Ding Ching stepped in front of them, crouched down, and opened his arms with a beaming smile towards Master Yuan's young grandson. He scooped up the five or six year old boy, grabbed little Zhuo Xian's arms, lifted him high, and twirled him around, all to the sound of that bell like laughter. In the midst of the spin, Ding Ching kept his eye on the few people in the courtyard, a hint of mockery surfacing in his gaze. He noticed that at the moment he picked up the child, the always immovable old master also subconsciously tensed up, his turbid eyes fixed intently on him. The middle-aged man with gold-rimmed glasses scholarly and genteel reacted the least only calmly watching as he lifted his son. Lastly, there was Sister Wan who was the most anxious standing on tiptoe with her arms outstretched her gaze constantly on the child in his arms. Master Yuan, ah you have finally aged, the thought flashed. Through his mind, but his face remained unchanged, smiling as he put the child down and patted the latter's head. Sister Wan Ding Ching turned to look at Yuan Wan who had breathed a sigh of relief and called out, Ching Zi Yuan Wan responded, take Xiao's wishing down Ding Ching didn't reply directly but paused for a moment before letting out an inexplicable sigh and said, he grew up with Sister Wan and had never noticed that their relationship had reached this point, he had also once treated Zhuixin as his own son, Master Ding, the old butler butler Jia called the servants over to place a chair next to Master Yuan and said to Ding Ching, Ding Ching approached and sat down, what happened to your head? Yuan Taiping sat up, holding two walnuts in his hand, he glanced at Ding Ching and asked with a hoarse voice, got drunk yesterday and took a fall, 
Ding Ching touched the gauze on his head saying nonchalantly, you should also care about your image, the face of our branch is being lost by you, this Qing Yi, Yuan Taiping didn't suspect and only raised his voice, reprimanding, how could that be, who remembers now? Nowadays, in the entire circle, who doesn't know that the future speaker of the Zhonghai Shipping Group is a returned elite from abroad, someone who can push the entire group to a higher level, not us riffraff who have come up from the filth, Ding Ching said with a playful laugh. As his words ended, Master Yuan, with gray hair and a face covered with age spots, revealed a smile. His son in law Song Yu was gradually taking over the power under Ding Qing's hands, and the process of his upcoming ascension pleased him. Xing Gu is too complimentary, the future of Zhanghai shipping still needs the efforts of both of us brothers, said the middle aged man with gold rimmed glasses, genteel as he poured tea. Hearing Ding Qing's words, he appeared composed, revealing only a Hint of a smile and continued to pour the tea without pause, lifting it and handing it to Ding Ching. Ding Ching took the tea, his gaze met Song Yu's, and as their eyes intertwined in the air after a moment, Ding Ching nodded with a smile, his hand unintentionally trembled the scalding tea swing and wetting Song Yu's fingers, the skin turning red, but he seemed not to feel the pain, his eyes unnaturally calm. Sorry, Ding Ching apologized continuously. From the moment he burst into the garden a game of strategy had already begun between Ding Ching Song Yu and Master Yuan Yuan Taiping, the reactions and details of different events could be read by them revealing many critical pieces of information even fatal weaknesses. The posture and speech of each person represented different meanings, Ding Ching picked up the cup lid and stirred the tea his motion of sipping tea with his head lowered hiding his eyes, these past few years had been muddled, many things not unseen but rather unwilling to be seen, now, with renewed vigor in observing Master Yuan and watching Song Yu, he felt as if there were thorns on his back, a chilling revelation, it turned out he had long been prey in someone else's game, yet he couldn't. Flipped the table, Ding Qing refrained from further probing maintaining his usual frivolous and decadent demeanor, after quite a while right, Butler Jia, Ding Qing suddenly looked towards Butler Jia standing by the side and called out. Master Ding, what are your orders? Master Yuan, do you still have any of that liquor you gave me last time? If so, pour me a few more bottles. Master Yuan, that's feasible, right? With that said, Ding Qing jovially addressed Yuan Taiping saying thank you, Master Yuan. Master Jia, I will accompany you to fetch it. Ding Qing stood up, first standing in front of the reclining chair of Master Yuan, clasping his hands together in a sloppy bow then nonchalantly followed behind the old butler. The two of them walked out of the garden one after the other. What Ding Qing didn't see was that after he turned around, Master Yuan and his son-in-law Song Yu stared straight at his back only exchanging a meaningful look with each other and smiling after his figure disappeared. Winter day, afternoon, the gentle sunlight sprinkled over this traditional Chinese courtyard making it seem somewhat quaint and lazy. With his hands in his pockets, Ding Qing followed behind Master Jia to the wine cellar. The wine cellar was located in the northwest corner of the estate, entering the wine cellar, the first thing that caught the eye was a row of red wines, all of which were the most collectible on the market. Walking further and entering another storage room, bottles of aged white liquor came into view, at the same time in the wine cellar only the old butler dressed in a black Zhongshan suit and the carefree Ding Qing remained, Ding Qing squinted his eyes, observing the old butler, then shifted his gaze away casually inspecting the wine cellar to ensure there were no surveillance devices or the like. Suddenly Ding Qing's footsteps halted. The cellar was very quiet and as soon as his footsteps stopped, the old butler walking ahead noticed and also stopped turning back with a puzzled look at Ding Qing. Young Master Ding Master Jia began to call out, his tone started to change, in his eyes Ding Qing's demeanor had changed, just now he still looked dissolute and decadent, but at this moment he had reigned in all emotions his expressions serious and sharp his oppressive aura faintly similar yet different from a few years ago, Master Jia realized something and remained composed, no longer speaking standing with his hands tied waiting for Ding Qing's intentions, I prepared a gift for. Master Jia Ding Qing said with a smirk that didn't reach his eyes. He pulled out his phone, tapped on the screen and then handed the phone to Master Jia, Master Jia looked at the screen, it was a video, grandfather, save me, in the frame his most beloved grandson was tied up, his voice already hoarse from crying. Next to the little grandson his son and daughter-in-law were all gagged with desperadoes in black uniforms standing beside them. Timely one of the desperadoes drew out a sharp knife, pressing the blade against the delicate neck of the little grandson with blood starting to flow from the tip of the knife. Master Jia's eyes split with fury his aura instantaneously changing, 
Where was the gentle and kind old man now? He suddenly raised his head, staring straight at Ding Ching. Ah Ping don't get too caught up in your drawings take some rest, I dealt with these few parts for you, remember to treat me to a meal later, woman culture, office. Gu Dashi turned around unceremoniously pulling the monitor in front of Lu Ping to his side, glanced at the drawing software then said Big Brother Ping. I'll leave these few to you addressing the one wearing an off-white sweater with rosy cheeks sitting at the adjacent desk, Zhang Yingying hearing this also poked her head over and quickly said, me too, I want to have a meal, Lu Ping did not refuse, he picked up his teacup took a sip of hot water and looked up at the busy fulfilling ordinary large office at his colleagues one by one, after a long while he gripped the cup in his palm and exhaled a long breath of hot air, I have to treat Ding Ching as my teacher, take a good look at how he uses information, in the office Lu Ping operated the mouse modifying the design on the screen. After saving this page of the poster he picked up his phone for a glance, then pushed up his glasses and whispered to himself, he was acutely aware of his own capabilities and knew that Ding Ching the second in command of Zheng Hai Freight Group was far beyond him, therefore he refrained from meddling too much, merely providing the necessary information, the rest he left to Ding Ching. Lu Ping merely needed to maintain his stance and observe carefully thoroughly contemplating the situation. Ding Cheng, old butler Jia suddenly called out in a deep voice. He was dressed in a black Zhongshan suit his silver hair meticulously combed without a strand out of place, the old man's voice exploded like a devil coming to claim a soul, old butler Jia, can you feel heartache too? Ding Cheng looked at the old man's appearance his mouth spreading into a radiant smile his demeanor seemingly unhinged yet tears welled up in his eyes, Qin Qin is only five years old, just five. She would sweetly call you Grandpa Jia, wouldn't she? Have you forgotten? Ding Qing was frenzied as he screamed his questions. Hearing Ding Qing's words, old butler Jia was initially shocked but soon settled into a calm demeanor. He looked at Ding Qing, his mouth opening as if to explain, but it took him a moment to find his voice. I did not back then. Although he had not been involved in the incident with Ding Qing's wife and child, he had watched the entire event unfold. Ding Qing glanced at old butler Jia. In the latter's hand, the mobile phone displayed a desperate thud pressing a knife harder into delicate skin. The blade grazing towards the throat drawing blood that trickled down in a thin line, the child's cries threw the usually composed old butler into panic and distress. You must be wondering how I could know about their whereabouts right, after all you hid them so well, you must have thought that even Master Yuan wouldn't know about them right, Ding Ching observed the old butler's reaction stepping closer leaning in to glance at the phone and the old man's grip and said with a chuckle, old butler Jia's eyelids twitched uncontrollably, stop, make him stop, he begged, give me this favor old butler Jia, Ding Ching, still leaning forward and looking at. The phone playfully addressed the thug on the screen, five years, since Eun and Qin Qin left, a full five years have passed and I have never given up. I've been investigating, wondering why it was such a coincidence that day, Ding Qing half-truthfully recounted, he walked through the depths of the wine cellar his head tilted back as he surveyed the rows of white liquor bottles, he paused, then turned back to face old butler Jia, the ferocity on his face softening into a thick sneer, during this process I've come across some interesting information, Old butler Jia, you've been with Master Yuan since you were 13, your master and servant yet more like brothers, trusting the old master unconditionally, but before this family you had another love, another family, why are they gone, Ding Qing countered. Old butler Jia looked at Ding Qing, that was a chapter from his youth and experience no one in the underworld should remember, back then both he and Master Yuan were only in the middle to lower echelons, he had suffered retribution from enemies, losing his wife and young son on the same day, it was also for this reason that his later born son was raised outside, away from anyone's knowledge, I mean could there be a possibility that Master Yuan, no, Ding Qing's smile deepened, he walked towards old butler Jia from the far end of the wine cellar, although he was speaking conjecture his tone was one of certainty and excitement, Yuan Taiping needs a solitary tool unencumbered by any attachments, not a dull blade burdened with chains and weaknesses, he needs a shadow that follows him, a shadow that belongs only to him, Ding Qing trembled with excitement, old butler Jia remained unresponsive, having followed Yuan Taiping for a lifetime he was the person who knew. Master Yuan the best in this world, he should have been the most trusting but at this moment he subconsciously believed, because he had seen too many of Yuan Taiping's tactics. So decades ago, in that rented room, it was Yuan Taiping who personally killed your wife and son who were only 23 at the time, how tragic that the person you trust and are loyal to is actually your greatest enemy, 
Ding Qing's mouth curled into a grimace as he slowly enunciated each word, each of his words cut like the sharpest of knives, this piece of information wasn't provided by Lu Ping. Lu Ping had only relayed part of the intelligence regarding old butler Jia. In fact, in all the information Lu Ping had on Yuan Taiping, it was noted that the highly suspicious Yuan only trusted old butler Jia Shodong whom he grew up with and conquered the world with, treating him truly as a brother. Back then when Jia's wife was murdered, Master Yuan had also been genuinely angry and pained, therefore this past was recorded in Lu Ping's intelligence. Ding Qing didn't care about the truth. He simply dumped this long unverifiable mess onto Master Yuan's head. Impossible, back in those days old butler Jia's lips quivered ready to retort. Then why did you send them away to be raised even intentionally keeping it from Yuan Taiping? Ding Qing interrupted old butler Jia's words pointing at the phone and scoffing, old butler Jia froze, he had witnessed too much of what Master Yuan had done, but after the birth of his second son he indeed became afraid, did you also know that I managed to find their information, Yuan Taiping is such a suspicious person, how could you possibly keep it from him, I just needed to watch Yuan Taiping and then I found them, Ding Qing said rapidly not giving Jia any time to react, the truth was that old butler Jia had slipped up for a while and after Yuan's meticulous investigation he became aware of Jia's hidden son but did not disturb him, instead he cleaned up all loopholes even further, old butler Jia slumped, he knew this was something Yuan Taiping was capable of, Jia Shodong, Ding Qing's eyes widened as he suddenly shouted, do you think they can escape, even if it's not me, a Ding Qing roared like a Trapped beast, old butler Jia let go of his hand the gripped phone dropping as he took deep breaths, facing Ding Qing's bloodshot eyes he hoarsely asked, what do you want to do? I want to take back everything that belongs to me, the phone by the desk vibrated, Lu Ping grabbed the phone glanced at it then placed it back where it was continuing his work, after a while he picked up the phone and casually walked out of the office, at the end of the corridor he looked out the window, he dialed the number pressing the phone to his ear, hello Lu Ping said calmly, as he listened to the words from the other end of the phone, his black and white eyes flickered. Continuously, he was inwardly impressed but showed nothing on his face, all Lu Ping said with a heavy voice was, you don't have much time left. The weather is nice, still standing in the same place, holding the phone Lu Ping looked up glancing at the winter sun a rare good weather in Zhonghai's winter suitable for ordinary people to take their girlfriends or family out for a stroll or afternoon tea, his gaze lowered. The towering skyscraper sparkled, reflecting the sun's rays. Lu Ping took a deep breath and whispered to himself. Ever since the bookshelf began to update with intelligence, he felt that his once dull and boring life had completely changed. Every day was exceptionally fulfilling. Even today, this morning felt like the helplessness of someone falling from a high altitude, like the despair of a person drowning in the deep sea. By noon, I was splurging on a million dollar luxury car, venting wantonly in the back seat and I was remotely observing the second-in-command of Zhonghai Marine Transport Group presenting his submission for approval, I don't want to think too much, just keep running forward. Lu Ping shook his head, he found that he couldn't afford to dwell on. Things for once he did, his originally firm heart would be entwined with unease. He turned around and walked back to his office, things you rest a bit more probably around 3 o'clock will go to a meeting at Chuanha, Ying Ying you come too, his colleague Gudashi turned around and said to Lu Ping and Zhang Yingying, after exchanging a few words Lu Ping's small group returned to quietness, he hadn't been in the office for half the morning and even though Gudashi and Zhang Yingying had taken over most of his tasks he still had plenty of work on his hands, focusing. His attention he stopped considering the intelligence, the powerful figures and immersed himself in the tasks at hand. At a quarter past three, Inch Gudashi glanced at the time and stretched lazily before picking up the folder and turning around patting Lu Ping's desk. A few minutes later, Gudashi walked ahead with Lu Ping and Zhang Yingying side by side behind him, the three of them left woman culture and entered the elevator. Lu Ping was no longer as nervous as last time. He just held his folder and notebook, his expression contained watching the floors change on the elevator, the crisp and pleasant sound of. The elevator rang out. Standing at the back, Lu Ping became even more solemn as he followed Gudashi towards Chuanha, once again seeing that first surveillance camera. Before this camera had turned towards him with Li Yuzhen watching from behind it, Lu Ping held his breath, adjusting the subtlest aspects of his posture, even more composed, even more mysterious, but when they, as a group, stood in the lobby with a stream of people brushing past them from all sides that same camera and others in various locations showed no change whatsoever, green dots flickered, Aren't you paying attention to me anymore? 
Lu Ping quickly realized. He made a judgment that from now until the start of the major promotion in 15 days it would be Li Yuzhen's busiest 15 days and his rating in her mind would lower naturally leading her to temporarily shift her gaze away at least until the event was over and she could spare the time to focus on him again, people really do love to debase themselves, Lu Ping pushed his glasses up, he gripped the folder tightly feeling somewhat annoyed inside, when he was the center of attention he felt nervous and fearful but now feeling undervalued he also felt stifled. It's so lively, Zhang Yingying murmured softly, the three of them stood in the reception hall, completely unattended in the midst of the hustle and bustle of partners eager to make sales at Chuanha's year-end promotion, the Chuanha receptionists and staff were too busy to set foot on the ground, I heard Chuanha borrowed a sum from the bank at least this figure expected to burn through it before the promotion. Gu Dashi stretched out a finger looking at the busy figures to his left and right and spoke in a low voice, 10 million, 10 billion, Zhang Yingying's eyes widened. Hello, we're from Woman Culture downstairs here for the promotional meeting hosted by Director Lin, Gu Dashi stopped a staff member rushing by with a Chuanho work badge and said, the three were led into a large conference room and sat in a corner. Before long the entire conference room filled up with people, Lu Ping Dashi and Zhang Yingying felt like they were transparent, feeling out of place in this evidently refined and elite circle, appearing very restrained, they even lightened. Their breathing, Lu Ping noticed the posture of the two, inch feeling that they, like himself when facing people like Li Yuzhen, were like lambs amongst wolves, trying their best to hide their vulnerable side, feigning strength and equality. A few minutes later, the meeting commenced, Director Lin Shouyu's presence was even more commanding than before. There's a saying that power is an aphrodisiac for men, but isn't it the same for women? She stood at the podium, her piercing gaze briefly scanning over the attendees, causing both men and women to nod and then quickly avert their eyes. Lu Ping watched the formidable woman ahead of him. He liked strong personalities in the opposite sex. Lin Shouyue caught sight of him, her eyes. Pausing for a fraction of a second before moving on, the transaction that night was her closely guarded secret. Once calm she no longer believed that such an important figure would be near her. The meeting's rhythm was swift, coordinating and redefining the different promotional modules for the entire year-end promotion period, fireworks, this was truly the most dazzling display of fireworks, Lu Ping took notes diligently, he paused, the tip of his pen hovering over the page filled with emotion, Li Yuzhen was gambling big, a do-or-die move. There was only soaring to success by opening the flow of traffic to monetize the market or plummeting without a chance to recover, at the meeting's conclusion Li Yuzhen the eldest granddaughter of the Li family from Yanjing City made her appearance. She emerged as if enveloped in a halo her radiance turning even Lin Shouyue into just another face in the crowd, she didn't look at Lu Ping, she simply stated her demands for Chuanha's promotion according to the agenda and then left briskly in her high heels, she was too busy. She had no time to continue probing Lu Ping, whose rating had decreased. The dinner that night was the most she could afford to invest in him before the promotion, Lu Ping controlled his increasingly heavy breathing. His gaze following the direction of Li Yuzhen's departure just like the others in the meeting room. However, unlike the admiring, upward-looking, and odd gazes of others behind his black-framed glasses his eyes revealed an unhealthy desire to conquer, the queen-like brilliance, gorgeous and aloof, so, am I actually a dominant queen, a cool and distant goddess? My attributes are Lu Ping redirected his gaze, his thoughts swirling wildly, yet his face betrayed none of it, he stared at his notebook, his index finger gripping the pen tightly, he had understood the indifference behind Li. Yuzhen's earlier glance and he grew even more eager for the major changes the promotion would bring. The meeting ended, Lu Ping picked up his notebook and folder blending in like the most ordinary of office workers, discreetly walking shoulder to shoulder with Zhang Yingying following behind Gudashi, back again, our own company feels more comfortable, returning to woman culture, the office's decor was a notch below that of Chuanha and the colleagues lacked the earlier luster, but both Gudashi and Zhang Yingying seemed much more relaxed, sitting at her desk Zhang Yingying grabbed a Cushioned from the back of her chair, leaned forward on the table, stretched lazily and squinted her eyes in relaxation. Night had fully set in, at 10 o'clock only the colleagues working on the Chuanha project remained at woman culture. Gudashi shifted his gaze from the screen glanced at the time and tapped Lu Ping's desk only speaking in a deep voice after seeing the eyes of Lu Ping and Zhang Yingying turn towards him. Let's call it a day. He looked at other colleagues in different positions clapped his hands and said everyone's worked hard. Remember to bring your taxi receipts tomorrow, the company will reimburse them all.
Gudashi stood up raising his voice as he spoke, Lu Ping saved the half-finished graphic he was working on looking up at Gudashi with a hint of a smile, after several years of working together he had rarely or almost never seen Gudashi take such a serious attitude, sensing the gaze he turned his head to look, just as Zhang Yingying looked over she chuckled and pointed at Gudashi, upstairs, the office of Chuanha was in a frenzy, we probably won't get a break until a few days before the big promotion, from now until then half a month of overtime is expected, colleagues began to leave one after another. Soon only three people remained in the large office positioned by the window corner see Lu Ping and his two companions, they were in no rush to leave, they sat around sipped tea and chatted casually, Gu Dashi Yan loudly saying in a deep voice feels pretty good, Zhang Yingying's eyes sparkled as she smiled in response, Lu Ping sat quietly to the side a faint smile playing on his lips as he watched the two of them, then, as Zhang Yingying turned to look his way their gazes interweaved. In the girl's eyes Lu Ping saw a deep mirth which was followed by a pause and a sudden blush that crept across her cheeks as she quickly averted her gaze saying I'm in a hurry, ah Ping Yingying I'll be leaving first. Downstairs at the building a taxi arrived, Gu Dashi who usually took care of Lu Ping and Zhang Yingying got into the car first waving goodbye before disappearing from their sight, the two rarely had moments alone together, Zhang Yingying stood nervously beside Lu Ping her head bowed, Sensing the atmosphere between them Lu Ping did not reject or initiate conversation but instead went with the float chatting with the girl, only when the taxi arrived did he bid a somewhat reluctant Zhang. Yingying farewell, Lu Ping watched the taxi drive away with a light smile but as the taillights vanished into the night his smile slowly faded. He lowered his head and began tapping on his phone screen, a few minutes later a white Toyota ride-sharing car pulled up in front of him, Lu Ping opened the door settled into the back seat and closed it behind him, Mr. The car began to move, next to Lu Ping a middle-aged man with a weathered air lifted his head, the man glanced into the rearview mirror at the young driver and addressed Lu Ping with a hoarse voice, with his legs crossed and his gaze out the window Lu Ping responded with. Few words, the less said the better, no big shot is chatty, it's important to leave some things unsaid, this was a lesson he had gleaned as if from watching cop and crime movies. I've recorded Mr. Jia's video, in it he divulged many secrets only he knew, there's no going back for him now, the middle-aged man said somberly recounting the afternoon's events, Lu Ping listened intently continuously tapping his fingers against the car door's armrest, he used this motion the crossing of his legs and the support of his chin to mask his inner nervousness and to appear collected, when the intelligence about Yuan Taiping emerged from the bookcase and his plan to support. Ding Qing's rise to power took shape, he had chosen another path, if successful, his subordinates would truly possess a relatively trustworthy force. There's only 10 days left until the vote, talk about those 12 directors Lu Ping said maintaining an indifferent demeanor, before the incident with the Yun relying on my prestige I would have been this year's decision maker without a doubt, but over these years I let go Yuan Taiping pushed Song Yu to power and has since garnered most of the influence, now I have no advantage. Li Weiman old Mr. Li once had the best relationship with me and he still detests that scoundrel Song Yu. He should be someone I can directly sway, Song Hai Rong and Kai Yong, both known to flip-flop, are now leaning towards Song Yu due to his power. The remaining nine are all Yuan Taiping's staunch supporters Ding Qing listed, his expression icy as he spoke gravely, he had let go for five years and Zhang Hai shipping group no longer had a place for him, starting with Chen Fuan and Bao Jun, the car drove on, under the night sky the towering buildings of Zhanghai were quickly left behind, Lu Ping did not respond directly but kept recalling the intelligence on Yuan Taiping, he remained silent and the car fell into a hush, after a long pause Lu Ping spoke up in a deep voice, he continued in a measured tone revealing the secrets and information that Yuan Taiping held over the two individuals. He offered no bias in his viewpoint allowing Ding Qing to analyze and decide for himself, Having once ascended to his position, Ding Qing's decision-making abilities and methods far exceeded those of the ordinary employee Lu Ping. The car passed through a tunnel and the oncoming lights illuminated his face. He listened attentively and beneath his hanging hair his sharp eyes occasionally narrowed, betraying the shock within. Ding Qing no longer feared Yuan Taiping's power, but he was. Terrified of Lu Ping and the intelligence organization behind him, hidden within this city what sort of existence could gather all this information? That's enough, pull over here, Lu Ping said suddenly as he looked out the window at a bustling residential area, from the driver's seat Ding Qing's trusted right-hand man glanced at his boss through the rearview mirror and, upon receiving his approval, slowly pulled over to the side of the road, I'll wait for your news, Lu Ping remarked, 
with those words he pushed open the car door and stepped out, he looked around to confirm the direction before striding away, Lu Ping was off to see a girl. An insignificant one mentioned in the third report. She was a minor internet celebrity who had offended some people and thus had been handed over to a media tycoon known for his promotional clout, a barrage of cyber soldiers exposes and smear pieces had knocked the girl from heaven to hell, before meeting that bigwig Lu Ping wanted to experience firsthand what it meant to kill without shedding blood, my private life isn't messy at all. Who says that just because I'm a streamer and look good I must be selling myself, who are they to talk? About me like that, in a darkened room with no lights on the curtains of all the windows were tightly drawn not letting in a single ray of light. A girl in a white dress her face pale hugged her legs as she curled up on the sofa her body occasionally shivering, why don't even my mom and dad trust me, I'm not that kind of person, I might as well die, only my death could prove my innocence, a fat orange cat jumped beside the girl and gently nuzzled her arm with its head, yeah, what should you do, what can you do, pretty upscale place, they've got elevator control. Lu Ping stood in front of a residential building looking up at the high-rise under the night sky before walking in with confidence. He waited with a few residents in front of the elevator watching them take out their access cards and press their floors, he muttered to himself but didn't move forward, standing at the back of the elevator Lu Ping took out his phone browsing his feed like the other passengers, he searched for Chun Xia on a short video app and a flurry of information appeared, guys got any videos, a friend of mine wants to see, PM me. I've seen the video and all I can say is, it's so Chun Xia those. Legs are top notch, countless comments, various messages, real and fake revelations. Gripping his phone Lu Ping closed his eyes, he put himself in the shoes of the female internet celebrity feeling engulfed and devoured by a great despair, she stood in this world surrounded by endless darkness wrapped in a multitude of spliced edited and false rumors, her mouth was covered her voice unheard by anyone, a chill ran down Lu Ping's spine, he suddenly opened his eyes this feeling of despair and helplessness more painful than any panic he had ever felt, above that dazzling. Metropolis at the pinnacle of all living beings set the power holders, apart from not being reproductively isolated they might as well belong to a different class of life from the masses. Once their gaze falls upon us we can no longer resist, what are we after all? The elevator reached its stop floor by floor, Lu Ping snapped back to reality, only diagonally ahead a bespectacled professional woman remained and soon the elevator arrived as well, waiting for the woman to leave first hearing the sound of her high heels tapping away the elevator doors began to close slowly, but just before they fully shut Lu Ping pressed the open button, carrying his briefcase he stepped. Out. His gaze swept over the safety exit above before discreetly turning right into the corridor not seeing any other residents then he pushed open the fire escape door, damn it, Never seen a big shot have to climb stairs himself, Lu Ping cursed under his breath, the female internet celebrity Chun Xia whose real name is Wang Anchi is a cosplayer blogger in the ACG anime comic game, community with followers around 1.2 million across various platforms, she had suffered for refusing some requests from wealthy second-generation rich kids. Thinking of the information in the intelligence report, after a while Lu Ping began to pant slightly, is there something wrong with the design standard of these stairs, the step height is clearly too high, climbing another level, Lu Ping looked at the steps and muttered to himself, when I get back this time I definitely need to start exercising, my body is really not up to par getting winded after climbing just three floors, ouch. Perhaps it was the sweat soaking into the wound on the back of his head Lu Ping gasped in a breath of cold air. From the 16th floor to the 26th, Lu Ping stood in front of the fire escape door, adjusting his breathing, pulling out a tissue from his pocket to meticulously wipe the sweat from his forehead and neck, then he turned his head, tossing the tissue into the waste bin nearby, extending his hand he pushed the door open, room 2603, Lu Ping looked at the security door and through the refracted light he noticed that even the peephole seemed to be blocked by a piece of paper, adjusting his expression. He revealed a slightly mysterious smile, knocked on the door, just a door away, the silent living room, at the moment the knocking sounded the girl in a white dress hugging her legs on the sofa shuddered like a startled kitten burying her face between her knees while the plump orange cat clawed at its owner's pale leg curiously peering towards the door, Lu Ping once again knocked on the door, Wang Anchi, Lu Ping paused slightly then suddenly called out, inside the girl in the white dress trembled then cautiously lifted her head in the circle almost no one knew her real name. I believe in you, 
I'm here to help you just open the door first, Lu Ping said again. At this time this girl known online as Chun Xia and real name Wang Anchi what she wanted to hear most deep in her heart were the words I believe in you. She really moved her pale feet tensing inch by inch out of the pitch black room, the toes barely touching the ground before swiftly retracting. After several repeats she finally stood up, the floor was cold. She cautiously walked barefoot to the door. Like a scared bird at any slight change ready to withdraw, she feared seeing anyone's gaze. Since the incident she would only look for something to eat in the room when extremely hungry and when there was nothing left she would reluctantly use her phone to order takeout instructing the delivery guy to leave it at the door, if it couldn't be delivered she would just starve but if it was delivered she would tip the delivery guy a lot of money through the platform. Wang Anchi took a deep breath hope flickering in her eyes she grabbed the door handle, pulling open the door the not too blinding light poured in through the crack her movements halted. Lu Ping watched the crack of the door. He saw eyes fixed on him from beside the door, a pair of eyes filled with terror, exhaustion, and bloodshot. Murder doesn't require a bloody knife, that's what is truly terrifying. No matter how much is described in words, it's never as shocking as facing reality. Lu Ping was stunned, and immediately after the hairs on his body stood on end, he had never seen anyone react like this before. I have a way, Lu Ping said with a calm and forceful tone, concise in his speech, like a drowning person. Grasping for the last straw, Wang Anchi mustered the courage to continue opening the door, and soon she was fully visible to Lu Ping. A very pretty girl, she stood behind the door wearing a white camisole dress, her feet bare. She was so anxious, nervous, and apprehensive that even her feet were tightly coiled, her toes gripping the ground grain by grain. Her complexion was unnaturally pale, and the recent days of hunger had made her thin to the point of emaciation. May I come in? Lu Ping tried to reduce his imposing presence, asking with a gentle smile. Wang Anchi wanted to refuse but she was more afraid of the world. Behind her, she saw the light heard the sounds coming in. The sound of footsteps startled her and she turned and ran back into the room to be embraced by the darkness shrinking onto the sofa, Lu Ping watched, pushed the door open and stepped inside, he turned around and closed the door. The room was dark, not a single ray of light, Lu Ping stepped forward hearing only his own footsteps, and also the rapid panting the cat's gentle meow, he took out his phone. The light from the locked screen illuminated. Lu Ping surveyed the room, all the windows were closed with curtains drawn, all devices that could emit light were powered off, even the light from the water dispenser, the refrigerator. Shocking, terrifying, this was the first time he truly understood the means that those in power could create. From the intelligence he also knew that to that media magnate Wang Anchi was but an insignificant oppressor, just a minor part of his propaganda, public opinion and cyber army forces. A mere ant being crushed, Wang Anchi, don't be afraid I. Am here to save you Lu Ping stood in front of the sofa looking down at the frail woman before him he opened his arms and said softly, even if the whole world doesn't believe you I will stand by your side. In the pitch black living room Lu Ping sat down too, in the darkness the cosplayer blogger Chun Xia with a million followers quickly developed affection for Lu Ping at an astonishing speed, like a cat she curled up resting her head on Lu Ping's legs. He gently stroked the girl's long hair. His palm touched her pale back feeling only a coldness and Lu Ping soothingly said haven't eaten yet, have some porridge to nourish your stomach. Lu Ping said, a thin mosquito-like response, taking out the cell phone. When the light of the screen expelled the darkness and fell on the pale skin of Chunxia in his arms Lu Ping could clearly feel the latter's body trembling and she closed her eyes tightly and buried her cheeks between her legs. Ordering the takeout Lu Ping sat down for another bout. He gently moved Chuanxia's head away stepped aside and pressed open the side light of the porch under the sound of snapping towers and the warm blow filled the entire house in an instant, Chuanxia screamed out. Lu Ping looked to the girl trembling on the sofa, sat back on the sofa, in the sound of encouragement the girl slowly raised her head, very beautiful classical melon face, eyelashes carefully fluttering, pearly appearance as delicate as Lin Dayu, the eyes inadvertently looked along the white neck to see the loose halter white dress after only a glance to move away from the line of sight. Good exquisite small pigeon ah, the heart subconsciously lamented. Soon the takeaway arrived Lu Ping personally fed kanji to Chuanxia, saw a little redness emerge on the fair cheeks, confirmed that the latter's mood is stable, let Chuanxia rest well and left the rest to him and then got up to leave, the weather is getting colder and colder. When I came, there was no ladder control so I needed to climb the stairs and when I went back it was enough to just press the next floor, just walked. Out of the residential building, 
The cold wind of the winter night poured in along his collar Lu Ping couldn't help but shiver as he walked out of the neighborhood and stepped on the sidewalk, on his side were the bustling stores along the street and on the other side were the streams of vehicles. Shuev watching a media bigwig in Zhanghai City was born in 1979, studied journalism at Guanghua University in 1997 and graduated from graduate school in 2004. At the beginning of the development of the internet field Shuev watching valued the communication effect of this emerging field. He threw himself on the line borrowed from sellers and used everything to lay out the internet media, unfortunately it ended in bankruptcy, however when the social platform appeared he once again seized the opportunity, crazy layout of public numbers, big V and other areas to establish a water army, he became the most notorious mercenary in the media circle, Lu Ping did not take a taxi directly. He walked briskly along the side of the stores and combined with Chun Xia's experience he had a clearer perception of the authority of the third intelligence bigwigs. How should I cut in? Lu Ping stopped in his tracks, he raised his head his eyes sweeping aimlessly through the crowd in front of him. What was Shuev watching's weakness? What did he crave for? And what does he fear? In due time, Lu Ping's gaze lurched and his mouth pursed, he suppressed his thoughts, grabbed his briefcase and Walked broadly he walked to a store along the street, gazed towards the middle-aged that woman with an apron and said mildly, a chicken leg fried older, money swept to you. A few minutes later, Lu Ping ate fried chicken legs walked to the sidewalk he raised his head looked into the distance by the neon lights reflecting the reddish night sky the green light came on stepped through. Shui Dong, recently Zhanghai multiple PR companies and media platforms of the Hangzhou generation have been contacted by unknown forces and I guess that a large-scale public opinion-oriented event may be about to occur. Classical study, right outside the window is the Zhanghai city skyline, the Bun River view. There are many similarities with that Mr. N.I. Yongshao in the movie Infernal Affairs, wearing glasses, the middle-aged man with a gentlemanly look crossed his legs leaning against the Window and concentrating on a canonical edition of psychology waiting for the door of the room to be clasped before he followed the sound of his voice answering the sound of his voice and then gazing at a woman with a competent temperament walking in. She had a sharp short hair western clothes shallow rooted high heels stood not far from the middle-aged man respectfully reported, words struck, she handed over a folder, middle-aged man with one hand propped up his chin looking through the survey the other hand knocked the hand rest, in their line of work, the farther they go the more they take into account, behind the seemingly carefree and infamous, there were actually strict rules. It's like the journey to the West, the ones who get killed are the ones with no background, didn't contact us, Shuewatching put down the document and asked in a deep voice, there was nothing concrete in this information but he still saw the surging undercurrent that was brewing, not yet for the time being, the young secretary answered, just as her words fell, the cell phone in her arms vibrated. Shuev watching answered, the young secretary took the cell phone out and did not walk away, directly pressed the public playback, serious words rang out, hello, which person, may I ask if you are Shui Dong's secretary, we have a big order here, need to directly interface with Shui Dong, we all know the rules, Mr. Chin Ji Dong Chin gave me the number, with a somewhat oily voice, the young secretary glanced at Shuev watching in front of the window hand holding the cell phone and continued to. Respond, I need to know what kind of business it is before I can report to Shui Dong. Good, please wait for my call, the young secretary answered. Shui Dong, it is estimated that it is the force that has bought most of the propaganda outlets in the circle. Fang Sai's phone call, that oily middle aged man mouth is very tight, did not disclose anything the secretary and Shui watching's instructions constantly, and that one to pull the phone only to indicate that the big boss is willing to Shui Dong personally video conference. Mr. Shuev watching the secretary of the company, Shuev watching frowned lightly, he grabbed his hand in vain and when the young secretary saw it, he walked over to the mahogany table and took out a cigar from the drawer to light it. For Shuev watching, I'd like to see who the hell is it? Shuev watching took a drag spat out the smoke ring and said in a deep voice, the laptop was placed on the coffee table, the professional webcam was debugged, after 10 minutes or so the secretary clicked on a video link and she respectfully walked out of the study, bringing the door to the room with her. Shuev watching half squinted his eyes and looked at the page in the video, it was a modernized office, the perspective of the office was not ordinary with a whole side of floor-to-ceiling windows and the floor-to-ceiling windows were able to overlook an entire modernized metropolis, through the landmark buildings Shuev watching quickly recognized at Yuncheng, Zhao's other economic center. People from Yongchun, he whispered, hmm? In the glass, a silhouette emerged and footsteps sounded, not. 
Much longer, the handsome young man with a false smile on his face walked into the camera and sat down at the desk. What's the origin? Shwevwatching did not recognize the youth's identity but noticed the watch the latter was wearing a Patek Philippe Ref, 1518 worth 78, 15 million which had been auctioned off by a mysterious person buyer at a watch auction a few years ago, the handsome young man pushed up his glasses and a voice with some magnetism came out of his mouth, Mr. Shwet I've heard a lot about you, please allow me to introduce myself first, the words paused and came out slowly, Song family Song Ziwan, almost. Simultaneously Shwe Hua Ching reacted his expression unchanged, but his pupils suddenly contracted and his heart beat heavily, the economic circle that Sheep City represented that is the Lingnan economic circle encompassed Pengcheng Vegas as well as Xiang Zhang, the wealth it involved was no weaker than the area around Zhanghai. And the Song family was the economic leader of that wealth center and absolute behemoth, the economic scale under the Song family exceeded trillions but the capital system formed around the Song family was even able to pry $10 trillion or even higher out of the economic industry, mansion, deservedly it was a top-tier family of magnates and plutocrats. Shwe Watching's thoughts flowed, but his face did not show the slightest bit, so it's Mr. Song, I wonder what Mr. Song found before. Sitting upright, Shwe Watching arched his hand at Song Ziwen revealing a warm smile like that of an old greaseball, his face looked enthusiastic but in his heart he was becoming more and more wary and serious, nowadays, he was in an awkward position for ordinary people that looked like he had unlimited power, could turn black and white upside down and could sway public opinion. But for the powerful and noble layer he was still at the bottom of this one class and could be uprooted at any time, chewed up and swallowed with his skin and bones, if he wants to stabilize his position or even climb further up the ladder he has to find a side of power to take refuge in, this force, could it be the Yangqing Song family? Shwe Huaqing did not dare to make a decision easily, the Yangcheng power and the Zhanghai power are the two major economic competitors of Zhao and even. The world once he is involved in the game of these two parties it is very likely that he will not even know how to die, is it for Liu Zhen? Shwe Huaqing counted the forces in Zhanghai in detail he guessed, in a few days the enterprises under my command have a new product on the market please trouble Mr. Shwe to mention. Song Ziwen leaned his back against a cool, curved moon, he was dressed in the top of the line private customization his hands and feet all revealed the nobility of a family at the top of the pyramid he had a smile on his face seemingly humble but behind that skin look was the arrogance and contempt in his bones, Tianlong people, Shui Huaqing speculated on the attitude not angry or stifled. With Song Ziwen's family history, it wasn't too much to say that he and himself as far as ordinary. People were concerned were two species, if Mr. Song needs it I Shui will definitely do my best to help. Shui Watching said, Song Ziwen continued to speak, he also continued to respond. His words seemed to be enthusiastic, but when pondered carefully, every single thing he promised was filled with perfect words. A few minutes later, the phone video hung up. Shui Watching looked at the pitch black screen, the respectful warm smile on his face abruptly disappeared without a trace, his hands propped up on the sofa as he walked to the edge of the desk, pulling out a cigar and lighting it up, taking a deep breath, and then looking out of the window at the gorgeous night scene. Whether it is the Song family or not, or Yinjing City Li family or the local giants in Zhanghai are not his little shrimp can participate, damn scum, damn, damn, the highest office building in Yangcheng, noble duke-like appearance speech and demeanor subtle smile without just the right amount of Song Ziwen in the video phone hang up the expression of an inch of convergence. In its place was a palpitating tyranny, he was a wild beast, a beast in human skin, Song Ziwen removed his gold-rimmed glasses and cursed continuously under his breath as he stood up, grabbed the laptop in front of him and raised it high, followed by slamming it heavily in front of him. Bang! The latest model of the laptop only instantly shattered open with pieces of the screen and the metal casing scattered all over the place. In the office, the female secretary standing to the side heard. The loud noise and her body suddenly gave a jolt. She didn't dare to make any unnecessary movements and only watched her eyes, nose, mouth and heart. Song Ziwen, the son of the Song family, had an excellent reputation in the entire circle of luxury families and among the general public, gentle and elegant, happy to be charitable, is the most perfect image of the prince in the movie and TV drama works, but only the people closest to him know the ugliness and distortion hidden under Song Ziwen's handsome appearance. Song Ziwen in public able to perform the most perfect image when the lights off in the dark he no longer hide the truth of. The beast is the devil, wrap it up, Song Ziwen calmly said, 
Yes, the secretary bowed, she familiarly cleaned up the debris and put the garbage into the special garbage cabinet which had special personnel to deal with it exclusively. Walking into the reserve room next to the office again only pulling open a cabinet door hundreds of laptops of the same model and appearance lined the entire wall, according to the number take out one of them, Song Ziwon unbuttoned the two buttons along the top edge of his shirt his face a little red like he was annoyed, tell me about Lee Eugene, pressing back his irritation, asked, everything is according to plan, only secretary Chow was transferred by MS, Lee probably because she found out something, the secretary respectfully responded, three days ago Miss Lee had shrugged off our surveillance and disappeared for about three hours and after investigation it was determined that Miss Lee arrived at that time to eat at the Bun Western restaurant, she continued. She was a little hesitant, Song Ziwon half narrowed his eyes a threatening aura flowing from around him. With what, calmly said, had lunch with a male, only that male's identity we haven't investigated yet it should be that Nemes, Lee's people processed the information cleanly. The secretary nervously said after she finished her words the whole person tightened up and didn't dare to move, bang, the computer that had just been replaced was smashed, but the venting wasn't just that before the secretary could react she only felt her hair being grabbed and even her scalp was emitting pain. Followed by her entire cheek being pressed against the desktop, this bitch, Song Ziwen gasped his handsome face twisted and livid. The young secretary's cheek was pressed against the desktop, she felt the pain her body trembling yet she didn't dare to resist in the slightest, snort, it's no fun, a spit was spat, the spit was spat on the secretary's hair Song Ziwon let go of his hand, his twisted expression changing faces to regain calmness, he clicked on the computer, soon, the surveillance of this hundreds of meters high office building appeared under Song Ziwon's eyes, he casually switched lenses, at this hour at most. Of the company employees in the building had already gotten off work with only a smattering of personnel still working overtime, snap, Song Ziwon hit the enter key heavily, his calm eyes gazed at the large office on a certain floor and in that corner an innocent looking girl in plain clothes was looking intently at the computer working earnestly. That's her isn't it, Song Ziwon flexed his fingers and said, yes, the young secretary simply cleaned up her hair her inner fear of dislike her face respectfully answered, Song Ziwon had a pleasure that was that he would choose at random from the passerby women he saw and use money and power to force them to obey him, so tired, just graduated and joined a big company, 25-year-old Lee Won Won was happy with her job, her family was poor but not complaining she was happy with her. Loving boyfriend in the opportunity to be able to advance, she worked diligently every day to make herself better and better every day, stretching out a great deal, Lee Won Won whispered but quickly patted her collagen-filled cheeks and became energized once again. In due time, in the corridor outside the office, the sound of high heels clicking on the ground was particularly clear at this moment, Lee Won Won raised her head and suspiciously followed the sound, hair was disheveled, the buttons on the white shirt were buttoned several times wrongly, when she raised her neck a clear pinch mark was left at the neck position, under the hem of the skirt the white legs were chunks of blue and red, Lee Won Won walked out of the elevator in a trance, she stumbled. In her steps and nearly fell to the floor, she ran to the bathroom and desperately washed her face, she clutched her head running her ten fingers through her hair as the horrific scene from not too long ago seemed to replay in her eyes, an indescribable sound came out of Lee Wen mouth, your tail number 3789's Jiao bank account transfer remittance amount RMB 5000000, the current balance is RMB 538361.00. In the sound of silence, the vibrating screen of the cell phone on the desktop lit up, Li Wenwen grabbed the cell phone cold light hit her face, she looked at the long numbers and did not know what to think only tightly pursed her mouth, the look of silence, she buried her head between her legs, this was a figure she could only save up for at least 4 years without eating or drinking and with this amount of money she and her boyfriend would be able to come up with a down payment much. Sooner and together they would be able to step into the life that she had envisioned for many years, Honestly, after seeing this figure, Won Won Lee felt less desperate and painful about what she had just experienced. When she realized the change in her thinking, Won Won Lee's eyes reddened and her large eyes were filled with tears. Rebelling so fiercely, I thought it was really a martyr. Top floor of the building, office, Song Zi Won watched every move on the monitor after Lee Won Won left. He liked to watch the transformation of human nature, it was one of his pleasures. He let out a light laugh and with that he closed the screen, command down. I want to find the man who dined with Li Yuzhen, Song Ziwen looked at his secretary his eyes turned cold and said in a deep voice, yes, the young secretary bowed and answered.
That woman Li Yuzhen was of great use to the aircraft carrier that was the Song family and was regarded as his forbidden domain he would not allow it to be colored by anyone, it's too late, we must take down Shui watching tomorrow, Zhang Hai. Cramped shared house, Lu Ping who was still reading that one piece of intelligence was suddenly enveloped by a heart palpitation as if he was being grabbed by the throat and was somewhat breathless, like a drowning person struggling in the water, for a long time, he took a big breath stared at the curtains in front of him licked his dry lips and whispered. He wanted to help Li Yuzhen not just to increase his mystique and make Li Yuzhen kneel in front of him, it was also for the sake. Of, with the help of the power behind Li Yuzhen, even if the Yinjing City Li family was weakened they would still be able to use their power to deter others. Compared to the time when I traded information with Li Yuzhen the current me should have made enough progress and I also have some of Li Yuzhen's and Ding Qing's connections as well, I don't dare to face Xue watching directly perhaps I can have Ding Qing accompany me, Lu Ping's eyes lit up as he contemplated, he clarified his thoughts and went to dig deeper into Xue watching's character weaknesses and needs from this angle. Time passed by minute by minute in this night of scrambling for time. By the time Lu Ping was awake, it was already past one o'clock in the morning. Putting the intelligence down, Lu Ping gently stood up. He walked over to the bookcase. His eyes looked through the glass to the corner of the bookcase and reached out to pull open the door. So my contact with Haruha can't be counted as using intelligence. Yes, Chuanxia is just the most insignificant ant in this intelligence. I'm not surprised. It's just a bit of a pity. That's right. I promised to start exercising so I'll start now. Sitting back at his desk Lupin thought again about the decision he had made in the fire stairwell at night, he used to be a procrastinating character but now that fault was cured, just say it and do it, Lupin pushed the seat toward the hole in the desk leaving the space between the bed and the desk, taking off the sweatshirt he used as pajamas he went bare chested and stretched. His arms before doing push ups, 1, 2, 3, 5, 5. Lu Ping also overestimated his physique. He thought he should be able to do 10 standard push ups without any effort, but after only 5, he was a bit overwhelmed. Still, he insisted on doing all 10. Breathing became rapid, and the sweat on the back of his head made the wound ache a little more. Not a big problem today, a set can only do 10. Tomorrow, a set will be able to do 15. 10 days, a month later, will be able to do more. Lu Ping was internally frustrated. He was under a lot of pressure right now and it could have been just a random point that could have crushed his emotions but luckily he quickly adjusted his mood and gave himself a pep talk. Once upon a time he was just a small and even more insignificant employee with the same bad living habits staying up late after work reading novels, movies and anime eating late night snacks and not exercising, everything will be better. Lu Ping touched his fatty stomach the stomach wearing clothes when it is not too visible. He continued to do sets of 15 deep squats rested for a moment and did sets of push-ups, it was 2 o'clock in the morning, all was silent, Lu Ping took a shower and then lay down on his bed he was already tired but still couldn't fall asleep, nor did he intend to read the intelligence or anything else tossing and turning on the bed sometimes laying on his back with his arms and legs spread out. In a big shape and then rolling over to use the same position or laying on his side with his legs clamped to the bedding, after a few minutes. Brace yourself and grab your cell phone from the side of the nightstand. Tap on the movie the police film lame and powerful image appeared in Lu Ping's eyes with two times the speed to focus on watching that character posture subtle expression constantly that life and death blood and fire. Combined with Ding Qing's gestures Lu Ping speculated as much as he could about what belonged to him. The next day, the weather was cloudy, Lu Ping arrived at the company and threw himself into the day's work. Night, 8 o'clock. In the office of our union culture Lu. Ping looked at his colleague Gudashi who was busy and his female colleague Zhang Yingying who was sitting next to him. He got up and walked out of the work desk, stepped into the corridor, bring him to me. Lu Ping's eyes stared up at the bright neon lights outside the floor-to-ceiling window and said in a deep voice. No, color quit drinking it. Ding Cheng hung up the phone he half squinted his eyes, took a deep breath of the cigarette in his mouth, then crushed the cigarette but hard in the ashtray. As soon as he got up violently, the other two youths in the private room also followed and got up at the same time and they looked at Ding Qing closely, we go, Ding Qing said, the black Volkswagen Passat drove into the underground tunnel into Zhang Hai Shui Hua Qing relied on the back seat to rest with his eyes closed, he was an extremely cautious person although he flaunted himself recklessly on the internet, he was extraordinarily low-key in real life and this ride that was not the least bit conspicuous from the outside was one that he had customized from overseas at a large cost. On weekdays he had several cars only this one was known only to a few close people, Shui Dong, suddenly, 
On the passenger side, the young female secretary suddenly shouted. Shui Huaqing heard the panic in the secretary's words and he suddenly opened his eyes only to see that at some point in front of behind and to the right of this car of his, there was a car approaching each other and a few cars pressed the Volkswagen he said he was sitting in, the distance between the front and back. And even the right side of the car kept shrinking, bang, bang, the black Volkswagen Passat impacted to the front car followed closely by the rear car, Shui Huaqing grabbed the handrail his face serious, who is it, who the hell is it, Song Ziwen, the more I am afraid the stronger I have to act, Lu Ping hung up the phone, in his raised eyes his gaze was crazy and open. The hair was disheveled, the buttons on his white shirt were buttoned several times wrong, when he raised his neck a clear pinch mark was left at the neck position, under the hem of the skirt the white legs were lumpy and red, Li Wenwen walked out of the elevator in a trance she stumbled in her steps and nearly fell to the floor she ran to the bathroom and desperately washed her face. She clutched her head running her ten fingers through her hair as the horrific scene from not too long ago seemed to replay in her eyes, an indescribable sound came out of Li Wenwen's mouth, your tail number 3789's Zhao bank account transferred and wired an amount of $500,000 with a current balance of RMB 538361.00. In the sound of silence the vibrating screen of the cell phone on the desktop lit up, Li Wenwen grabbed the cell phone, the cold light hit her face, she looked at the long numbers and did not know what to think only tightly pursed her mouth, the look of silence, she buried her head between her legs. This was a figure she could only save up for at least four years without eating or drinking and with this amount of money she and her boyfriend would be able to come up with a down payment much. Sooner and together they would be able to step into the life that she had envisioned for many years. Honestly, after seeing this figure one only felt less desperate and painful about what she had just experienced. When she realized the change in her thinking one when Li's eyes reddened and her large eyes were filled with tears, rebelling so fiercely, I thought it was really a martyr. Top floor of the building, office, Song Ziwen watched every move on the monitor after Li Wenwen left he liked to watch the transformation of human nature it was one of his pleasures, he let out a light laugh and with it he closed the screen, command down, I want to find the man who dined with Li Yuzhen, Song Ziwen. Looked at his secretary his eyes turned cold and said in a deep voice, yes, the young secretary bowed and answered. That woman Li Yuzhen was of great use to the aircraft carrier that was the Song family and was regarded as his forbidden domain he would not allow it to be colored by anyone, it's too late, we must take down Shui watching tomorrow, Wu Zhanghai, cramped shared house, Lu Ping who was still reading that one piece of intelligence was suddenly enveloped by a heart palpitation as if he was being grabbed by the throat and was somewhat breathless, like a drowning person struggling in the water. For a long time, he took a big breath stared at the curtains in front of him licked his dry lips and whispered, he wanted to help Li Yuzhen not just to increase his mystique and make Li Yuzhen kneel in front of him. It was also for the sake of, with the help of the power behind Li Yuzhen, even if the Yanjing city Li family was weakened they would still be able to use their power to deter others, compared to the time when I traded information with Li Yuzhen the current me should have made enough progress and I also have some of Li Yuzhen's and Ding Qing's connections as well, I don't dare to face Shui Huaqing directly, perhaps I can have Ding Qing accompany me, Lu Ping's eyes lit up as he contemplated, he clarified his thoughts and went to dig deeper into Shui Huaqing's character weaknesses and needs from this angle, time passed by minute by minute in this night of scrambling for time. By the time Lu Ping was awake, it was already past 1 o'clock in the morning, putting the intelligence down, Lu Ping gently stood up, he walked over to the bookcase, his eyes looked through the glass to the corner of the bookcase and reached out to pull open the door, so my contact with Haruha can't be counted as using intelligence, yes, Xuanxia is just the most insignificant ant in this intelligence, I'm not surprised, it's just a bit of a pity, that's right, I promised to start exercising. So I'll start now, sitting back at his desk Lupin thought again about the decision he had made in the fire stairwell at night, he used to be a procrastinating character but now that fault was cured. Just say it and do it, Lupin pushed the seat toward the hole in the desk leaving the space between the bed and the desk, taking off the sweatshirt he used as pajamas he went bare-chested and stretched his arms before doing push-ups, one, two, three, five, five, Luping also overestimated his physique he thought he should be able to do ten standard push-ups without any effort but after only five he was a bit overwhelmed, still he insisted on doing all ten, breathing became rapid and the sweat on the back of his head made the wound ache a little more, 
not a big problem today a set can only do 10 tomorrow a set will be able to do 15, 10 days a month later will be able to do more, Lu Ping was internally frustrated. He was under a lot of pressure right now and it could have been just a random point that could have crushed his emotions but luckily he quickly adjusted his mood and gave himself a pep talk, once upon a time he was just a small and even more insignificant employee with the same bad living habits staying up late after work reading novels, movies and anime eating late night snacks and not exercising, everything will be better, Lu Peng touched his fatty stomach, this stomach wearing clothes when it is not too visible, he continued to do sets of 15 deep squats rested for a moment and did sets of push-ups, it was 2 o'clock in the morning, all was silent, Lu Ping took a shower and then lay down on his bed he was already tired but still couldn't fall asleep. Nor did he intend to read the intelligence or anything else tossing and turning on the bed sometimes laying on his back with his arms and legs spread out in a big shape and then rolling over to use the same position or laying on his side with his legs clamped to the bedding, after a few minutes, brace yourself and grab your cell phone from the side of the nightstand, Tap on the movie the police film lame and powerful image appeared in Lu Ping's eyes with two times the speed to focus on. Watching that character posture, subtle expression constantly that life and death, blood and fire, combined with Ding Qing's gestures Lu Ping speculated as much as he could about what belonged to him, the next day, the weather was cloudy, Lu Ping arrived at the company and threw himself into the day's work. 8 o'clock in the evening, in the office of our union culture Lu Ping looked at his colleague Gudashi who was busy and his female colleague Zhang Yingying who was sitting next to him he got up and walked out of the work desk, stepped into the corridor, bring him to me, Lu Ping's eyes stared up at the bright neon lights outside the floor-to-ceiling window and said in a deep voice, no, color quit drinking it, Ding Cheng hung up the phone he half squinted his eyes took a deep breath of the cigarette in his mouth then crushed the cigarette but hard in the ashtray, as soon as he got up violently, the other two youths in the private room also followed and got up at the same time and they looked at Ding Ching closely, we go, Ding Ching said. The black Volkswagen Passat drove into the underground tunnel into Zhanghai, Shui Hua Ching relied on the backseat to rest with his eyes closed, he was an extremely cautious person although he flaunted himself recklessly on the internet, he was extraordinarily low-key in real life and this ride that was not the least bit conspicuous from the outside was one that he had customized from overseas at a large cost. On weekdays he had several cars, only this one was known only to a few close people. Shuedong, suddenly, on the passenger side the young female secretary suddenly shouted, Shui Hua Ching heard the panic in the secretary's words and he suddenly opened his eyes only to see that at some point in front of behind and to the right of this car of his there was a car approaching each other and a few cars pressed the Volkswagen he said he was sitting in, the distance between the front and back and even the right side of the car kept shrinking. The black Volkswagen Passat crashed into the car in front followed closely by the car behind, Shui Hua Ching grabbed the handrail his face serious, who is it, who the hell is it, Song Ziwen, the more I am afraid the stronger I have to act, Lu Ping hung up the phone, in his raised eyes his gaze was crazy and open, Lu Ping nodded his head, they were talking about the means of dealing with Chen Fu Han and Bao Jun and the twelve directors, Shui Hua Ching observed the two men and he planned to respond to all changes with no change, Lu Ping withdrew his gaze towards Ding Qing and turned towards Shui Hua Ching, at the same time, the smile on his face tightened inch by inch and was replaced by ice coldness and reproach. Shui Hua Ching met this mysterious gentleman's gaze and his heart thumped, really why do you work overtime until so late every day, the girl's family is so hard to do what we are not outsiders, no big expenses, old house, but very cozy, at the dining table, the middle-aged woman in her early fifties looked at her daughter with some heartache and talked about something, in due course the husband wearing an apron walked out from the kitchen with a tray, a small noodle, several stacks of Exquisite small dishes, mom, a year on overtime these days okay, Zhang Yingying's face flushed red and pouted, she rubbed her hands took her dad's night snacks and pinched a chopstick without blowing it and ate it while eating and exhaling hot air, you slow down, and no one with you to steal. Mom said, right, mom, dad, I'm not going to be home on New Year's Day, I won't be home on New Year's Day for a few days, I'll be with my colleagues at work, her words fell, the old two looked at each other and quickly asked, male female, what time to come back want your father to pick you up, Nui Nui, do you have a seed or what, quickly tell mom in the end what kind of young man, Zhang Yingying still wants to cover up, but his own daughter that a little mind and how can hide from. The old couple, Nui Nui, mom and dad are not like your auntie Wang, they do not care whether it is a local or foreigner and do not need him to buy a house or car in Zhanghai but the character of the young man we must be considered. Mom, 
The eight characters have not yet been finalized, Zhang Yingying's face is so red that it can drip water. My daughter has reached this age, old Zhang, tell me how you feel, what should I say? The imitation was the eyes of the homeroom teacher when he was studying. When Lu Ping looked at Chue watching his brain suddenly went into a brief downtime and he forgot how to say the lines he had thought of in advance, he still maintained a smooth demeanor. But his heart was beating frantically. Steady, steady, everything is going according to my plan now. Under Lu Ping's gaze Shuev watching the bigwig of communication science who was able to guide and push public opinion with reckless abandon sat up straight with a low and upright demeanor. Originally he had intended to use the situation to issue a rebuke but suddenly forgot his words much less say something randomly when his thoughts were not clearly organized, Lu Ping maintained his indifference, after staring straight at Shuev watching for a few seconds he moved his eyes away without saying a word, looking in front of him the tea was boiling. Ding Qing's attention had been resting on Lu Ping's body, and he immediately poked his body out and picked up the teapot to pour tea. For the gentleman, using the lid, he ruffled the tea leaves, took a light sip. Lu Ping's movements were calm and unhurried, and he took this opportunity to reorganize his thoughts. Now, the fact before him was that he had effectively helped Ding Qing so that Ding Qing was taking back everything he deserved step by step. He wanted to see Shue watching through semi-compulsive means and Ding Qing's behavior in the tunnel had given the latter a shock, Ding Qing was respectful enough to himself, I am a weakling, a lamb in wolf's clothing, but this this truth is known only to me, when Shue watching saw Lu Ping first look at himself icily and then move away without saying anything the hairs of sweat on his arms stood up, if Fong had spoken and rebuked he would not have felt anything but such a pause made him more. Puzzled and suspicious, you guys have good guts, Lu Ping, still drinking tea suddenly said in a gentle voice, Mr. Are we having some kind of misunderstanding? Shue watching humbly said, he couldn't figure out Lu Ping's bottom which made him a bit of a throwback for someone like him he could stoop low one second and be equally capable of lifting the table to crush someone the next, I have a sister who was nearly forced to die by the water army under you, sir's sister, it's just a small anchor, a little girl named Xuanxia. Oh perhaps Mr. Xue no longer remembers such a small order, Lu Ping put down his T, he leaned back his legs folded and his tone was very calm to the end, referring to Chun Xia as his sister was just a casual remark for the purpose. Baiyue Group Director Kai Zhengaway that incompetent son Kai Xiaoguang as well as his fox friend Chen Chang Lei Hongyu entrusted to send you a commission, Lu Ping continued. Not even a trace of anger could be heard from his tone, but Xue Watching's heart grew more and more alarmed, especially when the latter said the names of Kai Zhengwei and Kai Xiaoguang. Xue Watching's eyelids fluttered. Xue Watching was involved in a field that was similarly between black and white, and he couldn't mix in. This position nowadays, without speaking the rules, his men not only raised a large number of water army, they are also spread throughout the doggy in Zhonghai or mixing in different circles in Zhonghai if you get valuable gossip news can be sold to him. In these messages it is inevitable to touch the taboo, keeping secrets, this is Shue Watching's first rule, under his command the client's commission list was only known to him accurately and Lu Ping's ability to say these names in one breath involved his greatest fear, those who play with public opinion and wreak havoc with information are also most afraid of information, Mr. Sister. Shue Watching's face continued to change in fear and trepidation he stood up at once and bowed to Lu Ping. Please forgive me sir. Mr. Shue is willing to pay any price to apologize to your sister, Chun Xia, that little anchor he thought, it was just that whether she was really this gentleman's sister or not it didn't matter, the price, Lu Ping took out the eyeglass cloth from his arms and took off his glasses again to gently wipe them and when he heard the words he lightly laughed and responded. Carrying the eyeglass cloth with him was a habit he had only developed in the past two days, it was mainly used for specific occasions allowing him to go into a bit more detail and thus cover up his inner emotions, if I hadn't received the news she would have already died she was only 23 years old, compared to what was being said Lu Ping's demeanor and tone were frighteningly calm, fine sweat broke out on Shue watching his forehead, Ding Ching who was sitting next to him in front of. The sofa also stood up, he put his hand into his bosom and when he touched it again he only heard a click and snapped and loaded the pistol and the black hole of the gun was aimed at Shue watching, sit down, don't be so violent, Lu Ping looked at Ding Ching and raised his hand. Strike like this, you have a first love in Hangzhou her name is Wang Shueru she is a host of Hangzhou TV, I will inflict the same tactics on her and she will lose her reputation and be spurned by her co-workers family and strangers, her whole world will be shrouded in darkness, in this way this matter will be turned over, Lu Ping said calmly, 
In Xue Huaqing's intelligence, this first love of his girlfriend had an extremely important influence on him and even though he hadn't been in contact for many years, he was still silently paying attention to the other party, no one could know that to him, this first love girlfriend was what he cared about the most. Lu Ping's words fell, this media bigwig who was in control of the huge publicity resources in Zhonghai City suddenly widened his eyes and he gasped sharply if the previous reaction was more of a performance than at this moment. Shui Watching's expression began to become real fear and real panic. The amount of information hidden in Lu Ping's few words made Shui Watching think carefully. Don't. Shui Watching's lips trembled as she said in a pleading tone, "Why don't Mom sleep with you tonight?" The middle-aged woman was somewhat unable to sleep. She wore a casual button. The door of her daughter's room walked in and then first looked at her daughter in the mattress and then surveyed the modest daughter's boudoir. Walked to the bookcase, tilted his head to look at a certain layer above. In elementary school, tied a double ponytail do down monkler pa share size of the girl, junior high school, stayed up with bangs, just learned to be pretty little girl, middle-aged woman just feel that time passes too fast, have not paid attention to the girl will grow up. She looked carefully twisted her head and saw the wall, the poster that her daughter put on the wall when she was in junior high school and the mother and daughter chatted and whispered on the bed, Ping is the master who took me when I first entered the company, he is very good. His character is gentle, do things seriously and not impatient, I just entered the company that will always be wrong he has never been angry, Ping should not like me. Zhang Yingying describes Lu Ping eyes are shining, the tone of voice also became joyful, but when she said the other side may not like themselves, the eyes of the glow dim, the whole tone of voice also all of a sudden fell down, every little change of the daughter was seen by the mother in the eyes, heartbroken took the girl's shoulders, the glittering city of night metropolis, tea house, Lu Ping looked at Xue Hua Cheng and was not affected by the latter's display of trepidation and pleading. Even if there were a few moments of truth, what could be done, in the face of such a character, the only thing he could rely on was the intelligence, and it was written in black and white that Xue Hua Cheng was as cunning as a fox, good at reading people's words knowing what was going on and what was not, and able to tolerate insults and put on a good show. Xue Hua Cheng does not hide his emotions pleading fear. In front of him Lu Ping is still calmly drinking tea, China's shipping group Ding Qing is sitting, eyes unblinking watching himself, both of them looked like they were watching a clown performing, since the performance was useless, Xue watching then slowly gathered his emotions he met Lu Ping's gaze he was indeed terrified, but not as terrified as he showed the other party wanted to kill himself he would have done so a long time ago not to mention the fact that in the world's upper echelons of rules killing was only the most inefficient means, he was merely lowering his stance further. Mr. Liu, just what kind of person was that? Xue Huaqing whispered in his mind. He only felt as if he was a transparent person in the eyes of the other party, his every move being spied upon by the latter. Why would such an existence find me? Xue Huaqing didn't believe the claim that the so-called female netizen Chun Xia was his sister. The other party was able to investigate the bottom out of him, so naturally they could find out information about Chun Xia. Last night, the Lingnan Song family Song Ziwen just approached me and tonight I am being targeted by this Mr. Liu, is there really such a coincidence? Xue Watching felt like he was being drawn into a game between big shots and he had serendipitously become a pawn in the game, please open the door sir, Mr. Xue is willing to be the pawn of Mr. Xue Hua cleaned up his sleeves and clothes, stood up straight again and looked towards Liu Ping arching his hand and saying in a deep voice. He looked serious where was the uneasy demeanor of the previous moment, Lu Ping looked at the latter's reaction his heart was sighing with emotion he found that most of these big shots were veteran actors and actresses all of their personal emotions were at the drop of a hat, if he wasn't convinced of what was in the intelligence he might have really been deceived, do you recognize him? Lu Ping held a smile and no longer grasping that Hangzhou TV host flexed his fingers pointing to. Ding Qing on the side said to Xue Hua Qing, Master Qing's name is like a thundercloud, Xue Hua Qing no longer covered up arched his hand toward Ding Qing and said in a deep voice, China shipping group or rather Chao sect, can it provide you with shelter, Lu Ping spoke in a calm tone and said slowly, the words just fell. Xue Hua Qing looked shocked even though he had already prepared himself when Lu Ping's words suddenly pierced through his anxieties and plans he was still shaken and appalled inwardly, the authority he possesses is very delicate, it is a new industry, and has reached a bottleneck in the field of controlling new media and public opinion. Further up, it would touch the interests of the truly powerful. At this level it is necessary to divide their cake to the upper level. It was just that China. Shipping Group was not yet able to be his patron. 
but Shaman could it neither belong to the true top tier of power nor was it yet at the end of the circle of power and nobility, it was just right for Shuev watching and the new media power under his command, if it was Chao sect, naturally it could be, just, Shuev watching's thoughts flowed and he arched his hand again hesitation showing on his face. Even at this time he still did not directly agree to his position once he made a decision he was tying himself to the other party's ship, China's shipping group or Chaomen was possible but could Ding Qing give him a corresponding promise, who in the circle doesn't know that the second in command master Ding Qing Qing has been ruined, there were still 10 days to go before the 18th day of the lunar new year, Ding Qing will give Mr. Qing a satisfactory answer, Lu Ping answered with a smile. Isn't that right Ding Qing? Looking towards Ding Qing he added, will live up to the high expectations of Sir, Ding Cheng stood up bowed and responded. Shuev watching listened to the conversation and watched the reaction of the two men his heart beating heavily in his chest he had information in all directions in a way he could also be an intelligence merchant which is why he heard the sentence that possessing intelligence is equal to possessing power and if it is not it is that the information is not yet detailed enough to be willing to go to the appointment, in fact, during the conversation and game just now Lu Ping was showing him what? Intelligence was power and he could make him afraid and submissive without using a single soldier or a single pawn, it seems that the election of the third branch of the Chao sect spokesperson is going to have a big change, Shui watching secretly said, he was alarmed by the power represented behind Mr. Lu the other party was quietly laying out not knowing what it was for. The storm is coming, the storm is coming, Mr. Shui waited for the day when Master Qing had good news, Shui watching bowed to Lu Ping once again before arching his hand at Ding Qing with a smile. With this promise from him, the atmosphere between the three of them suddenly soothed the tea soup stretching in the teapot the heat slowly misting, sir I have some spare money in my hand and want to make an investment, Shui watching took a sip of tea and spat out the tea leaves in his mouth he held the cup and suddenly said to Lu Ping, Lu Ping was silent, wow, tell me about it, Lu Ping with a smile said, I know shit about investment you ask me, cursing in my heart, I am more optimistic about a project that is Chuanha Culture and Media Company is about to start the year-end promotion. I am very optimistic about the future of Chuanha but I am worried that there are some changes. Shui watching spoke in an unhurried manner while his eyes were observing Lu Ping without any trace. These words of his were in fact also a test. Lu Ping heard and did not respond as he similarly picked up his tea and took a sip. In that bubbling white smoke eyes narrowed slightly when the lips just left from the edge of the tea light only then calmly said. Song Ziwen contacted you, Shui watching's hand trembled, the tea soup hitting the back of his hand, Chuan Ha, Li Yuzhen, the hand that probed. Into the tea light paused slightly and then lifting the tea light up in the curling heat Lu Ping si willed he recalled the content of the intelligence about Shui watching's temperament and knew that the latter was not someone who would say Chuan Ha for no reason, Nian thought of a certain name. I slightly condensed said in as calm a tone as possible, sir you recognize? Shui watching also hung his head with only a little bit of tea on his lips and responded, sure enough, where is there such a coincidence? I am indeed caught up in a game, Lingnan Song family, Yanjing City Li family and this mysterious Mr. Lu, don't recognize, Lu Ping shake your head. Mr. Shui asked me about investment I don't know much about the business, but personally I am as optimistic about Chuanha's development as you are. Lu Ping had a smile on his face and continued, I understand, Shui watching nodded his head, Mr. Lu the meaning of this sentence has been very clear and did not hide his intention to play chess with Song Ziwen, just as a chess piece this game in the end what is the matter, tension and to what extent are still like a fog. Well today's small talk is here, Ding Qing, send Mr. Shui back to rest, Lu Ping sat upright looked to the side at Ding Qing and said in a deep voice, Shui watching immediately got up and arched his hand to say goodbye he was sent all the way by Ding Qing to the underground parking lot in front of the black Volkswagen, tea room, finally sent away, he didn't look at the two people who left, Lu Ping only reached out and grabbed the teapot pouring tea for himself when he picked up the tea. Perhaps because of the reason of the tense inner relaxation Lu Ping's hand began to uncontrollably trembling the clear tea broth and the teapot shaking. When the door was brought up, Lu Ping long exhaled a breath, but he was not sure if there was still surveillance in the house only dared to exhale in small bites. Still coming forward he took a sip and smacked his lips honestly this tea should be quite expensive but he could not drink a taste at all wasting the heavenly gift like a cow chewing peonies, the room was quiet and Lu Ping was the only one left, his heart was leaping fast and strong he looked a bit backward his back had been sweated through but luckily the suit jacket he was wearing covered his shirt. Lu Ping had to get his mental quality up before summer otherwise when summer came.
People would understand everything once they took a look at your sweaty appearance, Ding Ching representing Wu, Shui Hua Ching somehow can represent information intelligence, coincidentally in the future I can really have an intelligence organization. Lu Ping's mind rose and felt that chance thought came to him but now is not the time to think about this and suppressed the thought, he got up, casually walked two steps from the time he entered this tea room all of his spirit and attention were tightly tensed now gradually relaxed his body heated up and became a little excited. Lu Ping surveyed the tea room, the location where they were sitting was the waiting room behind the sofa in the waiting room was the mahogany bookcase that occupied an entire wall, Lu Ping walked to the bookcase and swept his eyes, most of these books were dominated by national studies such as Zhang Zhuzhing's biography Zheng Guofan and Left Turn, I have to take the time to read these books as well, otherwise even if I have intelligence my lack of personal qualities and heritage will expose me. For example this time I was able to take down Shui watching so easily and reach my goal more through borrowing momentum than my personal aura and ability, Lu Ping's perception of himself is very clear, alas, to exercise and study even more, still being forced with life to frantically suck in these nutrients, if I had such an environment when I was studying I am afraid that I would have been admitted to Qing Bei, Lu Ping smiled bitterly, he walked away from the bookcase broad step walk to. The waiting room next to the real tea room stood by the window gently opened the bamboo shutters looked out the window neon lights of the bright night scene this tea house in the middle of the quiet has a unique flavor. Still watching behind the room door was buttoned did not turn around after answering the sound strong footsteps ringing in the ears, Mr. Ding Ching stood not far away called out in a deep voice, Sir can you observe the next activity, after a slight pause Ding Ching suddenly added a few minutes later, Lu Ping sat in the back of a black sedan his hands fell on his legs his body slightly tense, the sedan sank slightly and after closing the door for him Ding Ching sat in the car from the other side, no am I crazy, why did I agree to this I'm supposed to be going home, stop the car, stop the car, I wanna go home, Lu Ping was frantic in his mind crying out, in due course the car drove smoothly into the night the traffic on the road the changing red and green signals let Lu Ping's mind calm down again. It is always good to see the world, moreover I am just a spectator, tried a tense expression cannot speak never speak, Lu Ping pacified himself and reminded himself, about 20 minutes, the car once again drove into an underground garage and as he drove in Lu Ping saw the huge neon sign, heavenly man, stepping out from the internal elevator, the glorious clubhouse was imprinted into Lu Ping's eyes, they walked on the upper floor of the core area of Lu Ping through the leaping floor can see. Downstairs a figure of beautiful girls in a line hands on the waist revealing the slender jade legs from the different package room out. Mr. Lu Ping, you are seated here, step into the large suite. It could be bathed steamed and able to sing as extravagant as a wine pool and meat forest. Lu Ping sat on the partition he was able to have an unobstructed view of the entire suite and after Ding Ching left from his side he sat on the sofa in front of the KTV screen, these damn rich people enjoying things like this. Lu Ping carefully surveyed the suite and cursed in his mind, he was even able to imagine that one girl with a bare body posture in that pool like a wine pool rasping her. Delicate jade hands over the old men's skin, they put on their bathrobes again and sat barefoot in front of the sofa singing and drinking, not much later, the door to the room was pushed open. Draped in a white bathrobe the rich bald old man appeared in front of Lu Ping's eyes Chen Fu Han one of the twelve directors of China's shipping group Lu Ping recognized the latter at a glance and whispered, Chen Fu Han was biting a cigarette in his mouth and had his arm around a woman who was even younger than his granddaughter, he walked in with a bodyguard behind him, Xing Zi, it's been a long time since you looked for Master Han? What you wouldn't be thinking about the vote in Master? Han's hand, would you, ha ah, Chen Fu Han's voice was very loud not at all like the middle air that should be present at this age and he laughed out loud as he spoke, yes, Master Han, Ding Ching also laughed and after a moment he put away his smile and faintly responded, the words fell. Chen Fu Han who had been laughing loudly a second before suddenly tightened his smile and the old man stared at Ding Ching with a pair of sharp eyes as if a stagnant atmosphere rose, you guys were in the car the whole time, the black Volkswagen drove out from the tea house, driving smoothly through the nighttime metropolis, the back seat. Schweff watching's aura and posture were all very different from the party. He looked at the neon lights outside the window and didn't know what he was. Thinking about and after a few moments he looked indifferently at the driver and secretary and asked, Not ever, we were taken to a room to rest, the young secretary said nervously, I know, Schweff watching nodded. 
He reached out and pulled open the reserve box in the car, pulled out a cigar and lit it for himself, took a deep breath and then added, Xiao Song, take the car for maintenance tomorrow, got it Xue Dong. The driver looked at Xue Huaqing from the rearview mirror and responded without much question. Xue Huaqing swallowed clouds for a while a long time before picking up a brown envelope on the seat next to him. This envelope is Ding Ching sent him to the car at the end of the hand to him. Inside the envelope, a list of names. Xue Huaqing carefully looked at the name, his face expressionless, only elegant temperament, suddenly no storage rage without warning will be torn to pieces list. Always walk by the river where there is not wet shoes. Should have expected. A hand with a big stick, a hand with red dates, and way juxtaposition play beautifully. How will things go in the end, compartment? Lu Ping was a little nervous, but more excited, as he watched the changes downstairs, he was able to see that, excluding Ding Qing and Chen Fu Han who were in the center of the storm all the rest of the people had their heads bowed and shrunk like ostriches, isn't this more intuitive than watching a police movie, Lu Ping whispered. He told Ding Qing parts of the intelligence and processed the information through Ding Qing's hands to maximize the information, as a result, what was happening was a perfect life teaching for him as he speculated on the oppressive aura and paid attention to the two men's every move. Chen Fuan was Master Yuan's most loyal junior brother without great ambition and very satisfied with his current life. Master Yuan is very assured of Chen Fuhan, but also left a backhand that can be controlled. Chen Fuhan's son Chen Jianan in the shipping group special post as a senior Master Yuan gave him a set with its greedy character to give him the opportunity to smuggling for their own benefit even though smuggling business are intentionally controlled by him. As for the Chao sect the most taboo thing is to eat the inside and the outside. Lu Ping recalled the intelligence, he was thinking about how. He would use this information if it was himself, it was still the tactics of a glance deterrence withholding Master Yuan's ruthlessness and forcing Chen Fu Han to take sides, Lu Ping whispered, in due time, there was no more silence downstairs Lu Ping collected his thoughts and gazed, Xingzi, I can pretend you didn't say that just now. The rich bald old man gazed at Ding Qing the once most outstanding youngster of the China shipping group a smile reappeared on his face let go of the woman in his arms took a few steps closer reaching out to pat Ding Qing's shoulder and exclaimed, come, accompany Master Han to drink a couple of cups it's been a few years since our masters drank together. Shen Fuan picked up a bottle of foreign wine from the table and poured it for himself and Ding Qing picked up the glass and handed it to Ding Qing holding it himself smiling, I will drink with Master Han. Ding Qing raised his head and responded, only he didn't take the wine glass in the old man's hand but directly picked up the remaining bottle and tilted his head back and poured it the cool liquid rolling down his chin and neck, good, worthy of being Ching Zi, still has the demeanor from back then. Chen Fu Han applauded, Master Han I am not willing, Ding Qing wiped the corners of his mouth a pair of reddened eyes looking towards Chen Fu Han a somewhat hoarse voice following, Chen Fu Han fell silent the smile on his face slowly disappearing, you say? Master Yuan wants that position, why didn't he tell me, why didn't he tell me, Ding Qing's eyes widened a little bit and his voice raised an inch, his body was tense and trembling his emotions like a volcano about to erupt, I don't care about that position ah, but, but why did he kill Yi Yun, to kill Jin Jin, Jin Jin was only 5 years old, 5 years old, Ding Qing roared out in a low voice, Chen Fu Han originally wanted to calm down but when Ding Qing's last words were spoken his face suddenly changed, Ching Zi, words cannot be said indiscriminately. Chen Fu Han said, Ding Cheng held his head with both hands fingertips from the slightly curled hair between his arms forehead root veins exploded eyes canthus just see him can feel that oncoming huge pain and hideous, Master Han, you know how much I respect Master Yuan, Ding Ching calmed his emotions as he said in a deep voice, let's not talk about this, let's talk about Song Yu who is now recognized as the new talker of the China shipping group, look at his curriculum vitae and Background Western Study Finance Doctorate since he took the throne China shipping group in all areas of the development of the excellent look. Ding Qing opened another bottle of wine and poured it for himself and Chen Fu Han, he is no longer obsessed with the previous topic, deservedly elite talent, but elite talent is good for him Yuan Taiping good for China shipping group but not necessarily good for us, we are just a group of old guys fighting from the gutter. Song Yu has recently been speaking everywhere making speeches he constantly emphasized that after he took office he will meet with this aircraft carrier to sail to. Where, Ding Qing said in a deep voice, Chen Fuan picked up the wine cup and took a sip he did not show any more feedback half squinting his eyes, compartment, 
Lu Ping lightly eeped he thought that Ding Cheng would continue to dig deeper into that topic extending the content towards Yuan Taiping's ruthlessness and finally telling Chen Fuan's information. Sitting up a bit straighter he straightened his body, focusing all of his attention on the headphones, this was the radio Ding Qing had handed him, every single one of Song Yi's plans was excellent, but look at what his content was, in almost every sentence he's saying that it will be a new era when he sits in that position, but there's no big ship carrying us in the new era. I dare say that the first thing Song Yi was going to do when he takes the throne is to clean up all of us old guys who are struggling out of the mud, Ding Qing looked solemn and said in a deep voice, since deciding to take revenge and stop being decadent he certainly could not bet all his treasure on Lu Ping's intelligence, he had carefully studied Song Yu and Song Yu's development philosophy, fruity. However after this one sentence from Ding Qing the rich Mithraya Buddha like Chen Fu Han half squinted his eyes and a change appeared on his face, Song Yu wants to establish the most efficient Kpai assessment, to use the most scientific financial concepts in the group, he wants to fully recruit highly educated and highly sophisticated talents, accompanied by the depth of Ding Qing's words. Lu Ping's sitting body also became straighter and straighter as he watched the changes in the old man. Downstairs, his heart beating heavily, art, the art of language, Lu Ping marveled. He pondered over Ding Qing's words and intentions and vaguely realized his mistake. He had taken it for granted that the focus of convincing Chen Fu Han was on deterrence and threat, but this old man, one of the twelve directors of the China Shipping Group, his real weakness seemed to lie in resting on his laurels. Ding Qing placed the prying Chen Fu Han's words on the old man's life that was about to be changed. Chen Fu Han's gasping breaths became vaguely rapid and sweat broke out on the forehead of his fat old face. Master Han, you chastise me for not being able to talk nonsense, but let me tell you Yuan Taiping has planted bombs around every single one of them. You should remember that two years ago, there was a big incident in my third branch of the China shipping group and the Chao Sex. General Alter was found to be eating a vicious incident. Some of my Chao Sex rivals were smuggled from Southeast Asia to Zhao through our channels. At that time, the general forum was outraged, Ding Qing nodded at much of the content, he turned his words in another direction, Chen Fu Han's thoughts were driven to hook back to two years ago and the old man's fat face changed color. Do you know who pushed this matter, who? Chen Fu Han voice mute his hand hanging on the surface of the leg grasp, Jin on brother, Ding Qing said word for word, Chen Fu Han's sweaty hairs exploded one by one his body was sweated through all of a sudden and he looked at Ding Qing with a tiger-like gaze, However, Brother Jianan was intentionally pushed by Yuan Taiping to make this, but also by Yuan Taiping for Brother Jianan to sweep the broken push scapegoat up. Ding Qing looked at Chen Fu. Hot and said slowly, Chen Fuan has no voice, attic. Lu Ping's eyelids fluttered and he took a deep breath. He only felt that Ding Qing's pace of this conversation was too good, giving him a solid lesson. If the one who could refresh the intelligence was Ding Qing, there was no telling to what extent the latter could do. The sound of a gunshot after silencing, Lu Ping's heart trembled as he gazed downstairs when Bao Jun the second of the twelve directors was invited by Chen Fu Han to appear with his bodyguards, Ding Qing only smiled as he stood up, followed by a set of coherent movements as he pulled out a gun from his pocket, cocked and lifted his hand and pulled the trigger, the muzzle of the gun rising slightly, Bao Jun's body froze in place, his back chilled in an instant, at the same time the middle. Aged bodyguard following him had blood-stained eyebrows and fell to the ground with his eyes wide open, the white Cadillac drove out from the heavenly entertainment club, inside the narrow compartment, Lu Ping and Ding Qing were sitting side by side in the back seat elbows propped up next to the car door hands supporting their cheeks, Lu Ping looked calm, but in reality his body was tense. Just now, the ferocity of Ding Qing's performance although he had read about it in the text he was still shaken after witnessing it directly, when such an existence was sitting right next to one's hand it was inevitable to have a feeling like an on on one's back, deliberately yawned, Lu Ping looked at Ding Qing through the rearview mirror without any trace, the man who had lived in the world of Truman hung his head slightly low sitting with an expressionless face, Lu Ping continued to look, his mind wandering and in due course, perhaps sensing the gaze of being watched, Ding Qing raised his head violently to pair of intimidating eyes through the rearview mirror and Lu Ping looked directly at him, after seeing Lu Ping, his fierce eyes converged, replaced by a respectful nod, Lu Ping nodded his head in the same way, but in his chest his heart almost jumped to his throat in the square moment. It was as if being stared at by a lion and tiger-like beast the close and intense aura made Lu Ping nearly jump up, mister, the car crossed the Cross River Bridge and drove into the East District, it stopped at the old neighborhood that Lu Ping rented. When Lu Ping walked out for some distance Ding Cheng who was standing in front of the car door suddenly shouted again, 
Lu Ping happened to be standing under the streetlight that had been used for an unknown amount of time giving off a dim glow. Turned his head and looked at the white Cadillac, thanks to having you, Ding Ching bowed distantly and said in a deep voice, waved his hand, there was no response either, Lu Ping continued to walk towards the neighborhood. Close to one in the morning it was now very late the neighborhood was very quiet only a few homes still had lights on Lu Ping walked into a section of darkness where the street lights were broken he finally no longer restrained himself from letting out a long breath, at this time, the cold wind of the winter night blew Lu Ping could not help but shiver tonight he sweated several times, rubbing his hands, Lu Ping saw white smoke rising from the hot air he exhaled, older neighborhoods do. Not have underground parking lots, people in cars, a car parked in the neighborhood at night in a mess, avoiding the car his feet stepped on the garbage only to hear the crunching sound of the click, it feels like returning to reality from a dream, walked to the front of the old building, Lu Ping recalled today's experience and was in a trance, go upstairs, open the door. Opened his arms and lay down on the bed face to face, motionless, took care of the two directors, it was getting closer and closer to the spring and summer promotion. Just thinking about the raging game and the darkness, Lu Ping was excited, nervous, expectant, and trembling, just like this. Burying his head in the pillow after a while, he regained his movement, hung up his suit, put his footsteps softly and walked to the bookcase, looking in through the glass, his face showing joy pulling. Opened the door and taking out the letter of intelligence that had just been refreshed, he did not open it, dropped the information on the desk, Lu Ping took a step back and started doing push-ups increasing 5% compared to yesterday. The dark room, the curtains on all four sides were tightly drawn, suddenly, the phone lit up a shimmering light the light shone in front of the pale girl's cheeks her fingers trembled as she reached for the screen her fingertips toggled and many of the messages imprinted in the bottom of her eyes rumors, update a briefing rumor editing fake news p figure spring and summer rumor gang has been captured in the case, analyze the post. All the editing splicing video as well as p picture of. The original work all here, I knew it, Imus, Shuinxia is never like that, those pictures are fake, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, there's been so many bloggers whose personalities have collapsed in recent months, I thought, anyway, it's all my fault, countless comments apologizing, all the rumor-mongering videos seem to have all disappeared in a few small hours. In front of the cell phone, the soft girl covered her mouth and two lines of clear tears rolled down her cheeks, a few moments later, she bawled as she lost control of her emotions, the heat of Chun Xia's rumor began to rise like crazy the Jayin platform, the microblogging platform and even Jihu all hit the hot topic list and the number of fans following Chun Xia's personal account doubled almost overnight, thank you, thank you. Spring summer mumbled, the night is getting darker and darker, presidential suite, Yin Jing City's eldest granddaughter of the eldest house, the truly magnificent woman Li Yuzhen was still dealing with the paperwork as she took off her glasses revealing a slightly tired and pretty face, she was fighting against fate. She wanted to prove that women were not inferior to men, Li Yuzhen closed the file stood up she raised her feet to throw away the high heels under her feet so barefoot stood in front of the floor-to-ceiling windows a whole magnificent metropolis night scene presented in the eyes and feet. Mr. Li, the star side of your expected heavenly king Lu Minghua Diva Su Qingying, the god of Songweek round all refused our invitation, but for the second plan the three first-tier movie stars and actresses are willing to be our year-end promotion ambassadors, the third secretary Xia Ting was likewise working overtime and up to the Chuanho promotion she was staying in the side bedroom of Li Yujin's suite, she received a phone call and hurriedly went to Li Yujin to report. Enough, Li Yuzhen did not respond directly but instead overlooked the city for a few more moments before turning to look at Xia Ting and said in a deep voice, What's the commotion on Song Ziwen's side again? Li Yuzhen asked, We monitored that Song Ziwen secretly contacted a lot of media platforms and self-media platforms and it is likely that he wants to throw dirty water on us before and after the big promotion. Everything is normal in the three overseas specialties, in our selections. According to what you said in advance, we did find a series of hidden dangers and have flagged the goods without spooking them, regarding the 5-10 million big Vs of our company as well as the 10 or so million big Vs, the evidence is already being collected. The third secretary Xia Ting reported solemnly. Ten days later, the Chuanha promotion is the real grand ending of this game, I know, Li Yuzhen listen carefully, it is already late you go to rest, Li Yuzhen said in a deep voice, Xia Ting bowed and left, she walked out of the hall and eased her footsteps spat out her fragrant tongue and let out a long sigh of relief, how is it that there is a feeling of a storm coming what exactly will happen on the day of the big promotion? 
Xia Ting soaked in the bathtub of her room only revealing. Ahead, she recalled the image of the party and muttered, time passed day by day, in just the blink of an eye, it seemed as if it was December 31st the eve of the New Year's Eve, a day of vacation, morning. Wearing a grey slim-fitting coat Lu Ping pushed open the glass door of the cafe along the street, walked into the store amidst the crunching sound of wind chimes and sat down at the end of the store in the corner by the window, after ordering a cup of coffee he took out a book with the cover removed from his bag and focused on it, the winter sunlight filtered through the glass and hit the pages in front of him. Music and any other art that comes naturally will be just a pathway that leads you to the entire universe, whatever you don't let go along the way, listen to the sound of the waves, with your body mind and soul take in all the moments of their raging changes. You have to speak to the tide of anger like Demosthenes and never weaken after the first attempt, Lupin watched attentively scrutinizing, honestly, this acting bible that has been jointly recommended by master star brother Fat and Leung Chiu why does give Lu Ping a sense of benefit, as the third branch of Chowman the election of the spokesperson of China's shipping group and the year-end promotion of Chuan he were getting closer and closer in the area where ordinary people could not see. The surging undercurrents were getting more and more turbulent and the game of each other was almost to be restrained, and Lu Ping who had not yet come into the light instead gained a short piece before the big battle. He seized this time to continuously improve his acting skills steadily exercising his body and accumulating little by little, it didn't take too long, outside the door the wind chime rang along with the customers walking in the middle-aged older woman with freshly permed curly hair looked around the store and her face revealed joy when she saw Lu Ping in the corner. She approached with quick steps, little Lu, Auntie Zhang you are here. Lu Ping closed his book, looked at the sound and answered with a smile, this middle-aged lady was Lu Ping's landlord and the two of them had already negotiated the price on the phone so today they came over to sign the rent sale contract. Little Lu has gotten rich recently, three and a half million dollars said take it, Auntie Zhang smiled brightly and looked enthusiastic. She originally didn't intend to sell the old house, but the young tenant in front of her offered a price five hundred thousand dollars higher than the market price so she relented, Xiao Lu, you didn't receive any news, did you, tell Auntie, is that area hardly going to be demolished, or is the school next to it going to be zoned as a school district? Auntie Zhang took out the contract and was about to sign it, but her movement suddenly stopped, her eyes suspicious, and she asked. Vigilantly, Lu Ping heard and couldn't help but roll his eyes, Auntie Zhang, my roommate Xia Mindan you know it, Lu Ping intentionally revealed some embarrassment mentioned and as expected, as soon as his words fell, Auntie Zhang covered her mouth and revealed a smile, understood, I see, you youngsters are getting bigger and bigger in chasing girls. Sign the name, transfer the money. Auntie Zhang didn't sit down for long got up and left in a hurry, Lu Ping bathed in the morning sunshine twisting his head he was able to see the sidewalks and asphalt roads beside him with people and cars coming and going he withdrew his gaze and looked at the purchase contract in front of him again a subtle feeling was born inside him, once upon a time, a house in Zhanghai was a dream for him, even if this metropolis was as prosperous as it was, he was. Still just a passerby a floater who couldn't stay, Dad, Mom, I bought a house, Lu Ping whispered. When he was in college he did not have a home his parents left in an accident he remembered his mother grasping his hand on the verge of dying no longer able to speak only two lines of tears from the corner of his eyes continue to roll down they cannot let go ah. In the future I will have a more luxurious house maybe located in the Huangpu riverside of the top of the large flat maybe the king of the Thompson Epin or is located in Jing an old house. But probably any house it is difficult to let me have the feeling at this moment. Lu Ping collected his thoughts and revealed a smile, he spent three million dollars on the car, three and a half million dollars on the house and six and a half million dollars on expenses, almost out of money, glancing. At the SMS message, Lu Ping read for a while and also got up to leave, 2.30 minutes in the afternoon, Jinling Pedestrian Street in Zhanghai City, Brother Ping, Brother Ping, at the street entrance. Zhang Yingying was carrying a small bag waving her hand at Lu Ping from afar she was obviously dressed up today, completely different from her normal weekday work, a black turtleneck sweater with a coffee-colored high-waisted bustier skirt black pantyhose wrapped around her calves, the whole person looked very elegant and ladylike and when she waved she added a few points of liveliness, today's outfit is very nice, Lu Ping approached and praised with a smile, really, he he Yu Zhang. Yingying's cheeks were flushed, first delighted then a little shy. Why hasn't Dashi come yet? Lu Ping looked at his cell phone and then looked towards the station not far away. Who knows? 
Zhang Yingying heard eyes subconsciously looked to the sidewards inexplicably revealed a few points of weakness. If it was once Lu Ping he might not have discovered the details but now he gradually developed the insight of seeing the smallest thing he only thought for a second and guessed what, as expected, the cell phone in his grip vibrated a call from Oishi, I'll ask him where he is, pick up, Lu Ping listened to the cell phone, Zhang Yingying stood beside him somewhat nervously standing on her tiptoes and listening secretly with her side ears, this dashi not reliable at all, he said that he, Temporarily encountered something cannot accompany us to go shopping in the afternoon and wait for the evening to directly carry things to my rented home, Lu Ping spread out his cell phone and said helplessly, this way ah, uh, Zheng Yingying's tone was high, what a pity, busy lowering his voice, let's just stroll around casually. Lu Ping said, good, Zheng Yingying her cheeks flushed, grabbed her small bag and answered in a low voice, one afternoon, shopping drinking milk tea eating snacks buying clothes, catching dolls in the game hall, evening. Shared house, Lu Ping's cramped room, hot pot bubbling hot, Lu Ping and Zhang Yingying sitting on the edge of the bed, Gudashi carrying a small bench sitting at the small table. The advertisements for today's Chuanha promotion had already hit the pedestrian street and the bund, that a landmark building all the lead giant screen all be contracted down the Oriental Pearl Tower, Jin Mao Tower, Zhang Yingying ate a pill exhaled and said, New Year's Day these days is the concentrated time period of Chuanha advertising, the next round of concentration is three days before the start of the big promotion. Gu Dashi understood more and responded with an interface, it's awesome, Zheng Yingying lamented, they chatted looking up at the splendid fireworks over the sparkling metropolis from the perspective of an ordinary person, this was the truth of this world, a few people were the protagonists and the majority of the people were the audience, marveling and sighing at the splendor above the sky, and then they go on with their day-to-day -day lives. The countdown is on, the countdown is on, don't. Play games, 3, 2, 1, Happy New Year. After New Year's Day time began to spin like crazy, January 8th, the 17th day of the Lunar New Year. Tomorrow was the day when the third branch of Chao Men's China Shipping Group's new spokesperson would be voted for and three days later on the 21st day of the Lunar New Year, the Chuanhe year-end promotion that had been building up momentum for a month in the last seven days until the 29th day of the Lunar New Year would officially begin, morning. The day just dawned Lu Ping is somewhat unable to sleep, he did not get up directly but continued to shrink in the quilt. Looking at the slightly mottled ceiling, Still in the mattress, Lu Ping's heart began to beat strongly and sharply and his breathing became ragged, since New Year's Day he could clearly feel the change in atmosphere, first Chuanha the streets and alleys a building's outer wall advertisements LED screens lit up with Chuanha's logo tapping on the cell phone the push of various platforms was constantly reminding users of the countdown. On the network, Chuanha promotion has become a hot word, I'm just a small company employee, I sit in the subway when I walk on the side of the street to raise my head gazing at this dazzling feast, it should have nothing to do with me, excitement appeared on Lu Ping's face, but, but I was able to glimpse the raging behind this firework, that belongs to the spaced out game between the big shots. And most importantly, I was able to participate in it, to be able to dominate the final outcome. Sitting up and leaning against the back of the bed, Lu Ping's body was trembling with excitement and his cheeks were colored with a sickly redness, however, what would determine all of this would still need to wait for tomorrow's results to come out. Lu Ping gathered his emotions together, he wore slippers and got out of bed, first he poured himself a large glass of water and after drinking all of it he directly took off the sweatshirt on his body revealing his well-proportioned body, compared to the very beginning there was no obvious change in his body, the belly that was only slightly protruding flattened out a little bit and a piece of muscle was more radial as well, do push-ups in the middle of the desk in bed, one set of 30, do three sets, then squats a set of 50 do three sets, Finish, even if it is winter Lu Ping is still sweating a lot directly naked out of the room just out the door saw the co-tenant roommate Xiamen Dandan's sister his handheld shoe cabinet wearing high-heeled shoes she saw Lu Ping's appearance the eyes boldly swept over the chest muscles red lips up, Ping Zi cannot see it the sister is very much like. Come, let sister touch it, before her words fell Lu Ping really walked over, Xiamen Tan slightly paused, probed out the hand, flooded out some cold fingers pinched revealing a big sister style light smile. It seems to be almost interesting, I'm going to try to make it work again, words turned around and left in style, if not out of the door when the foot nearly broke Lu Ping really thinks she liked to show that calm, I really have changed, the old me would not be like this, Lu Ping. Whispered, after taking a shower Lu Ping put on his work attire, wore his black framed glasses and picked up his briefcase to leave from home, 
he bought an omelette by the subway entrance and swallowed it in a big gulp while exhaling hot air. At the same time his feet quickly walked towards the station and around him all the commuters in general with him trotted and swarmed in, when the subway arrived at the station Lu Ping happened to finish his omelette, he squeezed into the subway, the car would have to wait until after the new year to be lifted, however if let's say the car is lifted it's not convenient to drive in the morning rush hour, Lu Ping muttered, his eyes noticed the billboard directly outside the subway glass degree. Xuanha great promotion and looked into the screen by the door which was introducing the three overseas specials of the Xuanha great promotion, glancing at the cell phone of the girl next to him, she was holding a computer and counting the full discount offers of Xuanha, Li Yuzhen's pizzazz, unfortunately, even such a woman could not have imagined that the Li family behind her would really watch her bury everything. Her marriage with the Song family was far from as simple as she realized, Lu Ping lamented, these days he did not set out to use the fourth piece of information only repeatedly studying the information that had been refreshed, it was only at this point that he realized that his use of several people's intelligence was still only at a very basic stage, Brother Ping, morning, my league culture. Lu Ping had just entered the company when Zhang Yingying noticed and waited for the former two. Approached to call out in a clear voice, Good morning, Lu Ping nodded with a smile, after the New Year's Eve he clearly felt Zhang Yingying's blazing and almost unconcealable emotions, Lu Ping did not refuse even he enjoyed this small ordinary small sweetness, the thumping feeling, a shared roommate was a shared roommate and Dan wanted to be a mistress. Li Yuzhen was Li Yuzhen, the target of his conquest under another identity, Zhang Yingying was Zhang Yingying his disguised identity of an ordinary city employee who also needed ordinary people's experiences like falling in love like starting a family, Bingzi, come with me to Chuanha in a while report on our work one last time and we can rest and wait for the new year, Gu Dashi turned around and said to Lu Ping, got it, Lu Ping responded, together with Gu Dashi he walked into. Xuanha, the entire company's employees were all in a state of excitement Li Yuzhen was not a stingy person and gave the employees under him a share of the benefits. People came and went, everyone was in a final sprint, this time Lu Ping and Gu Dashi came to hand over the work not to mention Li Yuzhen even Lin Xiaoyu the head of the advertising department did not see the person in charge of handing over the work was an ordinary looking supervisor, without saying much he let the two leave. While walking out of Chuanha, Lu Ping looked back, he glanced at the monitor above him that was blinking with a green light, pushed his black-rimmed glasses, the corners of his mouth rose slightly before he turned to leave, I'm going to take a call, in front of the large office, Lu Ping's cell phone vibrated, he glanced at it and said to his colleague Gudashi beside him, the words left. Lu Ping then walked towards the side corridor standing in front of the floor-to-ceiling window, he picked up the phone on the other end of the phone was Ding Ching calling. Hello, Lu Ping answered gently, Mr. Twelve Directors, I've still only pulled in five votes, there are at least three votes remaining, I'll take them before the vote, holding two bouquets of flowers and toys Ding Chung walked into a grave against a mountain and water he said to the phone, Yuan Taiping didn't he notice you right, Lu Ping asked, Master Jia's side handed over the news Yuan Taiping and Song you have completely disregarded me in the eyes after all who would take a disheveled loser. For five years as a rival, Ding Ching sneered, then I wish you a surprise for him, I will, the phone was then hung up, Ding Ching stood in front of the tombstone, stooped down to put the flowers and toys away, and then gently wiped the tombstone pulling out the weeds around it. He leaned against the tombstone and sat down, Yi Yun, Zhang Taiping was able to ruthlessly kill Jin Jin as well, but I couldn't ruthlessly kill Xiao Zhuixin ah, Ding Ching looked disheveled and muttered, in the afternoon, 3 or 4 o'clock, my union culture, the air conditioner was turned on sufficiently and the floor-to-ceiling windows were covered with a thick layer of water mist, yawning, Lu Ping put down the book in his hand to raise his head, surveyed to the office the work desk goo. Dashi stared at the screen has not played for a long time the immortal sword and wonder once again he clicked on the right-hand side Zhang Yingying put on the headset to focus on catching up with the saved drama, she seems to have a sense of Lu Ping looked at him revealing a sweet smile. Continue to look around, in the company excluding the colleagues of the Chuanha project team who started to enter the annual vacation mode in advance, the rest of the crowd was busy instead, many of the stores from Chuanha's big promotion kept handing over their advertisements to our league, most of the colleagues were able to have a fat year this year. Lu Ping collected his gaze, he took off the glasses in front of the bridge of his nose and the corners of his mouth gently raised as he wiped. The lenses, a butterfly in the rainforest of the Amazon River Basin in South America occasionally flaps its wings a few times and it may set off a grand tornado in North America 10,000 miles away. 
the impact began when I unwrapped the dossier of intelligence, Lupin put on his glasses and whispered, he enjoyed this feeling this feeling of lifting his hands and throwing his feet and sending out layers of ripples affecting dozens hundreds of people. Even the feeling of tens of thousands of people, without him it would be impossible for a company like our league culture to receive an order from Chuanha and the colleagues in the company would not have this feast near the end of the year. Ah Ping, do you have any plans to get off work in a while? Let's go to big player and play a few games together. Gu Dashi remembered something put down the mouse and turned to Lu Ping. Lu Ping heard it and his eyes flickered slightly, good, smiling, he answered, he still remembered that the last time Dashi shouted at him to go to Big Gamer was the day he dialed the first phone call to Li Yuzhen, the day his uninteresting mundane fate changed, I'll go too, I'll go too, Zhang Yingying took off her headphones at some point eavesdropping with her somewhat reddened ears on the side and said with her eyes busy and wide open, in the evening at 5.30 the sky was already dark, long time no on time off work, Three stops along the subway Lu Ping and Gudashi walked into the game hall familiarly Zhang Yingying happily followed behind she watched the two people in front of her and suddenly a little jealous feeling that they have an inexplicable tacit understanding, I'll go with Yagami so you can have a good time, then I'll still be fire dance, the following day, the 18th day of the waxing moon, the weather was overcast. Lu Ping changed out of his professional clothes and wore a beige thin sweater our union culture has no hard and fast requirements for dress code in the past he was simply too lazy to pick out clothes work clothes were the most convenient but now it was different Zhang Yingying took him to buy quite a few sets. Holding a cup of coffee, standing by the floor to ceiling window, Lu Ping could not see much emotion on his face but his heart had tightened up. He had put everything on Ding Ching and if Ding Ching went wrong and did not sit in that position then Shui watching the big man at the mouth of grey public opinion in Zhanghai would throw in the towel and turn around and throw himself under Song Ziwen's command. Even if there was still a fourth piece of intelligence, there was nothing that could be done about it. At that point it was possible that everything would fall apart, it could only be this way, the fingers holding the cup clasped hard, Lu Ping whispered. It wasn't that he wanted to hand over the button that determined the course of events to Ding Qing, if possible he would rather assume all of this himself. But he couldn't, he was just an ordinary staff member if he was really allowed to sit at that voting board table he might not be able to carry the pressure and tremble with nervousness, Lupin had a clear perception of himself, it was dark all day today, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Dongcheng District. In front of the China Shipping Marine Group building the first convoy of black Mercedes-Benz approached from the intersection and one of the 12 directors an old man in a set of black Chinese mountain suit clutching a leading cane in his hand stepped on the red carpet and stepped into the building surrounded by black-clad bodyguards, starting from the old man in the black Chinese mountain suit, it was like a signal. One after another the fleet of cars continued to drive in with the 12 directors arriving one after another, snort these people other than that the rows of the hole are getting more and more upscale, damn it the bedbugs of the inner world should stay in the area where the sun doesn't shine, on the road directly opposite the China shipping group building, before and after the two old black Passat, in the car. Zhanghai Marine World Supervision Group an unkempt old Captain Ma Anbang. Held bread in one hand and binoculars in the other, he bit into the bread and cursed with dissatisfaction, Master, who do you think will be elected as the new chairman of the board the man of words, co-pilot seat, the young youth asked, this is not coming, Ma Anbang drank a mouthful of water and in due course another caravan came in the distance. He picked up the binoculars his face became much uglier and said in a deep voice, Yuan Taiping's designated successor, the top elite talent Song Yu who came out of the world's number one financial specialty school, for the sake of this Song Yu that old thing has given up Ding Qing, Ma Anbang added, he looked intently through the binoculars at the two people walking down from the car. Song Yu respectfully assisted Yuan Taiping to walk towards the building just walked out not far that Yuan. Taiping suddenly stopped his steps he actually sought the camera and looked towards him, Yuan Taiping nodded his head, this old dog, Ma Anbang cursed, his interactions with Yuan Taiping had started decades ago. Ding Ching, Ma Anbang was about to say something when his eyes steeply froze and the binoculars in his hand looked to another direction, over there, another black sedan was approaching and with just a glance at the license plate, Ma Anbang confirmed the identity of the owner. Yuan Taiping and Song Yu had already made their finale appearance after all 12 directors had arrived and with Ding Qing only arriving now at this time Ma Anbang subconsciously smelled something unusual in front of the building on the red carpet, Dad, Song Yu called out, what is he doing here, don't forget, 
he is still the nominal second in command of the China Shipping Group and is likewise one of the candidates. Yuan Taiping's pale face revealed a trace of haze and said in a deep voice, in due time, the black sedan had stopped the rear door was pushed open and wearing a set of straight suit he unbuttoned the two uppermost buttons of his shirt, Ding Qing appeared in front of everyone with his hands in his pockets his dangling appearance, he stood by the car door smiling lightly as he glanced around, first he nodded to the old man and song you on the steps and then when he glanced at Ma Anbang the Smile on Ding Qing's face grew a few points thicker and he waved his arm at this old friend from afar, Master Yuan, Ayu, I'm sorry I'm uh, sorry, I slept a bit late last night and I was almost late today when I woke up, those brats, none of them called out to me. Ding Qing took a few steps to Yuan Taiping and Song Yu rubbing his hands on his temples and apologizing in a mixed manner, something that is not on the stage, Yuan Taiping's face sullen he clutched his cane and knocked the ground hard then he turned around and walked towards the building, Brother Qing. Song Yu called out with a smile he was busy helping the old man leave, something is not right, Ding Qing was a bit off, car, the unkempt old Captain Ma Anbang said in a deep voice, a cold. Winter wind swiftly blew by and the already withered trees on both sides made a rustling sound, master, the wind is picking up, office, Lu Ping was somewhat unable to read restless and apprehensive his fingertips knocking on the work desk, the knocking sound gradually equal to the frequency of the heart leaping in his chest. It was 15 minutes past two, the meeting should start at three o'clock. Looking at the time, Lu Ping simply stopped reading he patted his cheeks, adjusted his breathing and waited to calm down a bit before letting out a bitter laugh only to feel that his state of mind was still too far off, he didn't go to the front of the stage and was uneasy like this just hiding behind the curtain, there is no need to be presumptuous nor can I be presumptuous. My shortcomings are obvious that as the starting point is too low a month ago was just an ordinary workplace. Workers, it's not easy to achieve this level in less than a month, Lu Ping pacified himself, my strengths are also very obvious, the ability to resist pressure is extremely strong able to accumulate negative emotions to a safe time to double the time to vent them out. I'm growing fast, but even then, they don't always give me time to grow, the last leisure before the storm, Lu Ping simply began to dissect himself, after associating some of the contents Lu Ping whispered as if mocking himself, if I have the chance, perhaps I should see a psychiatrist, my heart is definitely not that healthy, but I equally need to make it clear that it may be this unhealthy, in a sense can even be said to be perverted heart that supports me to go farther. The minutes tick by, 3 o'clock, Lu Ping suddenly stopped, his eyes stared up and looked out the window, Dongcheng District, China Shipping Group Building, Conference Room, a long table was located in the center of the conference room on both sides of the long table sat the third branch of the Chao sect the 12 highly respected directors of the China Shipping Group, the former talker Yuan Taiping his successor Song Yu, another candidate Chao Rong and Ding Qing, the two witnesses. A sign from the general altar sat on the left and right sides of the long table, at this moment, there were still the last 15 minutes before the ceremony began 2.45 o'clock Yanjing city time. Ding Qing yawned and stretched greatly, he moved quite a bit, causing a pair of gazes to gaze at him dangling a smile and arching his hand in apology ah. Sorry, Yuan Taiping who was laughing and chatting about something with the head of the table also followed the sound and he glared at Ding Qing with a grimace followed closely by withdrawing his gaze, Song Yu was sitting directly across from Ding Qing and behind his gold-rimmed glasses his eyes filled with sneers as he looked at Ding Qing, another five minutes had passed, there are still the last 10 minutes so please better get ready once you enter the meeting there will be no more. Drinking phone calls or toileting aloud, the general altar witness who had just chatted with Master Yuan a hale and hearty old man dressed in a black Chinese mountain suit flexed his fingers and snapped the table, waiting in the conference room all eyes focused on himself the old man said majestically. Outside the conference room on both sides of the closed door the long corridor was filled with one black clad bodyguard after another. Inside the conference room, the atmosphere was terribly heavy, the 18 people present in the China shipping group in Chao Men's position were not low they tensed their faces their bodies sat straight, that kind of high-ranking person that kind of aura that came out of a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood poured down, big brother, they were all. True big brothers, even godfathers, at this time if an ordinary person barged in just looking around at the crowd might not even be able to speak, the whole person freezing in place, their feet softening up, even if Lu Ping stepped in he might not be any better. Ding Qing half narrowed his eyes his gaze skimming over the faces of Chen Fu Han and Bao Jun two of the twelve directors who were overreacting a bit fine sweat emerging from their fat foreheads and breathing slightly violently, the witnesses of the general altar said that they were still free to move around, 
but for these last 10 minutes, no one had spoken. Just then, one of the 12 directors, the cell phone in his arm suddenly vibrated and the not so dramatic sound was amplified a lot at this moment. A pair of eyes looked in unison, sorry, sorry, director Chin Ching Yuan apologized, he pulled out his phone and glanced at it, his face changed, then he got up and walked to the side, hello, Chen Ching Yuan answered, I do not know what he heard, Chen Ching Yuan's voice suddenly became higher and his expression was ugly. But only less than a minute, the phone hangs up, director Chen Ching Yuan resumed sitting back in front of his seat, as if by agreement Chen Ching Yuan just sat down, another director do Yun Ching private cell phone vibration. Du Yunqing's reaction was extremely similar to Qian Xingyuan's, he similarly stepped aside and picked up the phone. In the conference room, it seemed as if some subtlety was beginning to be born out of the frozen atmosphere as the twelve old foxes intertwined their eyes with each other as if they were trying to discern something from the latter's faces, those with a keen sense of smell or those who had been greeted by Ding Qing in advance all smelled the birth of a change. Director Du Yunqing put away his cell phone and walked back to the table as he passed by Yuan Taiping. Yuan Taiping's half-squinted eyes abruptly opened and a hoarse intimidating voice came out of the old man's mouth, Yunqing. Master Yuan, Du Yunqing answered, he saw Yuan Taiping's inquiring gaze but did not respond only avoiding his eyes, it was still the same, after Du Yunqing sat down followed by the third call came from the arms of director Ji Gui Sheng, this third phone call in a row completely made the atmosphere weird. Yuan Taiping sat up straight like a dying tiger becoming intimidating and dangerous all over again, to his left and right the two witnesses from the general altar also stared intently there. Gazes sweeping over the bodies of each of the directors present, the appointment of the four branches of the Chao sect has always been an important matter, in some aspects the standards were extremely strict but in other aspects the requirements were exceedingly relaxed, for example, the competition. As long as it is within the candidates, as long as there is no eating out, how you nest fight are in the permissible range. The winner is the king, I'll take a call. Ji Guixing glanced at Du Yunqing and Qian Qing Yuan who had just picked up the phone and he answered calmly. As the long table leaned to the side, the smile on Ding Qing's face grew wider and wider as he watched Ji Guixing who had stepped aside. These last three people are most likely to waver only in the final moments of the sudden grip, combined with the change in the atmosphere of the scene to bully them into making a choice, only then can it become, if like Qin Fu Han Bao Jun as early as the general in the time of these days, the two may have long changed eight times, G Director, I am Yuan Li Jun 15 years ago you and Du Yunqing's wife had a relationship and gave birth to a little girl Du Shangnan. Du Shengnan is Du Yunqing's youngest child and only daughter and is regarded by him as the jewel in the palm of his hand, but do you know that your relationship with Du Yunqing's wife was pushed by Yuan Taiping, that night Yuan Taiping deliberately tuned out Du Yunqing and put drugs in the drinks you drank, color rings liquor bar, private room, Yuan Li Jun Ding Qing's once lifelong brother held the phone and said in a deep voice, the meeting begins, the entire room was silent, the black. Zhongshan suit hale and hearty old man raised his voice, please turn in your cell phones, the old man added, the tall pagoda-like black-clothed bodyguard approached dragging a tray in his hand and starting from the first position of the long table a cell phone was put into that red cloth, the bodyguard walked to Ding Qing's side, black shadows pressed down. Ding Qing raised his head to look at this very oppressive behemoth smiled and pulled out his cell phone without setting it up in a regular manner like the rest of the directors only casually tossing it upwards and smashing it on an unknown person's cell phone, put up the cell phone, a professional camera was set up and a green glow lit up, please, Master Guan Air, the solemn loud voice of the old man in the black Chinese mountain suit echoed, carried carefully by two men the red-faced. Statue of Lord Guan is placed directly behind the general altar witnesses, Worship the second master, as his words fell in front of the long table in the conference room all the directors and candidates stood up and in the room the black-clothed bodyguards standing in different positions also faced the red-faced statue of the god of Guan and even the dangling Ding Qing collected the mongrel on his face, after the ceremony. There is not much nonsense directly into the session, me, I voluntarily withdraw as a candidate, Candidate Chao Rong stood up, he was gazed at by this bundle of gazes, his expression immediately revealed some nervousness, took a deep breath and said in a deep voice, are you sure? The old man asked, sure, sit down. Chao Rong sat down after the eyes that stayed on him to move away to this point he realized that his back had been swept through. He lowered his head and only looked in front of him, he the candidate, completely belonged to the running mate the 12 directors wouldn't even vote for one of them. What are you all looking at me for? Continue, Chao Rong abstained. 
Yuan Taiping looked at Ding Qing, accompanied by his movements. A number of old foxes in front of the long table similarly looked at Ding Qing one after another, perceiving that gaze. Ding Qing only shrugged his shoulders, said with a smile on his face, The sentence of his had just fallen. Yuan Taiping clutched the cane hand force, his eyes in a flash, vicious cold, staring straight at Ding Qing to this time. He wants hypocrisy are torn clean, no longer hide the threat. Wings are hard, want to. Fly alone, Yuan Taiping's hoarse voice sounded. Song Yu pushed his gold rimmed glasses and did not say anything. The atmosphere was getting more and more gloomy and weird around the long table. A few directors were old and calm, but more of them had wandering eyes, even they didn't know where the events would go. The meeting continued. Now, those who believe that Ding Qing is more suitable to lead China's shipping group forward, please raise your right hands. The old man in the black Chinese mountain suit clasped the table. The entire room fell silent. His torchlight gaze skimmed over the faces of every director and then he said majestically, according to the rules of each session the final vote will basically be the final speaker and this time should be no exception, as the old man's words fell the entire conference room. Fell into a brief silence, Ding Qing sat up straight, Yuan Taiping's shocked eyes constantly looked between the several directors, Ding Qing, the silence was broken. Directly opposite Yuan Taiping the director elderly Weiman raised his right hand and said at the same time, Yuan Taiping, we're song you were not surprised by Li Weiman's decision and Yuan Taiping only took a deep look at Li Weiman before moving his gaze away, Ding Qing one vote, the old man responded, Ding, Ding Qing, Chen Fu Han's old face reddened as he also raised his hand and said, Ding Qing. Bao Jun half squinted his eyes and similarly raised his hand, hearing this succession of voices. Yuan Taiping's eyes steeply widened his expression revealing incredulity and his son-in-law Son Yu's false smile stiffened on his face, variables, associated with the three phone calls before the start of the meeting anyone could realize that variables were taking place, Ding Qing, surprisingly it was Ding Qing. Now it was three votes, Xin Qing Yuan the director who had just gotten through to the phone and the other two looked at each other as if they could see the disbelief in each other's eyes if the other party had received a phone call comparable to their own, then together with the three of them this number of votes, that would be six votes, which was half of the votes already taken, Ding Qing. The two of them took a deep breath and raised their hands at the same time under Yuan Taiping's. Menacing threat, only the opening was five votes. Originally, the two directors who were still a bit of wallflowers after Ding Qing's early contact no longer hesitated and raised their right hands Ding Cheng, Ding Cheng, Ji Guisheng who had finally gotten through raised his right hand, eight votes, more than half. Ding Qing no longer hit it, a bright smile appeared on his face, his gaze moved away from in front of Yuan Taiping's seemingly cannibalistic look as he looked towards the two. Directors who had been defined as wallflowers by him from the very beginning. Mastered Song, Master Kai, Ding Qing raised his voice, eyes widened, it was time to make a decision, drummed in a loud voice, extremely strong, no weaker than Yuan Taiping's aura, the threat in his words was likewise no longer concealed, the two men's bodies trembled they looked at each other, they were about to raise their hands, but then they met Yuan Taiping's ferociousness, their hands were lowered, but they were about to raise them again, after a few moments the two still trembled and raised their right hands, nor did they look up, neither did they give their names, they just froze like this, Ding Qing looked to the first place, the general altar witness elder who after a brief pause reported in a deep voice, Ding Qing 10 votes, those who have not voted are considered to be against 3 votes against, now those who think Song Yu is more suitable to lead China's shipping group forward, please raise your right hands, Song Yu 1 vote, 12 votes against. Outside the floor-to-ceiling windows, the gloomy clouds that had been overcast for the whole day were followed by a bolt of lightning and a pouring rain, Yuan Taiping leaning on his crutches with a black face and his son-in-law Song Yu walked out of the building surrounded by black-clothed bodyguards and got into the car, the convoys of one director after another similarly left one after another, something's wrong, really something happened. Black Passat, Old Captain Ma An Bang gripped the Binoculars and gazed closely at the fleet of vehicles that kept leaving in the distance he frowned tightly and said in a deep voice, quickly, have the group investigate what happened in the conference room, Ma An Bon looked serious and said to his disciple, Ding Chang? It must be Ding Ching, his decadence all these years was just an intentional show for Yuan Taiping, ha, you old thing also has a present, Ma An Bong thought of something his pupils contracted and a layer of goosebumps suddenly rose on his arms. The words on his lips came to an abrupt end, the smile that just appeared on his face stopped. Originally, he still wanted to gloat about his old rival, but after thinking that Ding Qing had been so dormant for five years with such means and 
Sophistication his smile was gone, perhaps for us Song Yu is a more suitable man of words, Ma Anbang muttered, he had fought with Yuan Taiping for his entire life and he knew what a difficult old thing that was, my alliance culture, Lu Ping supported his head looking out the window at the soybean rain that kept hitting the glass and abruptly his cell phone rang. Busy grabbing it, pick up the connection, good, Lu Ping had a big smile on his face, I know, Zhanghai CBD Center, a modern office, it's really Ding Ching, Shui watching the media bigwig who controlled the Greyfield propaganda field whispered, he didn't fall into shock for too long, quickly he collected all his emotions, Mr. Song, I'm sorry, I really have something to do and I can't help you. Shui watching's face revealed an apology as he said one after another, Ding Ching conducted a phone. Call with the elders of the general altar, after hanging up the phone, he stood by the window and looked out at the raindrops and cloudy clouds he had a smile on his face, but he had yet to relax in his eyes, Ding Ching, the following information is the security that Yuan Taiping has been hiding all these years, our union culture, office. Lu Ping stood in front of the window looking at the metropolis under the rain curtain as he recalled his last exchange with Ding Ching, again no points were expressed only what was in the intelligence was relayed, what kind of power was it that was even able to investigate these things? Ding Ching lifted his leather shoes and walked broadly towards another conference room. In the conference room next door, all of the middle level and above leaders of the China shipping group were already waiting and he needed to meet a group of leaders and deliver a speech. Corridor, his footsteps suddenly stopped glancing at the crowd of people clustered around him. He suddenly had heart palpitations, his scalp tingled and the hairs of his sweat stood on end after taking the seat. He became more and more scornful or fearful of the young man who wore professional clothes, carried a briefcase in his hand and showed the temperament of an ordinary employee in everything he did, he was able to win not because his skills were far stronger than Yuan Taiping or Song Yu but because he was playing the game from God's perspective, all rise, Ding Chang stood in front of the conference room as the woman wearing black framed glasses hurried in and said solemnly, Chairman Ding. Chairman Ding, Ding Ching stepped in and everyone called out in unison, Ding Ching raised his hand, he sat in the first place listening absently to the group manager in front of the stage, his fingertips tapped on the desktop and his gaze gazed across the room towards the outside of the arena, at the same time, Zhanghai City East District, Nine Halls. In a party of anciently decorated study the old butler Master Jia who was not following Yuan Taiping due to his physical ailments was lying on a chaise long with his eyes closed as he swayed his palms clapping in rhythm and his mouth humming a Huang Mei opera song. Inside the room, the old pendulum clock pendulum was swinging from side to side, Master Jia suddenly opened his eyes, alas, he let out a long sigh, in a sudden, the old man's essence was aging at a rate visible to the naked eye. He sat up his erect waist hunched over walked to his desk and picked up the one red telephone, a call that only Yuan Taiping should know about, dialed out, beep, listen to the sound of the call, two sounds later, hello, low alert voice like a crow crying out in mourning, I am Jia Shodong the old man said in a deep voice, something has happened. Ding Ching's decadence is all fake, he colluded with the remaining 10 directors in private and usurped Song Yu's position. Master Yuan asked you to lead the team, the old man paused slightly, his eyes changed and he said verbatim intercept Ding Ching, all of Ding Ching's forces are located, set off now. Note before the action you have people put away all communication devices including you Master Yuan suspects that among you there are also undercover agents, also to avoid the general. Forum intervening to terminate the order during the operation even if Master Yuan or I contact you you can't get on the phone, do you hear me? The old man asked, received, the other end of the phone was silent for a moment and then responded in a concise manner, he did not suspect. On the one hand his number should only be known to Master Yuan, on the other hand no one in the Jiang who knew of Master Jia's loyalty to Master Yuan, the phone hung up, Master Jia continued to dial the second number. What's the hurry, black Mercedes Benz S class, Yuan Taiping's eyes were cloudy as he suddenly yelled low at Song Yu, I will give you one last lesson people live in order to be a big brother, if a person dies then everything is over, Yuan Taiping relaxed his tone and said in a deep voice, he had run his business for a lifetime, would it be possible for a single vote to strip him of the power he was sitting on, as long as Ding Ching died Song Yu would be able to continue to rise to the top just the same, in the rules of the general altar it was supposed to be about raising parasites, the reason why they didn't inform the remaining three branches now is that they're waiting for the final result, take the phone to me. Yuan Taiping said, 
The old style function machine Yuan Taiping pressed the string of numbers, this is the most elite force under his command, a whole team of sharp soldiers, anyone carry out have the military quality of special forces, beep, the phone rings, beep Yuan Taiping remained calm, but when the third sound rang Yuan Taiping half squinted his eyes, a minute later, the sound of no one answering echoed in the ear, a sense of loss of control then the meeting was even more panicked in. The heart of the old man who had reigned over the world all his life, Yuan Taiping was astonished inwardly but did not show the slightest on his face. After hanging up the phone he dialed again, still no answer, changing to another number no answer, no one answered, no one answered, Yuan Taiping's face changed, the sharpest soldier he was most proud of had completely lost contact with him. This is not supposed to know to know, as early as the team selection at the beginning of the establishment he has done a strict standard according to the requirements, the phone must be 24 hours someone on the side call the third sound. Must be connected, it's okay, the first thing you need to do is to get your hands dirty, Yuan Taiping grabbed the phone and dialed to the rest of his men, it is like an island in the sea everything you once had is lost in this traveling caravan, violent gasps, wide open eyes. Yuan Taiping had been strategizing for decades and for the first time he truly felt fear, Zhanghai suburb, a secluded factory on one side, dressed in uniforms holding machinery in their hands they constantly gestured to each other their movements cleanly sneaking and breaking into the depths, the squad stopped at the second floor metal staircase on the side of the factory, the captain commanded and after making sure there was no danger one person rolled in, metal rolled in, immediately. Following fire bursts into the air, ambush, Withdraw, the captain roared, the metal door was blocked where they had infiltrated, it's a pleasure to meet everyone here, I hope that the China shipping group can take a bigger step forward with our joint efforts, Ding Cheng stood in front of the stage and delivered a concluding speech. As soon as his words fell thunderous applause erupted, our union culture, finally off duty, Gu Dashi stretched a big lazy waist he habitually turned around ready to ask Lu Ping if he wanted to go play a game in a while, the words had yet to be spoken, he saw Zhang Yingying who was always extremely gentle glaring straight at himself with her eyes her pink fists clenched tightly, a ping ah, I still have some things to do in the evening so I won't go back with you, Gu Dashi reacted very quickly and the words that were on his lips were transformed, Lu Ping held a light smile as he watched the scene, brother Ping, I know a newly opened restaurant, do you want to go eat together, let me tell you that restaurant is on fire, Zhang Yingying said immediately after, okay, Lu Ping nodded. Gudashi left first and he stood in the elevator looking at the closing door, alas, I've forgotten my brother when I have a woman I've seen it all, Gudashi sighed, he didn't maintain this look for long and soon a laugh broke out on his naive face, Master Jia, he called out softly, nine halls, the deep house is a large courtyard, the old housekeeper Jia Shodong Jia master who had followed Master Yuan for his entire life was waiting in the gatehouse, his energy should be very good but, not after a breath of relief, he originally wanted to wait for his master to come back, but didn't wait to lower his head and fell asleep. The old man in the mansion patted Jia Shodong, hmm, how did I fall asleep? The old master and the others are back, whispered. Master Jia stood up, his expression became serious, he meticulously straightened up his sleeves and collar and stood in front of the door looking towards the caravan with its headlights lit up in the rain in the distance. Master Jia was a little out of his mind. Betrayal of Master Yuan was equally painful to him, but he had to do it in order to keep that little family ordinary and safe. The first son was dead and the second son had to live. No matter what, Master Yuan when I get down there I will still serve you, Master Jia's lips quivered, he wouldn't have planned to live, in due time, the black Mercedes Benz stopped in front of him and Master Jia bowed up ignoring the umbrellas held up by his men to break into the rain and pulled open the door for Master Yuan, Master. Master Jia called out, Shodong on, do not get wet, we cannot afford at this age, Yuan Taiping had not yet gotten out of the car, he looked at the old housekeeper, the first thing he noticed was that the old fellow was getting wet, he glared at the men beside him and said in a deep voice, clutching his walking stick, trembling down, Master Jia also distinctly noticed that the old man was getting old, as if his essence had been broken, the two nearly 80 years of age, one after the other. Walking in the garden corridor the rain rolled down the eaves one by one that winter garden vegetation gradually withered at this time of the year reflecting the atmosphere of some depression, elite looking Song Yu, as well as the black clothed bodyguards who followed behind the two old men, Shou Dong Ah, Master Yuan suddenly stopped and called out to the old man beside him. Old master, Master Jiat answered, you've also reached the age of enjoying your happiness it's time to retire, 
I can still take care of you, ha, huh? let's leave it at that, when tomorrow you will receive a sum of money and go to rest, Master Yuan actually laughed twice in a spontaneous manner grasping his cane and nodding the ground without giving Master Jia a chance to refuse and with that he continued on to the house, the main mansion, in the warm glow the gentle woman was playing with. The tender children only looking out of the house from time to time, Grandpa, the child was sharp-eyed and saw Master Yuan at a glance and shouted crisply from afar, I'm going to the restroom, the cell phone in his arms vibrated. Lu Ping smiled and said to his colleague Zhang Yingying whose cheeks were flushed at the table and after saying this he got up and walked towards the bathroom, this was a newly opened Southeast Asian restaurant even if it was raining heavily there were still a lot of people and the long corridor outside the door was filled with rows of diners who had taken numbers, passing through the crowd. Only then did Lu Ping pick up his cell phone the smile on his face converging inch by inch, the last thing you need to pay attention to is this person he is the backhand that Yuan Taiping saved 30 years ago, practicing a lifetime of ancient martial arts splitting and hanging fists ordinary people who are good at technical strikes are either dead or crippled by meeting with them, the last sentence echoed in his ears when he exchanged words with Ding Qing. Lu Ping read the intelligence, many times subconsciously skimmed over this piece of information he had watched many kung fu movies action movies one of his views is that even the highest kung fu was afraid of choppers, but then he wondered why Yuan Taiping was so always a transmission martial artist, walked into the bathroom, sitting in the cubicle, Lu Ping clicked on the link in the screen Ding Qing's first view was presented in front of his eyes and it could be seen that it was located in. A certain underground garage and a van full of dust was lying across the exit position of the underground garage, the figure with the grey jacket appeared at the bottom of the eye, one of the black-clad bodyguards clustered beside Ding Qing their hands on their waists on guard, underground garage, Ding Qing half squinted his eyes looking at the distant figure he took out a box of cigarettes from his pocket knocked it and pulled out a root to light it for himself. At the same time, bang, 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 dull gunshots exploded, the black jacket of the middle-aged man is not too tall, but the two arms are very long palms are extremely wide his face is expressionless keen insight in the moment the bodyguard pulls the trigger the foot force the figure shakes the middle-aged man pasted on the side of a limousine the bullet hit the frame of the car splattering a tongue of fire, the middle-aged man's figure was fast, stooping down and ghostly he used. The car is a shield frantically penetrating, only saw that he pasted next to a white accord his long arm surging along with his body like an iron whip to the door, the loud bang rang in everyone's ears. Drip, 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 the entire door of the car dented, the car made a piercing alarm sound, the middle-aged man's broad palms grabbed the car door the body shook he actually removed the entire door blocking the door in front of him bang, bullets like rain on the car door fire grows top the car door forward a distance, Throwing the car door forward a bodyguard was shot and instantly fell down in pain. At the same time, the figure rolled to the side, as Ding Qing watched the scene his. Eyelids jumped up as he picked up a cigarette and took a deep drag, he was aware of these perverts who practiced the transmission of martial arts, but the people in this circle hid extremely deeply and were also basically raised by the big families and powerful nobles, acquiring the art of literature and martial arts and selling it to the emperor's family, no more than that, fuck me? Bathroom, Lu Ping's eyes widened and he stood up in shock, he was just an ordinary employee no matter what he did not think that the power of individual human beings could really achieve this level, it was too late, it was too soon, in the screen the change occurred again, but when the middle-aged man grabbed another car door and put it in front of his body to rush towards Ding Qing, he failed to notice that in the black car behind him, people kept getting up abruptly and a gun poked out. From different corners behind him, there was not a single pause, bullets were shooting from all directions, transmission of martial arts, national arts even more powerful is just practicing the body being able to exert one point of strength to ten points, but it is just to make one's essence more cohesive to be able to notice the direction of the muzzle in advance before the gunman pulls the trigger. Them, were not gods, Lu Ping looked at the bloodstained and twitching figure in the screen and gasped up by this time his back had been sweated through, what kind of authority did the executives of this world possess? On Lu Ping's arms, the hairs of sweat stood up, gone, Ding Qing similarly exhaled he half squinted his eyes and swept his eyes at the middle-aged man who was only a few steps away from him and said, take a step, the leather shoes brushed past the middle-aged man's body, the uh. black sedan drove into the rainy night tonight's night where ordinary people couldn't see the cleansing against Yuan Taiping was underway, with the absolute power of intelligence this is a descending blow, the convoy arrived at the nine halls, 
Ding Ching got out of the car and looked up at the warmly lit deep house compound. Inside the courtyard, the old housekeeper Master Jia picked up the phone, after he hung up the phone he respectfully spoke to Master Yuan, Master, Ching Zi is here, my good righteous son is here, Yuan Taiping's eyes darkened as he raised his head and swept over the faces of Jia Shodong his daughter Xiao Zuixin and Song Yu as he said belatedly, the beloved subordinates walked in front and behind, Ding Ching stuck his hands in his pockets and opened his suit jacket as he walked through the corridors and courtyards and into the Chinese garden made up of wigwams and water pavilions that he had visited a while ago, under the warm light the old man was teasing a child, Uncle Ching, little Zhuixin was still too young to notice the atmosphere of the adults he looked at Ding Ching and immediately shouted cheerfully his little legs stomped and ran towards Ding Ching, when the child made such a move the faces of the adults behind him changed. Did you miss Uncle Chang? Yes, haha you little guy, are you getting fat again? From afar Ding Ching squatted down and unfolded his hands the little guy tiger head and brain when approaching the little leg stomping faster rushed into the arms of the heavy, Ding Ching picked up the child held up and turned in a circle and said gently, Master Yuan, Master Jia, Ding Ching holding the child approached smiling but not smiling called out, Master Yuan ignored, Sister Wan take little Zhuixin. Down, Ding Ching put the child down looked at the gentlewoman who was nervously and pleadingly looking at her and said I will have a chat with Master Yuan. Sitting on the floor of the main house facing the courtyard he watched the curtain of rain dripping continuously down the eaves, why did you do this I didn't tea treat you too badly right, 26 years ago if it wasn't tea for me you would have frozen to death by an unknown trash can, Yuan Taiping sat on the recliner next to Ding Ching. The old man could not decide how much Ding Ching knew and still did not want to give up easily. 26 years ago, Ding Ching touched another cigarette from his pocket and lit it for himself. He took a deep breath and half squinted his eyes, a sneer on his face. A compulsion raising program? Yuan Taiping's gaze sank. This is a long time he has not heard, but that familiar term. This is the most proud of his handiwork to get to this day, Master Yuan. How can you get down Xinjin like you that much she will be rooted in your arms stretching out her tender little hands to touch your scruff, she will sometimes be naughty wanting to reach out and grab the beard on your chin but every time before you make a strong effort you will be heartbroken to let go with your forehead to rub it affectionately, Ding Ching looked at the misty white smoke in front of him and said. Hearing this Yuan Taiping's heart will no longer have hope he closed his eyes, Song Yu sat on the other side while Master Jia stood beside the old man, the atmosphere became silent, I still have one more question, Yuan Taiping opened his eyes and looked at Ding Ching saying in a hoarse voice. Today he only felt that everything had become bizarre and abnormal and he couldn't understand how Ding Ching did it even if he thought through his mind, I just told them what you did to them, Ding Ching didn't wait for the old man to ask the question so he said directly, I just intercepted your contact information with that team under your command in advance, transferred them to the area I had set up in advance and burned them all in one fire. That one who specializes in splitting fist is. Culves would jiaching right, his kung fu was really good I had to shoot him to death with a dozen guns before and after. Ding Ching kept talking. Every paragraph he said made Yuan Taiping's eyelids flutter. But, Yuan Taiping added, just the contact information how can I mobilize the team, brother Yuan. Yuan Taiping words have not yet spoken, the side of the old housekeeper Jia Shodong clenched his fists aged body trembling, he suddenly shouted this time did not shout again master. Yuan Taiping looked at Jia Shodong, he seemed to think of something in a moment but did not take it, in his life he did not trust anyone and the one he trusted the most and the only one he trusted was this brother of his, 50 years ago Xiao Lian and Wei Er, Ken, but you killed, kill, Jia Shodong lips white shivering, tiger eyes with tears, Yuan Taiping heard his first reaction was to show surprise, followed by he violently wide-eyed the hairs on his back stood up one by one twisted. His head to look at Ding Qing, Master Jia, I am sorry, I deceived you, the only one Master Yuan trusts in his life should be you, he treats you as his own brother. Ding Qing stood up patted his but and apologized to Jia Shodong. Jia Shodong was struck by lightning and his body shook. Yuan Taiping gasped and laughed out loud, bang, suddenly, a gunshot rang out, only to see behind a few people put his hand in the bosom to feel out what a song you brow positioned by a bullet drilled he struggled round eyes planted in front of Yuan Taiping blood gurgling flow, it's okay, the first thing you need to do is to get your hands dirty, you and Wan grew up together, that girl has never been involved in our affairs, let her live. Let her live, Yuan Taiping spoke quickly. Pleading with wide eyes, is Yi Yun involved, or is it true? 
Ding Qing's face was expressionless as he took a rigid knife handed to him by one of his men and walked behind the old man one hand covering the old man's mouth, the other grasping the knife and slashing through his neck, the old master still wanted to continue to beg away to live for his daughter and grandson he was not willing his body was struggling blood rolled down his throat his body gradually stopped moving, Master Jia, you go, Ding Chang looked towards Jia Shodong, Jia Shodong. Lost his mind he hung his head and violently slammed into the wall on one side, several times in succession, blood flowed, the old man also fell into a pool of blood, ah, the woman with a gentle temperament sister one who had led the child into the house and then came out again to take a look after being uneasy covered her mouth and fell to the ground when she saw this miserable scene. Sister Wan, you can rest assured I will give Zwishin a way out, Ding Chung walked to Sister Wan's front his eyes were red his voice was hoarse and hard to hear after uttering such a sentence he took out his gun and pressed it against the back of the woman's head held the woman's head in his arms closed his eyes and bang, the dimly lit hallway, the cell phone in his arms vibrated, Lu Ping tapped the screen and skimmed through the long paragraph of text which was the passage he had, asked Ding Ching to send him, the frightening content made Lu Ping's heart skip a beat, play big, playing big, how did these big shots have the kind of monsters around them that could dent a car door, there really is a national art. I'm sorry, are those national martial arts novels actually biographies, after watching that video Lu Ping was a bit distracted as he settled down to send Zheng Ying Ying home, by this time seeing such a string of descriptions he was a bit tense, propping his hand on the rusted iron railing he sat on the cold steps, in the dimness, Lu Ping held his head his body trembling violently, he opened his mouth to let out a silent hiss, his heart beating violently the leaping sound was like a drum. Hammer in his ears. Shit, playing off, Lupin calmed down he placed his hands folded on his knees his head resting on his arms, just like this, after a long time he whispered, cursed, just Ding Ching is this dangerous from tomorrow onwards the unveiling of Li Yuzhen and Song Ziwen's game can I still live, there is still a chance to run away, Europe of Woodley country, the North Pole, I don't have enough money on me either. The night was deep, in the majestic and ancient ancestral hall a few old men dressed. In long robes sat in front of the eunuch chairs, they drank tea smoked cigarettes and also talked about something from time to time, when the sound of hurried footsteps resounded outside the door one of the old men stopped their movements and looked towards the main door one after another. President, elders, the middle-aged man with a serious face stepped over the threshold and stood in the center of the shrine bowing, but is there a result? Head, the kind browed but most feared old man picked up his tea and lightly blew on it to take a sip, asking, There is, Yuan Taiping's command was buried clean, his daughter Yuan Wan's son in law Song Yu, grandson Yuan Zwishin, and old housekeeper Jia Shodong all died. The middle aged man reported in a deep voice, upon hearing his words. The atmosphere in the ancestral hall first fell silent, followed by one clan elder after another. Surprise and horror appeared on all of their faces. Old Yuan had reigned supreme for his entire life, but he had actually fallen into the hands of his righteous son, this Ding Qin was really something, five years, after five whole years of acting out in the entire circle who doesn't know that the second master of Zhanghai Marine Qing is ruined, how did Ding Qing do it, those elites under the old Yuan can be trained in a hundred miles all in the war-torn areas have had a great success. The patriarchs were still talking, there was a Sudden crisp knocking sound in the ancestral hall and all of them fell silent at once, but it was none other than the main seat the kind-eyed President Wang Delin who snapped the table, it is a great fortune for the Chao sect to have such a handsome young man thus all the new spokespersons of the four branches of entertainment finance real estate and shipping under the sect have been replaced, fresh blood will surely pull Chao sect further. Shu you go and make an announcement, yes sir, nowadays Chao Sek's model has been cleaned up and transformed into a business alliance with the four leaders being the chairman and above the four branches is the elders council the real supreme power center of this giant, above the neon lights of the city is the vast and boundless sky and this sky is the chessboard where the powerful and the noble play, the middle sea, the dark tide in the darkness was surging madly and an unknown number of forces were spying and helping, 30, in the shared house Lu Ping finished another set of push-ups sweat rolling down his chin, he was bare-chested sitting at the table. On the table stacks and stacks of pages were spread out and he focused his attention in Li Yuzhen's profile, after reading it for a short while, Lu Ping then pushed the information in front of him only to feel a wave of distraction and the immense pressure and panic was on the verge of devouring the courage he had so easily gathered, at the very beginning watching police and crime movies he felt that the world could not be more dangerous, but now that he thought about it, the core of 
Those movies were for entertainment purposes and were too far from the truth of the world, life is just a number in the game between big shots, other than that, just the struggle between Yuan Taiping and Ding Qing the lives that faded away were already in the double digits, and last time Li Yuzhen also killed Cha Shelwi without batting an eye, Lu Ping shook his head, he didn't think about anything and did push-ups again. This time, before reaching 30 Lu Ping's arms began to wobble almost clenching his back teeth veins exploding in front of his forehead before holding on to finish, just finished, he was paralyzed lying on the floor under the sound of huffing and puffing gazing at the ceiling listlessly, he was still clenching his fists, there was an indefinable fire in his heart, perhaps it was awe, maybe it was resentment. Maybe he wanted to vent his frustration, even a mole cricket was trying to raise its head high and charge towards the throne in the sky. Lu Ping propped up his body and sat up, he remembered something found a business card from the pocket of a certain piece of clothing pursed his lips and dialed out with the backup number. After hanging up, Lu Ping changed his clothes, draped himself in a black trench coat and put on a hat and left the shared house, ringing bell awakened from deep sleep, unfamiliar number. The previous Porsche's female manager Liying frowned her showy eyebrows, she muttered and wanted to press the phone off, but after taking a deep breath she still connected the number, go to the bar of abstinence, hoarse voice, Li Ying was stunned at first, but quickly remembered. The struggle repression and madness that filled this voice made her instantly understand, I will go right now, Li Ying answered obediently, she yawned and stretched her slender jade legs followed closely by getting up from the bed pulling open the closet and carefully selecting clothes, that gentleman, should like legs, would it be better to show some more innocence? Li Ying recalled the scene of that day, draped in a black jacket. Inside the jacket was a long pink floral skirt the hem of, which covered the thighs and was a zigzag distance above the knees. Rounded jade legs are very fleshy tightly together. She hurriedly into the cab only to feel a gust of cold in order to make her legs look better. She did not even put on stockings, leather shoes, and black calf socks. Li Ying put her bag on her lap and looked out the window. Sir, I'm here. There is someone waiting for you by the door, Li Ying stepped out of the elevator she observed the lively bar carefully, the quit bar was a very popular bar in Zhanghai she had once come here with her friends, walking up to the two large doors, the middle-aged foreman sized her up and suddenly stretched out his hand respectfully asking excuse me but Miss Li, ah, uh, me, I do have the surname Li, Li Ying was inexplicably a little nervous, Mr is already waiting for you this way, please, the middle-aged waiter answered, Li Ying just stepped into the disco felt a layer of heat wave on the face ear piercing DJ like crazy youth's crazy swaying body, there are even private rooms up here, Li Ying is surprised, a few minutes later she looked outside the door of that private room, there were still several black clothed bodyguards stationed there and her heart beat faster, she originally felt that that Mr. Lu was not an ordinary rich man, Miss Li, the middle-aged foreman, respectfully said, the door of the private room was pushed open and the purple-red blue beams of light reflected the room with a different and bewitching feeling Li Ying held her breath and looked at the black figure in front of the huge floor-to-ceiling glass. Mr. Lu, nervously called out, come over here, Lu Ping half closed his eyes. All the emotions were in the neon lights in the DJ sound frantically venting and discharging, in this state, his brain was incredibly calm, tomorrow, no, no it's already today, something would definitely happen to Chuani during the day today. The change arranged by Song Z1 will officially kick off from today, the fireworks I've been waiting for so long will finally bloom, thoughts flew, a few tens of minutes later, you are? After a long time, Lu Ping noticed the plum blossoms. Staining the back of Li Ying's skirt and his black eyes revealed consternation as he looked at the latter, Sir thinks I am a random person, Li Ying whispered, even if I am I want to sell the price higher and this is my most precious thing. Li Ying revealed a self-deprecating smile her cheeks were delicate she gasped for air but her expression was extremely frank, the good news is that the out-of-control emotions and sanity were yanked dead center at the edge of the cliff, the bad news was that Li Ying should not have been called to Ding Qing's territory, resting his hands on the sofa of the private room and crossing his legs Lu Ping intentionally displayed the opposite posture of his usual self his black and white eyes. Flickering with thought, this woman is smart and should have captured my truest emotions, Lu Ping glanced at Li Ying, the thought of the devil flashed in his heart for a split second but soon the thought was contained by it. Then there is no need to hide it from Ding Qing be frank and calm it's just a woman, make a decision, 
let's go, Lu Ping got up, he was just about to get the trench coat hanging by the door Liying was very insightful to stand up first, she wanted to put on her shoes a few times did not put on so she ran barefoot, did not walk out after a few steps, some staggering between the gate, you are very smart. Liying stood on her tiptoes and thoughtfully helped Lu Ping put them on, Lu Ping stared. At the latter's eyes and after a slight pause said in a deep voice, Outside the bar Ding Qing's subordinates had already prepared the car which drove into the rainy night, Lu Ping looked out the window the raindrops refracted the streaks of light under the streetlights the huge metropolis was beautiful and hazy, do what you should do don't try to touch dangerous things. Lu Ping pulled out his cell phone, this time he punched half a million dollars into Li Ying's account the extra figure was considered an acknowledgement of the latter's identity, the cell phone in her bag vibrated Li Ying took it out and saw the long string of numbers she was still counting when the sound of Lu Ping's words rang in her ears, Li Ying twisted her head, as it happened the high beams of the alternating cars hit the side of Lu Ping's face and she was still a little confused. About the meaning of Lu Ping's words and only inexplicably felt some awe, uh huh, she responded, pull over close to the curb, Lu Ping noticed the hotel with lights on in the distance and said to the driver. After the car pulled over he looked at Li Ying the woman is very smart only a moment to understand said a word and pushed open the door to get out of the car, wait, Lu Ping shouted, words handed out an umbrella, she stood at the side of the car and watched the car disappear into the night, the night passed, early morning. Lu Ping woke up from the cramped shared house he yawned just out of the room to see his roommate Xia Min Tan carrying a bag hurriedly left the appearance, the end of the year seems to be particularly busy for financial investment consultants, Xia Min Tan almost every day early morning and late at night drinking a drunken look she did not like this life like a drowning man but cannot grasp the straw to save his life. The sky was finally clear, Lu Ping glanced at the sky and took a deep breath. Carrying a briefcase and squeezing into the subway Lu Ping pushed the frame and gazed at everything he could see, the countdown to the year-end promotion that Chuanha had poured out for its first traffic realization had truly begun and as you walked around the metropolis of Zhanghai you could be outside skyscrapers, be able to see the malls and the subway aisles, the hanging walls of the elevators and billboards on. Cabs, notice Chuanha's ads in almost everywhere, take the point to lead the way, the Kawaho promotion has already erected heat across the country, burning money, each day burned out astronomical figures. Walking to the front of the company's building, Lu Ping tilted his head and looked at the projected image on the building's curtain wall with some amazement Chuanha Grand Promotion Countdown. Three days in this square there were many other people with the same gesture of Lu Ping's action, good guy Gudashi glanced at the crowd and saw Lu Ping he walked to Lu Ping's side and also raised his head sighing with emotion, this is the handiwork of a great man. Continued the road, yes, Lu Ping. Withdrew his gaze and nodded, the two returned to the company, it was still a day of waiting for the annual vacation playing games and catching up on dramas while Lu Ping was still reading he used his cell phone to look at the electronic version and if someone approached he would switch the page to the online article without any trace, when exactly will Song Ziwen strike? Lu Ping would occasionally raise his head as he uncontrollably chanted, it was an indescribable feeling, the storm is coming, something big was about to happen. Time passed by and at noon Lu Ping Gudashi and Zhang Yingying went to the cafeteria inside the building to eat together. Brother Ping, what did you order? Uh, there are cola chicken wings, can I exchange my sweet and sour pork with you? Zhang Yingying poked her head over and asked. Good, Lu Ping said gently, the three of them. Looked for a seat near the corner with their trays and just sat down when a change in the lively cafeteria appeared, inside the ears. Constantly came similar only words, something has happened, something big has happened to Chuanha, quickly, watch the news, fuck me, it's not over, Chuanho has been throwing money around for the last half a month, money? That's nothing, it's the default fees with various companies that are astronomical, what's going on with Chuanho, being set up, in front of the dining table, Lu Ping, and the three of them who had been casually chatting the previous second stopped their movements almost simultaneously and perked up their ears as various words and phrases that seemed unbelievable to them were constantly being heard. Lu Ping Zhang Yingying as well as Gu Dashi raised their heads their expressions staring up at each other, surveying in all directions, they only saw that in this building employees from different companies were either browsing through whatever messages in their cell phones or were busy taking out their cell phones to look at the page after hearing something. Almost everyone was either looking at their cell phone messages or picking up their cell phones to read the messages, cold colored light hit each of their faces, Lu Ping realized something, 
his heart also leapt heavily his body was heating up and blood flowed madly between his limbs, it was coming, it had finally come, Lu Ping quickly tapped his cell phone, pushing the hotspot, scarf hotspot, jitterbug hotspot. Almost all of the hot lists of the major traffic platforms were occupied by the same message, the three main head anchors of Chuanha Culture Media Limited combined with 5 10 million anchors and 18 million anchors collectively sued Chuanha, Chuanha 10 sins, Chuanha completely treats us as a tool to make money. We are human beings, not machines, Chuanha has murdered people for money, its anchor once died suddenly to fulfill the kpai, but only got $60,000 compensation, professionals, Chuanha's one-day advertisement costs tens of millions of dollars, Premeditated planning led by Chuanha's own head netizen instantly triggered the whole network and the horrible traffic and attention washed out the servers of the scarf. Really ruthless ah, Lu Ping whispered, he just looked at this one message. He could feel the overwhelming gusty and suffocating feeling, one minute before Chuan he was still crazy and infinite the rising Chuan he became a flatboat that might sink at any time in the raging sea. This is to trample Chuanha to death, trampled to death without a burial place, Gu Dashi heard and responded with an interface, we went to Chuanha before and felt that Chuanha's company atmosphere and Netflix atmosphere is quite good ah, Zheng Yingying wondered, Lu Ping pushed the mirror frame, the corner of his mouth raised unnoticeably as he whispered, I'm curious, even if Song Ziwen doesn't use any outside tricks, are you so sure that you can flip this raging heat with just my information? Even the rice was only hastily grilled in two bites, Lu Ping Gudashi and Zhang Yingying were ready to go back to the company, the impact of the advertising project they undertook for Chuanha was not too big, even if something went wrong over there, there was only a small amount of the final payment left to be settled. However, the company has undertaken a large number of company advertisements that were expected to be sold in the year-end promotion in the last half of the year. When the year-end promotion collapsed, nine times out of ten, the money from these advertisements would not be recovered. Lu Ping walked towards the elevator able to see from time to time a staff member's face tense quickly walking past, a grave and depressing atmosphere was spreading, Chuanha is the head netizen incubation base in Zhanghai and even in the whole country and it is also the first netizen company to enter the live streaming bandwagon traffic cash industry, once this path was allowed to be traveled by Chuanhe then the entire financial circle would give birth to a new unicorn, this was the influence of the giants, Lu Ping felt the atmosphere. The rise of Chuan he was benefiting hundreds of companies in this office building and when its takeoff was hindered no company in the entire building would be unaffected, the elevator rang, Lu Ping's trio walked towards our union at this time affected by that black cloud atmosphere even Gu Dashi and Zhang Yingying were tense and their breathing was lowered a lot, office, the heating was turned on sufficiently, normally it was fine but at this moment it only made people feel a little parched. Colleagues were all talking, all kinds of true and false revelations, news spreading crazily among the people, scary, compared with Ding Qing and Yuan Taiping's game Li Yuzhen and Song Ziwen's encounter is truly terrifying, although the knife is bloodless, but the invisible network as a battlefield blindfolded millions of people's eyes guiding their thinking using their mouth to sway the situation. Sitting back in front of the work table, Lu Ping speculated on the game of the two men through the information he had, he was the one who knew the most, he was able to see the most, the ending where exactly would it run to, Lu Ping whispered, he was just an ordinary company employee even if he had obtained a golden finger and was able to refresh detailed and terrifying intelligence, but his vision determined the height of his thinking, at the very beginning, he only relied on Ding Qing, Shui, Hua Qing and that fourth piece of intelligence that hadn't been used yet and he dared to say that he would sway the situation and make Li Yuzhen kneel in front of him and pray to himself, but when he saw the fierce wind and rain of suppression and energy, Lu Ping had no bottom, he even just wanted to shrink his head like an ostrich not daring to get involved, but he knew that he had already taken sides back in the very beginning and with things having developed to this extent he no longer had a choice, I have to accept that I will make mistakes, I'm just an ordinary person, this can't be avoided, Lu Ping calmed his heart, after the rain, under the azure sky, same building top floor Li Yuzhen's office, ha ha, who says a woman is inferior. To a man from now on, from now on my granddaughter Yuzhen will be the tiger daughter of my family, a rich flower in the world, Li Yuzhen's cold strong face reveals a trace of fatigue her body leaning back, leaning against the office chair legs folded in this storm of prying tens of billions of dollars of wealth she is the focal point that carries all the pressure she is magnificent but who remembers she is also a woman. The fireworks of her eighth birthday party bloomed before her eyes, grandpa's big bold laugh echoed in his ears, dum 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 dum, 
Knock knock, the door to the office room was snapped, Li Yuzhen's eyes were almost icy cold in the same instant where there was still half a bit of weakness responded in a deep voice, come in, the third secretary Xia Ting stood in front of Li Yuzhen, she perceived Li Yuzhen's strong aura, terrified heart actually inexplicably much more solid to know in the usual, she is the most afraid to face directly to miss, and miss, Li, Xia Ting took a deep breath and called out, how is it in the company, Li Yuzhen asked, Originally at this time everyone is already very tense suddenly broke out such a large public opinion thing everyone is very panicked some do not know what to do. Xia Ting said in a deep voice, in the entire building hundreds of companies were affected and all of the staff could detect the almost suffocating feeling of the cloud hanging over them, not to mention the focus of the storm, the colleagues within Xuanha, everyone was saying whether the year-end promotion could still be opened. Xuanha's PR department, advertising department, anchor department, Almost all the department's phone numbers are busted. You go and inform down that Chuanha Media will officially hold a press conference in two hours and will respond to all the hotspots that appeared on the internet and order the legal department to issue a lawyer letter to all the anchors of the company V's and media that made inappropriate remarks on various platforms on the internet. I will fight this lawsuit until they go bankrupt for today's change of heart. Li Yuzhen started to preview and prepare for it as early as a month ago after she had made a deal with Lu Ping and a lot of things even behind the scenes she intentionally let push, even the public opinion that erupted today if she hadn't held down the company's public opinion department things wouldn't have erupted in such a short period of time. She held the entire chain of evidence in her hands and the corresponding media companies had all been laid out long ago, next, all she needed to do was to fight a beautiful battle directing this maximum traffic after smashing astronomical figures and gaming from many sides towards Chuanha's year-end promotion, Li Yuzhen was equally crazy, is a gambler, and a fighter. Li Yuzhen is not willing to be a beautiful canary locked in a gorgeous cage she is going to rush out no matter how much it costs, is, Xia Ting sensed that Missy Zora was burning getting more and more prevalent more and more prevalent she was no longer terrified and hurriedly answered, notify the entire company I will convene a company-wide video address in 15 minutes. Li Yuzhen said in a deep voice, yes, quickly go, yes. Xia Ting's heart beat heavily, she backed up a few steps before turning to leave the office and so stepped in the corridor the steps were hurried not a few steps and then turned into a trot, imitating a gust of wind, Li Yuzhen's words in the office then spread throughout the company. Is this the charm of President Li, advertising department, Lin Xiaoyu who had once had something going on with Lu Ping in the Maybach leaned against the office door her arms wrapped around her as she watched the change in the atmosphere of the company not far away. After the message was given in a very short period of time it was as if that one panicked staff member had a C pin and all of them clutched their cell phones waiting for the video speech in 15 minutes, the screen lit. Up, Li Yuzhen was wearing a v-neck cut chiffon white shirt with a black shawl she sat behind her desk her bright eyes looking towards the camera, colleagues of Chuanha Culture Media how are you I am Li Yuzhen. A wisp of white smoke stretched in the azure sky, Mr. Song, you see this is MS, Li speaking at the company, Zhanghai Dongqing Airport, wearing a pair of sunglasses Song Ziwen strides out from the pickup port the young female secretary carrying a briefcase is half a step behind while the four black clothed security guards walk in front and behind respectively, the middle-aged man who was not tall and had an oily temperament was the first to welcome him, he held his hands up and waited for the security to confirm that there was no danger before he was led in beside Song Ziwen, Respectfully he handed over his cell phone, at the same time, the current situation was introduced in the most concise words, the black Rolls Royce drove out of the airport song Z1 admiringly looked at Li Yuzhen in the screen he liked the strong proud radiant like a queen woman, it's very infectious, song Z1 suddenly said. Yes, Miss Li is really a woman who is better than a man and her red face is even better than her son, the middle-aged man was only sitting on half of his buttocks, his body was slightly leaning forward from the beginning to the end, he was good at reading people's words and when he heard Song Ziwen's words he was busy licking his smile and responding. As soon as his words fell, Song Ziwen's face suddenly turned gloomy. The middle-aged man did not know which sentence was wrong his heart. Hang steeply he serves the Song family, naturally know that the Song family's son is famous for temperamental uncertain, what things are in the hands of Li Yuzhen's side have you found out yet, half a day, only then did Song Ziwen say in a deep voice. It's mainly about the anchor's contract but after our guidance the netizens don't care if the contract is against the rules, we've portrayed Chuanhai as a netizen company that doesn't care about people's lives and only pursues data and squeezes traffic, 
The middle-aged man breathed a sigh of relief and said in a deep voice, I always felt that it was a little too smooth. Song Ziwen leaned on the back of the chair. He looked out the window and probed his hand is long and well-proportioned. Index finger lightly tapping on the glass while saying the nails we buried Li Jinfei are not Tan Liang or not Feng Dan or not, all too smooth, I secretly met with Li Jinfei Tan Liang and Feng Dan, I can be sure that they have absolutely no abnormalities, the middle-aged man's expression stared up and said. Where is Chao Shall we? He was transferred out of Zhanghai by MS, Li, and was only contacted on the phone, call her now I'll speak to her personally, Song Ziwen half narrowed his eyes and said, the, the phone only rang once before being hung up, a few minutes later the same number called and the lowered voice of Li Yuzhen's second secretary Chao Shelwi rang out in the carriage. First, the middle-aged man was communicating with Chao Shelwi Song Ziwen's face didn't show any emotion as he listened carefully his fingertips still tapping on the glass and suddenly even the middle-aged man beside him hadn't made any preparations Song Ziwen inserted himself into the conversation between the two. Secretary Chao, the corners of his mouth rose and an undisguised wickedness appeared on his handsome face, I've missed your body, the other side of you hidden under your sensible exterior surprised even me, I just lightly touched it, it's like, Song Ziwen continued, that sizzling words were capable of making any woman blush, on the phone when Song Ziwen's voice rang out Chao Shall we paused noticeably followed by calling out in a nervous tone, Mr. Song, Mr. Song, what are you talking about? With some angry tone, not too long, the phone was hung up, Song Ziwen closed his eyes and tapped his fingertips on the glass, Chao Shelwi was dead, Song Ziwen opened his eyes and suddenly said, his words caused the middle-aged man beside him to be astonished. The mantis was catching the cicada and the yellow bird was behind it and Li Yuzhen wanted to jump out and be this yellow bird, we can't give her the chance to open the conference, Song Ziwen's expression was icy cold as he continued, phone, he looked at his secretary and the young female secretary handed him the satellite phone, the phone was constantly being called. The power of the Song family was constantly being awakened by one of Song Ziwen's calls, it is possible to lose under the rules. So I will overstep the rules, Mr. Song, that old thing from the Li family has long since been admitted to the intensive care unit and those who are left are eager for me to marry Li Yuzhen, Song Ziwen glanced at the middle-aged man with a sneer on his face, awesome, my alliance culture. Lu Ping and Gu Dashi Zhang Ying Ying all gathered around to watch Li Yuzhen's video call to the company's interior. The strong infectious force even penetrated the screen so that the few people who are not Chuanha are so far hot blooded as if they have become a warrior who is backing up to fight. Gu Dashi's face reddened, he clenched his fist and waved it in the air. General Manager Li is really valiant. Zhang Ying Ying looked at Li Yuzhen, her eyes were twinkling with little stars, for an Ordinary woman like her Li Yuzhen simply fit all her fantasies about being powerful, about being magnificent and about being unrivaled in beauty. I ask all the brothers and sisters of Chuanha to believe in me, stand behind me, fight with me until the last moment and usher in the final light with me, Li Yuzhen's words rang in the ears of the crowd through the cell phone, on the screen, after recounting the words Li Yuzhen stood up and walked out of her desk as she bowed to the entire staff facing the camera, oh can't do it, I'm going to cry. Zhang Yingying was a very emotional girl, her eyes were red, let's wait for the launch in. Two hours, Gu Dashi said in a deep voice, just then, Supervisor Tan Hong stepped on high heels and hurriedly walked into the big office, she clapped her hands and focused the attention of all her colleagues on herself, everyone should work don't delay the time. Upstairs, Chuanha has already settled all the final payment in advance, in addition, also issued a word if there is a follow-up in its platform sales of the company's advertising unsettled costs, I'll buy it to bear, hurry up, I'll get busy, Tan Hong said in a loud voice, that's awesome, Lu Ping watched the change in the atmosphere of the crowd and let out a sigh of emotion, if Song Ziwen didn't use any out-of-the-box tricks, if the Li family didn't stand on the sidelines this round would have been taken by Li Yuzhen no matter what, no wonder she had just bet everything on this round, time was like a tightly wound clockwork rapidly passing by, two hours later, Chuan's biggest conference room the conference room was already filled with reporters from all the major platforms. Li Yuzhen surrounded by the crowd of Chuan Hai stepped into the hall with a solemn and majestic expression just as she stepped in all the cameras were aimed at her and countless magnesium lights were lit up. Li Yuzhen walked to the conference room in front of the speaker's platform, next she will personally host this conversation, please be quiet, Li Yuzhen's cool voice rang out, her eyes swept past the faces of the reporters and photographers and just then she noticed something, a layer of unknown atmosphere was spreading rapidly around them, 
first a phone call a message then several. The reporter next to her touched her arm to her colleague next door, their faces changed, that one, Mr. Lee I'm sorry our superiors have suddenly released other tasks we have to leave a little early, Mr. Lee, we are also, our superiors requested it so I apologize Mr. Lee, Lee Yuzhen was still standing in front of the speaker's podium as she watched the lively conference room quickly become cold, a sense of coldness enveloped her, this was the power of power, our union culture, Lu Peng. Looked at the news that was spreading wildly in the chat group, he was calm and silent only to feel the hairs of sweat on his arms stand up, these big shots they can be much more ruthless than our methods, East City. China Shipping Group, Chairman's Office, Ding Qing's two legs were crossed, resting on the imposing desk as he listened to the information reported by his secretary and sneered, after sitting in this position he had the right to gain access to the sharing of information channels within the gate and at this time all of the big names in Zhanghai who had a name were all paying attention to this game between Song Ziwen and Li Yuzhen, the Song family representing the Lingnan business circle, Li. Yuzhen is in Zhanghai but is not regarded as one of their own by the Zhanghai business circle, the tussle between the two is watched by the big shots as a fun, there are also a lot of existences, at any time, they will be transformed into a hunter to tear and swallow the industry left behind by Chuanho cleanly. Things are still unclear, Miss Li did not necessarily lose just like that, Ding Qing mused, he recalled the words that Mr. had recounted during his first meeting with him, it's really interesting. The election for the new spokesperson of your lineage is in 15 days on the 18th day of the Lunar New Year, just before Yuzhen's big promotion, okay? Today is here you have decided to call me again, I will wait for you tonight before 12 o'clock. Ding Qing lifted a strand of curly hair. Hanging down in front of his forehead and rubbed it with his fingertips, he speculated from this line of thought his eyelids couldn't help but flutter associating it with a larger chess game a game in which Li Yuzhen was a pawn his song Ziwen was also a pawn and they were the generals so he himself might be the pawn who crossed the river. Why did Mr. Choose me? Ding Qing whispered, by the bund, the top CBD building, Shuehua Qing looked at the public opinion data handed over by his men that chaotic gaming power even he could not help but palpitate Li Yuzhen's mouth was covered, meaning that gentlemen saw today long ago, Damn it, it's not for me to rush in under these circumstances, is it? Isn't this killing me? Thoughts surged out and immediately became a bit fidgety. Taking out a cigar from the drawer, he lit it and took a deep breath. Shui. Huaching stood in front of the large window and looked out at the bustling river view, Chuanhan large conference room. Li Yuzhen's face was ice cold as she gazed towards the several reporters and photographers who were still packing up their instruments, being looked at by her like this, the several people obviously panicked, accelerated their movements and fled as if they were leaving. Mr. Li, Li Yuzhen's hand was still resting on the front of the lectern her slender white fingers clasping the desktop. She didn't show any excess negative emotions because underneath the stage there were still a lot of Chuanha's employees in the conference room who were looking at themselves, in due time. The third secretary Xia Ting jogged to the front with a flustered face. Li Yuzhen only glanced at her and Xia Ting tightly shut her mouth and stood to the side. Chuan has little. Friends, obviously we have encountered the biggest crisis since the establishment of Chuanha. Our mouths have been covered, our appearances have been recklessly smeared, they want to portray us as ugly. Li Yuzhen did not leave straight away. She was the backbone of Chuanho. Anyone could panic she couldn't if she fell there would be no turning back. Absolutely beautiful, powerful and tragic. As Li Yuzhen stood here, she made this place her stage, under the sound of her words, in the conference room one staff member of Chuanha was affected and touched, some emotional people's eyes reddened only to feel that the trepidation in their hearts was expelled and replaced by a fire, a fire that was suffocated. Thank you all for being able to accompany me to fight together, Li Yuzhen said in a deep voice, as her words fell, she bowed forward and stepped off the stage in the sizzling applause, striding toward the office, the sound of high heels knocking against the floor was crisp and powerful, speak, in the corridor, Li Yuzhen gazed ahead, her clear and cold voice rang out. I just received a call, the three first-tier movie stars and actresses who signed a contract with us, as well as the heavenly singers all can't come, their rhetoric is that there is a major public opinion crisis in Xuanho, and that cooperating with our company will affect the individual's reputation and commercial value. Xia Ting said hurriedly, Of course this is just rhetoric, according to my investigation, it seems that Song Ziwen of the Song family has released words in the circle whoever dares to endorse us is not giving face to the Song family, the Song family is a trillion dollar family in Lingnan mastering the domestic automobile carrier and is the leader of the Lingnan business circle, if Song says so who dares, I know. 
Li Yuzhen in a deep voice answered, also, there is also, Xia Ting bit her lip and added, our three major overseas e-commerce market channels have problems and the overseas logistics providers in Southeast Asia Europe and the Americas have announced the suspension of their operations. Although we signed a contract with them, they used Chuanwa Fault Party to pull the rug out from under them dragging the lawsuit to a few months later and we can't hold out at all, Xia Ting said with some despair on her face, from her perspective, Chuanhai is almost powerless to return to the sky and being stuck in all directions is a lifeline, leave the matter to me, I will solve it. Li Yuzhen stopped and glanced at Xia Ting calmly saying, after the words she walked into the elevator without another word and when the latter door opened she took a firm step into the office again under Xia Ting's gaze, the door of the room was closed. Li Yuzhen sat in front of the desk by this time only she was left alone in the room only then did she finally dare to remove a few points of the mask she was wearing on her face and a few hints of pallor and helplessness surfaced on her stunningly beautiful face, pursing her mouth, although she had already realized something Li Yuzhen still didn't want to give up just like that, she only allowed herself to be weak for a minute and after a minute she sat up straight again with an indifferent expression pulled open a drawer took out her cell phone and dialed home. Song Ziwen was able to overstep the bet so recklessly she had to ask her family if they were just going to stand by and watch, the phone went through, I want to see grandpa, Li Yuzhen coldly said, Yuzhen grandpa is resting what is your business, the one who answered the phone was the current head of the Li family in Yanjing city Li Yuzhen's father, when Li Yuzhen heard it her eyes grew colder and colder, are you so impatient to sell your daughter? Questioned, my Li family then to the Point of not taking the daughter in marriage cannot be, raised his voice, bastard, are you questioning your father, without the Li family you think you can develop such a career in just two years, without listening Li Yuzhen hung up the phone. Li Yuzhen understood that she had been abandoned by the family if not Song Ziwen couldn't have done this level of work, Li Yuzhen took a deep breath and dialed her fiancé Song Ziwen's number again after the bet, hello a voice with a light laugh. Yuzhen ah, if you admit defeat now, I will help you together to lift Chuan He, it will be a common cause for our couple, Song Ziwen said, hearing that hypocritical voice Li Yuzhen's body trembled. There were no words, Li Yuzhen did not want. To be just an incompetent rant, she leaned on her office chair and leaned on the blue infinite sky outside the floor-to-ceiling window. She remembered the recent discussions in the circles of the powerful about Ding Qing's rise to power and recalled the scene of her first transaction with that Mr. Liu. Grabbing her cell phone she dialed the number one last time, our union culture, before work, Lu Ping looked at the phone number that popped up in his cell phone his heart beat rapidly and fine sweat quickly broke out on his forehead, calm, must be calm, Lu Ping looked at his cell phone and only felt like he was holding a hot potato, his brain was a little confused and his panting became dull and violent, just as the beggar remotely thought of the emperor's life and felt that the emperor would roughly use a golden hoe to plant his land, the power and riches depicted on paper were no longer exaggerated but far less shocking than witnessing them with one's own eyes, once on this world to build up the cognition of the continuous collapse, run? I couldn't stop a long time ago, Lu Ping struggled hard to break out of that nightmarish state he looked at his cell phone knowing that there had to be a response and instead of connecting he hung up the number, going to the restroom, Lu Ping raised his head and looked at the messy office, his movement caused Zhang Yingying and Gudashi to look at him and responded mildly, the present occasion was not suitable nor was the thinking nor the state of mind, Lu Ping walked down the long corridor as he listened to his heavy heartbeat and he could sense that his body was heating up, the tremendous pressure caused Lu Ping's adrenaline hormones to grow wildly, Lu Ping gasped and grinned. When extreme pressure and fear were followed by intense euphoria being born it was like an extreme sports enthusiast reaching the point of euphoria when they were on the verge of death, the end of the corridor, in front of the floor-to-ceiling windows, Hello Lu Ping looked down towards the city and dialed the number first calling out, thereafter he entered the state the corners of his mouth gradually raised, calm and unhurried words mixed with a bit of laughter, it seems that mess, Li has met with trouble again, what, need help? The same building 58 floors Li Yuzhen knocking on the desktop her eyes condensed beautiful face cannot hide the emergence of desire, you can, asked in a deep voice, as long as you pay the price, of course the specific price needs to meet and then talk, Lu Ping answered. There wasn't much to talk about and the conversation stopped there, Lu Ping exhaled he looked at the metropolis that appeared to be sparkling under the bright sunlight in front of him turned around and walked towards the elevator hall, Mr. Lu. Secretary Xia Ting appeared in front of Lu Ping's eyes she bowed somewhat hopefully to Lu Ping and called out, Secretary Xia hello again, Lu Ping smiled, 
He walked into the elevator and watched as Xia Ting took out the ladder control and pressed. The 58th floor, as the elevator floors continued to change, Lu Ping remembered his reaction when he first went to Li Yuzhen's office at that time he was ready to lay down his life, when Lu Ping examined himself at this moment he felt that his mental quality had improved at least he was not as nervous as he once was. But likewise Lu Ping also found that he was not as good as he was at that time, that is he did not have the motivation of never retreating despite all odds at that time. Maybe it was because he had nothing, now he has at least $3 million left in his pocket, pfft, that's really no good. The most valuable part of me is the courage to risk my life, if I lose this courage even if I keep refreshing my intelligence I will die sooner or later, the elevator arrived, Lu Ping walked. Through the hall and the familiar corridor and security appeared in front of him, Captain Bao, do you still need to check? Lu Ping met the gaze of security captain Bo Huijun and asked with a light smile, Miss has already greeted, please, Bo Huijun stepped aside and made a gesture of invitation, the office behind the door appeared in the bottom of the eye, the magnificent woman was still gorgeous, she did not pretend to be reserved and eyed Lu Ping as he walked in, self-centeredly, she sat directly opposite Li Yuzhen, Lu Ping's face only hangs a faint light smile, calmly and Li Yuzhen straight, he was not an A. Hurry to break the silence, the initiative this time was going to be held in his hands no matter what, Mr. Lu, Li Yuzhen, in a deep voice, I have a question that I want to get your solution. Li Yuzhen's eyes flashed and a flash of unwillingness surfaced on her icy face, you in the first call with me once said this Miss Li I really feel sorry for you you in our eyes like a stunningly beautiful canary bound in a gorgeous cage staging a spellbinding play whose ending is already doomed. You never know how many people are watching your every move with a teasing gaze behind the gambit you intend to put everything on the line, and even applauding every takeoff of your career. Red lips lightly opened, Li Yuzhen earnestly word by word read out this paragraph. Her stunningly beautiful face revealed a touch of moving sadness, to this day the words that Lu Ping had stated at the very beginning were constantly being confirmed, and it seemed that Li Yuzhen really could not break free and was really doomed to end long ago, Mr. Lu. I'm really doomed, Mr. Lu, Li Yuzhen looked straight at Lu Ping and asked, of course not, if you are willing at least it won't be now. Lu Ping smiled and responded with the same words from the very beginning, he carefully scrutinized his gold finger the targets of the white intelligence basically belonged to those who were worth billions or less, and the few pieces of intelligence he had already refreshed were all multi-billionaires with special status. Regardless of whether it was Ding Qing or Xue Huaqing, they were both bigwigs in their respective circles with Ding Qing relying on Chao Sek behind him and Xue Huaqing rooted in Zhanghai being the first media giant to be active in the grey area, they were able to resist Song Ziwen's pressure and at just the right time, they were able to help the current Li Yuzhen, as suspected this is the trigger mechanism for the intelligence refresh. Mr. Liu, Li Yuzhen collected her expression and called out in a deep voice, please make an offer. Without beating around the bush, he said succinctly, Lu Ping watched Li Yuzhen understand before the eyes of this proud woman has been in the concession the face of the smile and then a few points of bright his eyes constantly floated in front of the first time to meet the scene Li Yuzhen from the drawer out of the Colt M2000 pistol against his forehead. At that time he trembled fearful to the extreme, when his secretary Chao Shelwi's forehead was stained with blood and planted at his feet his hands and feet were cold and his brain was blank, but now, the primary and secondary just changed. Emma's lead during our first meeting you had asked me what the price was for killing Song Ziwen and my answer was to be my woman, Lu Ping said calmly with a light smile on his face, this deal is in the present, still stands, lengthened his voice, Su said. Li Yuzhen's face was icy cold staring at Lu Ping as she restrained her emotions, please be careful with your words Mr. Lu, Li Yuzhen said softly, if she was someone who was willing to use her body as a bargaining chip why would she still fight against fate? What a pity, Lu Ping lamented said. Of course he knew that it would be this result saying so was just to press the latter's heart, 100 million, also, I need you to promise me three things, one second Lu Ping was still laughing lightly, the next second Lu Ping collected all his expressions excitement and shouting were hidden in the depths of his eyes, he said in a deep voice with a tone that could not be rejected, Li Yuxian didn't care about the so-called 100 million, this request she understood was just in. Insignificant addition, and when she heard the latter condition her eyelids suddenly jumped, between the two the atmosphere was as if frozen, 100 million, 100 million, Lu Ping looked calm only indifferently gazing at Li Yuzhen waiting for the latter's reply, 
In fact, when the words of $100 million came out of his mouth, his heart was beating, his body was burning, and the whole person was excited to the extreme. At this moment, what Lingnan Song family song? Z1? What various forces disregarded life? In front of $100 million, Lu Ping had long forgotten all about it. People die for money, birds die for food. How about death? Reality is not fiction. $100 million is a figure that an ordinary person can only earn by working for a thousand years without eating or drinking. Put this money in the bank, simply eat interest every year can also lie to earn $5 million. Perhaps the short-sightedness of ordinary people, Li Yuzhen. Subconsciously take $100 million as an add-on, but do not know in these two conditions Lu Ping valued this add-on. Three things, Li Yuzhen said seriously, when you are able to do it without crossing your bottom line, Lu Ping revealed a smile and added. Business was business, he could not be less aggressive because he appreciated the woman in front of him or because the woman in front of him was in the midst of adversity and reduced his chips, to put it bluntly, an existence like Li Yuzhen, no matter what it was not Lu Ping's turn to be pitted by this kind of bottom-level employee, Li Yuzhen took a deep breath. She felt sad, but there was nothing she could do about it, since ancient times red faces have many thin lives, it is nothing more. Than that, deal. Li Yuzhen stood up, she stretched out her right hand to Lu Ping, Lu Ping also got up and gripped the back of Li Yuzhen's hand, his eyes swept from the latter's fingertips, he only felt that Li Yuzhen's palm fingertips looked great, white and warm as if it were jade from the wrist to the fingertips of the beautiful lines as the most beautiful sculpture. Thumping heart, when I let go, I was vaguely still a little reluctant, hey, how much money is left on the company's books now, I know, ensure that all the money is transferred to my account while maintaining operations, after sitting down, Li Yuzhen picked up the red telephone in front of the table and asked in a deep voice. In the last half a month, Chuanhai had been burning money like crazy and the numbers on the account were already running low. Hanging up the phone his fingertips knocked. On the desktop, not hidden in Lu Ping's eyes and dialed several perhaps once in Yanjing City when the girlfriend's Li Yuzhen red lips slightly opened not yet speak the crisp voice over there came, Jin sister, the money has been transferred to your account. Don't think it's too little, all the family money is here, sister, how are you holding up? I'm telling you the family has sent word that we're not allowed to help you secretly. I don't care, I'll transfer the money to you first, we'll figure out what to do if it's not enough, sis, let's go with them, we can't fly out, but we want to see you fly out, your tail number 1247 Zhao bank account on December 16, 1845 and 18 seconds transfer remittance amount of 100 million the current balance of RMB 102785 320.00. The cell phone in his arms vibrated, Lu Ping pulled it out only casually looked at it and put away the cell phone really do not dare to look at it more for fear of. Not being able to suppress the growing emotions, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Lu Ping leaned against the back of the chair legs folded he met Li Yuzhen's gaze nodded slightly, now I will state my first request. Lu Ping's heartbeat accelerated, with a smile on his face he said slowly, you say, Li Yuzhen's gaze froze up, she had thought that Lu Ping or the forces behind him would raise it at some point in the future. Some days ago Gumas, Li had invited me to share a dinner and in the car Gumas, Li asked me to touch your legs and at that time my response was next time, I thought, this time is the next time. The scene of that day floated in front of Lu Ping's eyes, it was in the car the neon lights. Outside the car constantly backwards, the tantalizing smell of perfume in front of the nostrils surrounded, at that time his body was like being immersed in a hot spring crispy not able to make strength, his eyes through the car window looking at a pair of beautiful legs of Li Yuzhen, her legs folded the warm light inside the car fell on the leg surface exudes a hazy light inch by inch outline the most absolutely beautiful contour line. The high heel on her right foot gently hooked with her toes and then swayed, thoughts came to an abrupt halt, looking towards Li Yuzhen, only to see Li Yuzhen's stunningly beautiful face revealed a momentary dismay followed closely by a flash of shyness, please, Li Yuzhen raised her foot and said icily, she abided by the bottom line and did not sell her body, but she was not someone who did not know how to be flexible and rigid, she looked at Lu Ping, her thoughts changing, suppressing. Her anger as a woman and ruling her mind with reason Li Yuzhen understood that she had been wrong in her inference and that the employee in front of her had an unusual status and the power behind her. Secondly the other party's request to touch her legs might even be showing her goodwill. Lu Ping stood up and walked over to Li Yuzhen. He looked at the woman in front of him with an appreciative gaze, the upper body was a v-neck cut chiffon white shirt with a black shawl while the lower body was a white wraparound skirt with the hem of the skirt tucked away from the calves position. Through the hem of the skirt Lu Ping saw Li Yuzhen's slightly raised calves such as sculpted jade legs wrapped in flesh-colored stockings, 
Lu Ping explored his hand, Li Yuzhen's gaze was unblinking as she stared at Lu Ping's arm her palm. Clenched, since childhood, there had never been a male touching her body, even for such a strong woman the surface of her slightly raised leg still trembled gently, Lu Ping's palm was placed on Li Yuzhen's calf feeling the perfect touch. Without leaving directly his palm went upwards stopping under Li Yuzhen's almost fire-breathing gaze his five fingers exerted force and his fingertips cut through the flesh-colored stockings, retracting his hand, Lu Ping sat back in front of the seat, below is the second request, Lu Ping followed by another, although the condition is three requirements, but the real effective use of only one Lu Ping from the beginning intends to send the two requirements to show good, kiss me, Lu Ping. Looked at Li Yuzhen, the magnificent woman in front of him had never experienced such a battle, her eyes grew colder and colder, after hearing Lu Ping's second request Li Yuzhen did not hesitate for a second she instantly got up, the high heels under her feet were heavily stomped by her, a tantalizing fragrant breeze drifted by. Li Yuzhen stood in front of Lu Ping at the moment when Lu Ping had not even reacted she flexed her fingers hooked Lu Ping's chin leaned down and her red lips pressed against Lu Ping's lips leaving with only one touch, the next second, she walked back to the front of the position, Lu Ping subconsciously licked his lips, honestly, he only felt a burst of softness and a slight coldness in front of Li Yuzhen's lips and still wanted to feel it in detail Li Yuzhen had already left, still want. To what side in his heart, Miss Li first kiss, asked, there was no response only a gaze that wanted to kill, now you only owe me one request, Lu Ping turned and smiled, I have not thought about this request wait for a chance later, now it is time to help you solve the problem. Lu Ping continued, Li Yuzhen moved her eyes away, she saw Lu Ping licking his lips at the moment, she could not wait to take out the drawer of the handle of the Colt M2000 to give this man a bang of a gun, Lu Ping was able to deeply realize the nature of his loser, he still wanted to rub his fingertips and even the perverted impulse to bring his fingertips to his nose and sniff the stained flavor, he wanted to lick his lips and reminisce about the moment just now, for Lu Ping even if he had. Obtained the golden finger, at least for a short period of time, his essence was still that bumbling company employee which was difficult to change quickly. And in many third-rate novels too many male protagonists only acquire the ability of the moment, the mentality of the sudden change, even the fun become advanced, Lu Ping think that's very impractical, Li Yuzhen the pearl at the apex of the human pyramid, her status and appearance are no worse than the princesses of western countries, the following grasps the soundness of the top, Lu Ping heart. In front of him, Li Yuzhen put down her legs her cool gaze glanced at the calf before the flesh. Colored stockings that pulled the silk she is more or less a little bit of obsessive compulsive disorder only to feel the heart is like a cat's claw stabbing and scratching and cannot wait to take off the stockings now, tolerating her emotions. Li Yuzhen looked at Lu Ping with an expressionless face, tell me about the current situation, Lu Ping did not dare to show too much and only said with a light smile, with your channels, do you still need me to tell you? Li Yuzhen sneered but then seriously informed the other party about the current situation from all sides one by one, she was not the kind of woman who would affect things just because of her emotions, the body leaned back, Lu Ping's fingertips knocked against the desktop as. He thought carefully, his heart sighed with emotion, to mess up I am truly gifted, and I guess the same from the propaganda mouth pinch off, cover the mouth of Chuana, and the spokesman on the tampering so that your traffic has no lyrical mouth. Finally block your international logistics, kill everything even if still able to sell some goods but cannot be sent out of the shipment cannot be. Lu Ping thought, but his face did not move, I know, Lu Ping responded, continue, for so many days I have done countless previews and written countless texts, let me stir up this storm, in Li Yuzhen's gaze Lu Ping only briefly thought will and then he saw the latter pull out his cell phone, in the contacts he found the number and pressed the dial button, Lu Ping glanced at Li Yuzhen did not hide directly open the call speakerphone, duh, the sound of the call rang out in the office. The authority of an intelligence businessman never originated only from information but also from his confusing network of contacts. He was the best fixer in the night, he was able to lead difficult matters to the right people and take care of everything for everyone, as Li Yuzhen looked at Lu Ping the suspicion she had towards the latter gradually disappeared in her heart, all those doubts that were once there all of them transformed into this was a real big shot, Mr. Lu, the phone went through, respectful words rang in the ears of the two, Mr. Shui long time no see, Lu Ping said, Mr. Shui Li Yuzhen si willed as she. Kept corresponding the names of people in her mind with them, I have a job here to give you after the matter is accomplished you can raise your circle up one step at the same time will receive a steady profit share from the other party, 
Lu Ping deliberated on his words and gestures and he spoke in a calm, powerful voice. When he paused, he looked up at Li Yuzhi and saw the latter put up a finger nodded slightly and continued, This profit sharing is probably fixed at a point, Mr. Lu, the office near the edge of the bond, Shui watching's expression was solemn as he contemplated the fact that the temptation seemed to be great but the risk inside was also extremely strong. But Chuanha, Shui watching asked, Lu Ping nodded. Shui watching's voice through the outgoing for the two heard can clearly confirm the former. Tone line in the scruples and gravity Li Yuzhen gaze up waiting for a reply she did not know Lu Ping and Shui watching behind the consensus reached only as a really temporary in the lead, Song Zi one of the Song family contacted me the other day and I rejected him, Shui watching in a deep voice said, Today the public opinion analysis of my man about the various platforms is in front of me Mr. Lu the water here is very deep. A little five points, Lu Ping said, Mr. Lu's command Shui Ma should take his life to fight, Shui watching stood up and looked out the window he took a deep breath and responded respectfully, if he was in Yangcheng the giant of the Song family he did not even dare to look straight at him but in Zhanghai there are rules in Zhanghai, Shui watching you should know him, the phone hung up, Lu Ping looked at Li Yuzhen and said calmly, uh -huh. Li Yuzhen nodded she has guessed this one surname Shui and can help her solve things should only be this one, Shui Huaqing was a cautious character he was able to agree so decisively frankly speaking out of Li Yuzhen's expectations, Chuanha is a hot potato this prophet is not to say that it is able to share out just to be able to share out. Really not afraid of Song Ziwen's power or waiting for Chuan he completely collapsed in the ruins of Chuan he established another flow media group, thinking about this Li Yuzhen looked deeply at Lu Ping, continue, Lu Ping added, he dialed the second number Ding Ching, Again, he put the speakerphone on and when the beep rang a second time, the phone was picked up. Mr. Liu, China Shipping Shipping Group Ding Ching put away his feet that were crossed on the desk and respectfully answered. Hidden in this voice was undisguised gratitude. When Li Yuzhen heard it, she looked at Lu Ping one more time. Mr. Ding, is the position of this person in charge still secure? Lu Ping greeted with a smile on his face. He felt the state he was in at the moment in his body adrenaline hormones were secreting like crazy he felt as if he was immersed in a hot spring his limbs and bones were softened and he could not make any strength, he enjoyed his current status. With just a few phone calls he had set the swirl of countless people in the spotlight right, this amplified sense of power was an aphrodisiac dash slash drug that no man could stop, thanks to Mr. Blessing, all is well, Ding Qing respectfully said. Li Yuzhen heard this conversation and her eyelids fluttered up and down, I have a job here to give you, after the completion of the matter the other party will share the profit of 1.5 points to you. Lu Ping said as you said, Mr. Ding Qing did not inquire and responded in one mouthful, uh huh, I don't care what means you use after two days dispatch the shipping vessels from Southeast Asia, Europe and America to the domestic port, make sure to ship back the products of Chuanha in the big promotion on time and efficiently. Lu Ping was not polite and said in a deep voice, yes, Ding Qing responded. He was now the person in charge of the China shipping group and Chao Men's very first base. Was transportation only it used to be in the field of major rivers in the country, this solves two items, Lu Ping smiled at Li Yuzhen and said calmly. And this last item, the spokesperson or rather, the person who will bring the goods on the day of the year-end promotion, the candidates that Yu Chuanha had previously said were a first-tier movie star, a first-tier movie queen and a first-tier heavenly king, then let me ask you, is the heavenly king Lu Minghua, the heavenly queen Su Qingfei and the song god Zhou Iluan still qualified? Lu Ping held his demeanor and tone and slowly reported the three names, even Li Yuzhen could not help. But show her astonishment, these three were the ones she had hoped to invite at the very beginning only to have all of them rejected and to the level of the three of them, not to mention the supporting forces behind them, just by virtue of their titular and personal influence above, it was no longer something that anyone could threaten or pin down, the connections and resources needed to invite them are incalculable. Miss Li, I will leave the matter of visiting Mr. Yin Qing to you, Lu Ping gazed at Li Yuzhen, the eldest daughter of the Li family in Yanjing city was a little lost in thought at the moment he spoke at the right time, the words left, he also did not stay long, got up and prepared to leave, I will wait for your call, Lu Ping said, Xia Ting. Waiting for Lu Ping to walk out a few steps Li Yuzhen came back to her senses she calmly pressed the call button and said in a deep voice, send Mr. Lu. Yes, almost at the same time, the door of the room was pushed open in response and the somewhat flustered third secretary Xia Ting appeared in front of Lu Ping's eyes, snapping the wooden door of the office was gently brought on. 
Located on the top floor of the building this huge office was finally left with only Li Yuzhen who was still gazing at the door of the room and after a few moments her long eyelashes lightly fluttered, the iceberg-like cold face softened a lot. Her body leaned back, somewhat exhaustedly paralyzed in front of the seat, not knowing since when only here when no one was around she dared to remove her mask and let her vulnerable side out for a short while, the tops of her feet tensed up. Pulling away from her heels and curling her legs, Li Yuzhen's paws stepped on the seat cushion as she wrapped her arms around her legs, burying her cheeks in them. At that moment, her eyes suddenly noticed the white marks on the stockings scratched out by Lu Ping's fingernails. Li Yuzhen's eyes opened, her expression stared up, and in an instant the soft aura disappeared without a trace, and the powerful, perfect absolute goddess reappeared in front of the desk. She poked out a slender jade leg her hand pushed the hem of the skirt upwards the action suddenly stopped only because she wore a half-body hip skirt today the skirt fits snugly the hem of the skirt only dialed up to the position of the thighs and then couldn't be pushed if you want to take off the stockings you still have to remove the skirt first, Li Yuzhen froze in place, a moment later her iceberg-like cheeks colored red and standing barefoot next to the office chair she turned to look at the huge floor-to-ceiling window behind her that could overlook the entire city. Although it was said that this window could only be viewed from the inside out, not from the outside in, but Li Yuzhen picked up the remote control, pressed the button and eyed the curtain slowly closing, a second ago, the office that was still bright became dim, taking a breath of relief. With a red face Li Yuzhen removed her hip skirt inch by inch revealing her perfect curves like God's masterpiece. She was a meticulous woman and had never had an experience as humiliating as the one she was having now. Hitching the wraparound skirt to the back of the chair, Li Yuzhen removed her stockings and with a cold face she threw the clump of stockings into the trash can, this is as far as it goes, it won't be good for my colleagues to see me if I go over there again, elevator hall. Lu Ping said to his secretary Xia Ting, after saying that, he stepped into the elevator and pressed the floor and then turned around nodding to Xia Ting outside the elevator door. The elevator door closed, the number of floors continuously lowered perhaps because of Li Yuzhen tens of floors did not stop once, Lu Ping stood in the elevator his tense mind began to gradually relax his heartbeat leapt heavily he felt his legs soften a little and his back was already drenched in sweat. Sometimes it was like this when that surge of energy gave out the courage rationality and wisdom that had been held strong seemed to be drawn out of the body, however, Lu Ping knew. That he was still able to relax now, the upper left corner at the back of the elevator, the surveillance camera was still silently filming, from the 58th floor to the 15th floor, from Chuanyi to Wu Meng culture it was as if Lu Ping had gone from intelligence businessman to ordinary employee. Uncovering all the glitz and glamour, what was revealed was the ordinary masses, Lu Ping stepped in the corridor his heart became solid after turning from the corner he couldn't wait to take out his cell phone clicked on the balance of the text message and silently counted the long numbers under his breath, grinned, took several large deep breaths. In front of the office Lu Ping stopped he adjusted his state and after yawning his eyebrows and eyes look crawled out some lethargy before he walked into the, the big office, Colleagues' atmosphere is still a little bit not quite right, some people lowered their heads, discussing Chuan He in various chat groups. Gudashi tightened his face, his fingertips crackling and knocking on the keyboard as he frantically went online to line up with various black people. Zhang Yingying pursed her lips, somewhat absent-mindedly swiping through the drama, from time to time she would look behind the door, and it was also she who was the first to spot Lu Ping who had walked in her red apple-like cheeks revealing a smile of extremely pure joy, Brother Ping. The tone was somewhat cheerful, I thought you fell down the toilet, I almost didn't go and shout for someone to fish you out, Gudashi twisted his head and answered, my stomach is a bit uncomfortable, Lu Ping said with full disinterest, he sat down and looked at the screen first his brain was empty followed by the fact that as he gazed at the ordinary everything in front of him another emotion began to cover the tension of the party an emotion called joy. The strong contrast of different identities made Lu Ping a little obsessed and lustful, the more extreme the operation the more stimulating the adrenal glands, Lu Ping took off his glasses and wiped them as he seemingly said, below, it was the core of the fourth piece of intelligence Xie Yanqing, put on the glasses, Lu Ping's fingertips knocked on the desktop his eyes showing deep thought, this one did not have great wealth or a powerful family, but his position was extremely special -y. Had single-handedly pushed to formulate the rules and culture of Zhao's entertainment industry and the first batch of top artists had all been promoted by him, Xia Yanqing was a very stubborn old man, he refused to use his favors to benefit anyone, even his children could not enjoy the slightest shade, Lu Ping recalled the intelligence. 
there was only one person who could make Xia Yanqing break his rules, the only person he felt guilty about in his life even when he was in his coffin he couldn't close his eyes and his heart was left with a stalk, Xia Ting, 58th floor office, Li Yuzhen pressed the call button and called out in a deep voice, Mr. Li, the third secretary Xia Ting quickly stepped in front and respectfully responded, pacify all the colleagues, let them carry on with the work at hand, tell them that. Xuanha will not lose, Li Yuzhen's words slightly paused, she lifted her chin, the light in her eyes was intimidating and her grounded words rang out, yes, Xia Ting answered, in addition, prepare a car for me now I'm going out. Pay attention to confidentiality, Li Yuzhen used a tone that signaled orders at this moment she had to coordinate everything any weakness she showed would affect some people's confidence, I will go and do it, Xia Ting heard and felt the power conveyed by Li Yuzhen's tone, demeanor and actions her uneasy look became vivid and her answering words took on a sense of power, as she turned to leave, the sound and rhythm of her high heels on the floor seemed pleasant and good, five minutes. Later, Li Yuzhen left the building silently in a black sedan, what's all this? good guy only an unintelligible but awesome feeling. Office, Lu Ping sat in front of the work desk, the cold light emitted from the screen hit his face his mind floated and suffered he would think that at this moment outside of this office all the forces that are playing fiercely in the space, he would think of the Shui watching several people who are accumulating power, by this time, instead he couldn't do anything, changes will come Lu Ping understands the real big brother must still calmly do their own things he should also be like this. Seize any little bit of time to read used to speculate on the intelligence writing paperwork, but when it came down to it he couldn't do anything he couldn't focus at all. Regulate his breathing, try to calm down and dominate the brain with reason, failure, it was at this time that his cell phone vibrated and Shui watching sent a series of encrypted files, Lu Ping looked at the name his heartbeat accelerated he looked up at the office no one was paying attention to him among his plain ordinary co-workers, exhaling he carefully clicked on the file, this was what Shui Hua Ching had collected an analysis report on the public opinion outbursts and pushers on various platforms, all kinds of data, a mind map, red and green markings, Lu Ping carefully scanned through it and was inwardly silent, Mr. Shui's ability to collect information is still as outstanding as ever and it is this point of yours that we appreciate the most. No request is made, just edit a paragraph and click send, Lu Ping looked at sent and grinned, almost simultaneously, Ding Qing's encrypted message was also sent to Lu Ping's cell phone, the two of them had an interesting mindset, both of them passed the content through Lu Ping first before Li Yuzhen, alas, what's all this, this efficiency should be considered very high, right? Lu Ping looked at the message message as Ding Qing scheduling freight map, the content of the same detail each. Freight number is load capacity route track, Lu Ping could not determine the exact meaning of this information, what Yuan Taiping Kudan T do you were able to do? dare not return. In fact, he only had Yuan Taiping's intelligence, only Yuan Taiping's judgment and impression about Ding Qing, the real Ding Qing, whether it is as Yuan Taiping's judgment Lu Ping does not know, thinking he edited a plausible text and sent it, counting, Li Yuzhen should be arriving soon, Lu Ping took out his spare phone, tapped the navigation map in the screen and looked at the routes inside, the Bond, CBD building, Shui Hua Qing was sitting in his office looking at the message that Lu Ping replied to his gaze froze and his breathing became rapid. Us, what does Mr. Lu mean, standing up, grabbing his cell phone he paced back and forth in front of the huge floor-to-ceiling window, the area he dabbled in was already in the area where sunlight and darkness intertwined plus he was in this position, Shui Hua Qing was able to reach out to another world of the weak and the strong, brokers, intelligence merchants, the organization behind Mr. Lu, is it trying to absorb me? All of this, could it be him, their test? Thinking about this, Shui. Watching's hot blood surged with excitement and trepidation, East City, China Shipping Group, Ding Qing watched the reply his gaze was deep, fine speculation Yuan Taiping cannot do things? Whispered in red as if he remembered something his hanging head his pupils abruptly opened he raised his head his body trembled, ho, 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 Ding Qing grabbed his neck and let out a ho-ho inhaling sound, after his revenge was over he was once very empty not knowing what the meaning of life was, what he should be doing, and now, it seemed to be there, this damn life, huh, why can they use fatty Tai Zhu and Yi Yun as pawns? I want to sit on it too, let's see if none of them. Treat the bottom as a human being, damn it, on the other side, the black sedan was parked in an old neighborhood, the neighborhood was clean and the sunlight poured down on the small six-story buildings hitting the roadside through the yellowed gaps in the leaves.
There was no sense of lateness of a normal old neighborhood, but rather a story full of years and memories. Li Yuzhen stepped over the dead leaves with a clicking sound, and behind her, the third secretary Xia Ting followed closely carrying gifts. Walking up to the door of a certain building, buckled the door of the room, You are? I am here to visit Mr. Yin Xing. Please inform me that Li Yuzhen Li Jiangmo's granddaughter has taken the liberty of coming to the door, the one who opened the Door was a middle-aged aunt who sized up Li Yuzhen awestruck by the stunningly beautiful girl in front of her, Li Yuzhen nodded her head and said in a cool manner, you wait a moment, the middle-aged aunt left not much longer before walking out again, the old master asked you to go in Miss Li please also let this girl put her things by the door and take them away when you leave, the old master does not accept things. Li Yuzhen heard and glanced at Xia Ting, Xia Ting immediately put her things by the door, she followed the two and stepped into the mansion, a very unusual three-bedroom apartment only with a lot of books and a lot of newspapers, the middle-aged aunt led the two Li Yuzhen to the living room and left to pour water for the guests, a few minutes later, only then was the door to the study room pushed open and the lean old man on crutches and wearing cloth clothes stepped out and he glanced at. Li Yuzhen from afar with eyes that were filled with wisdom as if he wanted to see through the ladder, perceiving that gaze, even Li Yuzhen couldn't help but feel solemn such a look she had also experienced in her grandfather's body as if she couldn't hide anything, Mr. Yen Sheng, Li Yuzhen rose and respectfully responded. Xia Yanqing was of the same generation as her grandfather and it was reasonable and sensible for her to respect him, Li Jiangguo and I did not have much socialization when we were young old age is even more disconnected you look for me to come should have heard of some trivial things I did when I was young, but also should know I am the person most cherishes this body feathers if you trust me to do things you can leave here, old Mr. Xia Yanqing bites the words and chews the words very straight giving people a sense of transparency, it also seems extremely unsympathetic, Li Yuzhen heard not surprised, she has long heard the old man and family children's relationship is not harmonious, Mr. Yen Xing, please take a call, Li Yuzhen did not say much, but only took out her cell phone and dialed a string of numbers followed by turning the phone upside down and handing it to the old man. Even if it is Li Jianguo, I won't agree to it, old Mr. Xia Yanqing glanced at the phone and said in a deep voice, it is not my grandfather, Li Yuzhen responded, in her heart she was equally curious not understanding what means Lu Ping could have to persuade this old senior who had been a curmudgeon all his life, old Mr. Xia Yanqing heard and probed his somewhat dry palm, duffed the bathroom, Lu Ping once again sat on the tank, the leather shoes under his feet twisted the lid of the toilet. When he heard the cell phone vibration moment even if he was prepared his heart still jumped heavily, deep breaths. Until the third ring of the phone, there is no time hard to press the answer button, toilet cubicle. Cramped and closed Lu Ping sat on the tank his leather shoes twisting the toilet lid, he gripped the phone his breathing heavy and stretched out his eyes fixed on his toes noting the mud staining the edges of his leather shoes poking out his index finger to wipe the mud off, in due time, the call reached the third sound Lu Ping pursed his lips and pressed connect, hello did not. Deliberately hide the tension in the mind, voice slightly trembling. Lu Ping previously had given himself a request, cannot sit in this interval again in order to avoid Li Yuzhen installed eavesdropping equipment in advance, this time, from the moment he walked into the bathroom, the preconception he had given himself was that the toilet was full of cameras and bugs. He was intentionally showing his truest emotion nervousness, whether there was someone behind him or not Lu Ping did this, was it Grandpa Xia, Lu Ping swallowed and continued. You are, Grandpa Xie Yanqing heard and raised his eyelids, he glanced at Li Yuzhen beside him and asked in a serious voice, My name is Xie Jianwei, you should not know me, but my grandfather is Xie Haibing, bathroom. Lu Ping's other hand was hanging down on the surface of his leg, his fingers slightly bent and grasping hard, he raised his head, looked at the partition door in front of him, aggravated the last tone and read in a deep voice, Haibing? Elder Xie Yanqing's voice rose and called out, I've been looking for Hai Bing for some years, I can't find him, this old boy is intentionally hiding me, Xia Yanqing did not suspect that the person behind these two names was just no more than an ordinary and unusual person and there were some things that only he and Xia Hai Bing knew. In the living room Li Yuzhen paid attention to Mr. Yen Sheng and she noticed that this old man's emotions were violently violent, Hai Bing, whispered, there. Is a saying that things grow old and become demons, Lu Ping listened to the microphone as the old man's words became elevated, he, on the other hand, gradually entered into the state that was a feeling of the brain being in a calm state but the body heating up. 
In the intelligence, the content about this gentleman was repeatedly presented in front of his eyes, why did he not dare to visit the old man in person, why did he ask Li Yuzhen to visit him and then contact him by phone, because the intelligence has a sentence Xie Yanqing born in 40 years, once in a high position cherished the wing's good reading insight into human nature, he is as wise as a demon. The meaning is that the old man is more than 80 years old, he has experienced countless experiences in his life, the experience of life and the countless books he has read into the bottom line, he looks at people you can't hide it, Lu Ping did not understand the exact weight of this sentence, but he clearly knew that he would not be able to hold up in front of such an existence and any performance would only be reduced to a poor clown in his eyes. If you are a human being there are loopholes, most of the loopholes washed away by time and even only the person himself knows, however, when my bookcase was able to refresh the information the buried loopholes began to become known to well, a second person, nervous gasps were heard through the microphone by Elder Xia Yanqing, Lu Ping restrained his excessive excitement, Grandpa Sid don't look for us, my grandfather said that you don't owe our family anything and that it is all due to your personal ability and hustle that you have gotten to where you are now, Lu Ping did not pause for too long and continued, these few lines were refined after a week of pondering and writing hundreds of sentences, Elder Xia Yanqing's lips trembled, when the words were heard here the last trace of doubt in his heart ceased to exist. This was indeed Xia Haibing's temperament, moreover the deficit there are only two people who know about it and then counting this Xia Jianhui who knows about it is only three people, I owe brother Haibing, Elder Xia Yanqing said in a deep voice, between the words, he could not restrain himself from recalling the past, that part of his heart how could not get over the obstacle. That year, the resumption of the college entrance examination, he failed the examination, but the same village. Brother Xia Haibing was successful, later Xia Haibing's father was seriously ill, in urgent need of a sum of money Xia Haibing found himself, to put the quota, he accepted, he took the place of Haibing's brother's identity to Yinjing City, who knows, since then it has been flat on its back and once the wind and clouds changed the dragon. Xia Yanqing felt that he was replacing Xia Haibing's life and felt guilty about it and had said that as long as brother Haibing sought his help, he would definitely help even if he gave up his life, Grandpa Xia, I'm a non-competitive, the last few months I'm going to get married, but, but I can't get the money to buy a house let alone the bride price, I can't afford the dowry. I remembered the past that grandpa happened to tell and I found the president of Chuan Ho MS, Li Yujin, on the toilet, Lu Ping brought himself completely into Xia Haibing's perspective nervous guilty and uneasy as he sped up his speech and voiced his claims, gulp, swallowed again. Miss, Li Yujin promised me that she would be willing to give me a sum of money as long as I can hold this thread, Lu Ping continued. After Xia Yanqing heard it he had completely built up the image of an ordinary young man in his mind different from the old brother of the sea soldiers with a little bit of urgency and a little bit of boldness, I know, Elder Xia Yanqing's tone had much less enthusiasm in it and answered in a deep voice, Elder Brother Hai Bing, is your body alright? He looked deeply at Li Yuzhen then turned to ask, Grandpa he had already gone two years ago, Lu Ping recalled the information licked his lips and responded, those were two life trajectories altogether one was flat on his face, becoming a trendsetter in a field, the other had farmed worked and toiled all his life and finally died in obscurity. And that one in Xia Haibing had kept the secret in his stomach since the beginning and had never spoken to anyone, the exchange continued for a few more sentences, the phone was hung up, the Xia family and the Xia family's love affair was no longer relevant, Xia Yanqing handed the phone back to Li Yuzhen, speak, what is it, clutching his cane, Xia Yanqing's face showed majesty and asked in a deep voice, I need to invite three people from the entertainment industry to be the spokesperson for my company's big promotion, who, Heavenly King Lu Minghua, Heavenly Queen Su Qingfei and Song Ga Zhouiluan, Li Yuzhen paid attention to the old man's posture and slowly spat out the three names, I will help you contact, but you have to understand that this matter stops here. This time Xia Yanqing didn't refuse his fingertips knocked against the back of his other hand and after pondering he answered, please rest assured, Mr. Yanqing. Hearing the response, Li Yuzhen inwardly marveled, she wasn't sure what matter the old man was talking about but knew that it was this one favor being used, send off the guests. Xia Yanqing looked at the middle-aged woman on the side and said in a deep voice, Li Yuzhen didn't sit down for more and after saying a word she led. Her secretary Xia Ting to step away, seek skin with the tiger, but this is what you guys forced me to do. Now, it is time to change the sky, outside the door, the sky was already getting dark, Li Yuzhen tilted her head to look at the sky and when she retracted her gaze her expression was icy cold, 
after the words hurriedly sat in the car, today's farce is like a storm wrapped around Chuanha, next, she still has too much work to do, Mr. Yen Sheng, and how is it complete? I repeatedly read over and over and over again intelligence still not sure the terrier in his heart the guilt in his heart. Is afraid of Xia Haibing old man soiled his feathers or is it really a heartfelt apology, however irrelevant, Xia Jianhui later I will make it up to you even if you do not know, cramped, narrow bathroom, Lu Ping exhaled, he tilted his head, leaned the back of his head against the wall and contemplated, propaganda, logistics. Spokesperson, the three main elements were gathered, could it still stage a crazy flop, Lu Ping grinned curious as to how the fireworks would actually bloom, Ping, let's go, the subway entrance, Gu Dashi was carrying a bag and putting on a scarf, he stuck his hands in his pockets and called out after yawning, HM, Lu Ping answered. Since New Year's Day, Gu Dashi had left by himself after work, deliberately leaving space for him and Zhang Yingying. Brother Dashi, see you tomorrow, Zhang. Yingying poked her head out from behind Lu Ping and waved her hand. Lu Ping noticed that the girl was wearing open fingered gloves with a panda print on them and seemed to find it funny the corner of her mouth raised slightly, a few stops away on the pedestrian street. The glow of neon lights hit the two, Brother Ping, there are ice candies there, I'll go over first. Zhang Yingying's eyes lit up as she tugged on Lu Ping's arm and pointed, and with those words she happily ran over like a butterfly, Lu Ping was wearing a slim long tweed coat, he looked at the beautiful picture in the distance in the ordinary, his footsteps stopped, suddenly he raised his head and looked towards a building in front of him, on the curtain wall of the building the advertisement of Chuan He's big promotion was still being projected, right now, the public opinion about Chuan He on all the major platforms was still lopsided. Li Yuzhen and Xue Huaqing peered and took a new moment to enter, in places where ordinary people could not see the forces of all parties, the brewing game and storm was getting more and more intense, Lu Ping exhaled and the fog floated in front of his eyes. What I have to do now is to treat this most ordinary staff identity as a disguise for my true identity, I have to last, only then will I be the safest, the most secure, the most able to make prying eyes throw themselves at me, and if, someone in the future grabs them up and uses them as a bargaining chip to threaten me, Lu Ping thought uncontrollably, his eyes were cold and stern, in the distance under the warm light the cute girl who poked out her panda gloves to receive the two ice candies was reflected in Lu Ping's black and white eyes, sorry, I can only act more cold-blooded, even if you guys really die in this way I can't even blink my eyes a bit more. Only in this way will you be able to maximize your safety and I will be able to maximize my safety. Only then will you be able to maximize your safety and I will be able to maximize my safety, Lu Ping suppressed his uneasiness, caught in the whirlpool everything had long been out of control, brother Ping, he he, which string do you want? Lu Ping did not respond he saw that Zhang Yingying's cheeks were a little red from the cold and gently took off his coat and draped it over the girl. This one, pointed to the hawthorn flavor, late night, back home, Lu Ping sat in front of the desk for a while and it took a long time before he came back to his senses, he once again glanced at the balance in his cell phone bank he hadn't even looked at it carefully during the daytime and when this huge number appeared the thought of wanting to run away once again arose in Lu Ping's heart, no interest, Lu Ping cursed, dropped his cell phone, took off his clothes and did push-ups, insisted until his arms hit the swing, didn't read a book or opened his cell phone to watch a police movie his heart was in a state of flux and the complex and profound text was simply not readable, this time he chose a foreign movie close to the documentary Real and Cruel, time passes by minute by minute, 12 o'clock, Lu Ping pressed the pause button and after a moment's pause he put his cell phone aside and walked. Towards the bookcase, he had a premonition that the intelligence this time might be different from all the previous ones, Every new piece of intelligence was like Pandora's box, it could bring Lu Ping benefits far beyond gambling but at the same time it would also bring immeasurable dangers, not long after a new piece of information appeared in Lu Ping's hand. The palm of his hand was pressed against the thick archive bag and touched it carefully, there was no direct unraveling, Lu Ping flexed his fingers and knocked five centimeters above the winding clasp no longer the white color of the previous four envelopes, instead, a yellow color the size of a fingernail print. The hand lightly trembled, yellow confidential level document, Lu Ping whispered, Li Yuzhen Ding Ching Shui Hua Ching and the retired Xia Yanqing were nothing more than white. Confidential level documents, this level of characters by and large belongs to the zone of several billion dollars in value even if the object has a special identity, take a look, Lu Ping sat back in front of his desk unwrapped the file bag and placed the thick pile of information in front of him. I don't know what he saw. 
his right hand that fell on the desk his index finger clasped the desktop unconsciously using more and more force, the sparkling river view was in full view, in front of the bond, a private clubhouse not open to the public, six-story classical building with tight security up and down top floor half open air garden and half hall, Song Ziwen was drinking and having fun with three or five second generation members of the first tier families in Zhonghai and around. Them, there were clouds of celebrity quality beauties and there was even a lack of third tier second tier actresses in there who had acted in a couple of traffic dramas. Brother Ziwen, sister-in-law's ability and vision is really impressive, a while ago Chuanha raised funds a few investment advisors under me all strongly recommended that I smash money inside if not know that brother Ziwen must have the means really would have invested, he looks a bit baby-faced, but looks strange clamor he embraced an actress hand nonchalantly then probed into, the actress was in pain and the tears and water in her eyes continued to swirl she did not dare to resist. And even had the intention to cater to it, Li Yuzhen was indeed a bit beyond my expectations, but fortunately it ends here, Song Ziwen picked up a glass of wine and raised it to the remaining few people, smiling. Brother Song, cheapening anyone is better than cheapening us brothers, I happen to have a modest brokerage company in my hands, not much of a character, three or two big cats and small cats, on weekdays, those small stars are mainly for the brothers to have fun, wearing black-rimmed glasses of the youth herd, suddenly said. Sichuan Harvest fell, I let this company transformed into a net red economy company, also take the road of online bandwagon, brothers have to have an idea you can enter. The shares we engage together, the youth wearing black framed glasses said in a deep voice, as soon as his words fell excluding Song Ziwen several people revealed their intentions. Although their families were rich most of them were not direct heirs and they could only receive the pocket money from the family's share of the profits so that figure was not enough for them to dash around, Song Ziwen heard half squinted his eyes a moment later a bright smile appeared on his face, Ming Zheng's company I'll be the first to invest, say, how much money is it going to take, Song Ziwen drank his wine in one gulp and said in a loud voice, a few rich second generation here. Heard of laughed pour the wine or full, a few people hooked shoulders with each other surrounded into a circle, crisp wine glass collision, have tilted their heads, after a long time, Song Ziwen seemed to be a little drunk he staggered away from the crowd and stepped into the garden, he stood in front of the railing where there was still a haze in his eyes, he looked at the dreamy city skyline in front of him and behind his gold-rimmed glasses his elegant and gentlemanly expression. Revealed greed, the next day, the sky was clear. Lu Ping carried his briefcase and walked out from the subway entrance, he followed the flow of people jogging to work, stood in front of the traffic light waiting for the green light of the effort of sleepiness can not help but yawn, he had slept too late last night and the newly refreshed intelligence had left him engrossed and nervous, after crossing the intersection he stood in the square between several buildings, Lu Ping raised his head and looked around from side to side the scale of the buildings and the scale of humans constantly forming a drastic contrast, outside the curtain walls of those three buildings the advertisement projections appeared to change, countdown to the Chuanha promotion, two days in due time, Kudashi with his bag on his back also crossed the street, he saw Lu Ping and walked over to stand side by side, similarly tilting his head in emotion as he looked around at the advertisements that were still there. It felt wonderful, a feeling of being taught. A lesson. It can truly be said that the soldiers are not always in the right place and the water is not always in the right shape, Kudashi shook his head, he led Lu Ping a few people directly to complete the Chuanha mission and that rising giant contact relatively deep, he followed the opening with so much flavor but not much of the opera voice singing. I have seen a Jinling Jade Tree Warbler Don Qinhui Water Pavilion flowers bloomed early, who knows that it is easy to ice disappear, ice to see. Him up Zhu Lu, eyes to see him feast guests eyes to see his building Lu Ping smiled at his colleagues, you are dragon field enlightened, big urn, Lu Ping marveled, do not lament it is late for work, an arm around the neck of Gudashi said with a smile, furthermore you see this wind and clouds change and how can you know that Chuanha will not flip, the means of the big man is it not something that we losers can speculate on. Also right, walking into the company, in the corridor almost to the office, a ping, a ping, Kudashi looked at his best friend beside him he elbowed him and saw the latter looking over absently, go over there and talk, maybe I shouldn't talk too much, but I see that your attitude doesn't seem right, Kudashi walked towards the floor to ceiling window next to him, Lu Ping's eyes were puzzled, Ying Ying is a good girl you should confess to people, she has already worked so hard to get close. To you this last step cannot still let the girls go, Kudashi was rarely serious and said in a deep voice, what's with the feeling you're giving me right now? 
people's good intentions and you don't reject them or take the initiative like you're intentionally hanging on, I don't want you to regret it again when the time comes. Oishi, I understand, Lupin answered, back to the work table, Lu Ping poured a cup of hot water took a sip and somewhat lethargically nourished his mind, he maneuvered the mouse and browsed through the news and hot topics of the major platforms, at 8 o'clock, there were murmurs ringing in his ears, Lu Ping listened to an ear and subsequently searched the internet finding a new announcement at Chuan-He's watch, it was to the effect that Chuan Ha would reconvene the press conference in an hour at 9 o'clock, hmm, Lu Ping gave a light eep, he felt that this conference might be hiding a deeper meaning. He did not continue to delve into the subsequent plans of Li Yuzhen and Shui Huaqing and Ding Qing. This was a subconscious decision that he made. As an intelligence businessman and fixer, it would not be a good thing to continually hold everything in your hands even after matchmaking. Oh, the heat was so high, Lu Ping turned off the announcement and browsed through the discussions on several major platforms, sensitively noticing there wasn't necessarily Shui Huaqing's power in these water armies, this undercurrent it was getting more and more turbulent. Brother Ping, Brother Ping, what do you say about this launch? Will it be a success? Zhang Yingying shouted in a small voice, her eyes bright, and said, There is less than an hour left, let's see. Lu Ping answered, He didn't know what those few people were planning to play. The second and minute hands kept turning, 9 o'clock. Lu Ping was not sure what the reaction of the rest of the companies in the building was, he only knew that, in this one big office where he was as early as 10. Minutes ago his colleagues were not interested in working, they whispered and this discussion gradually became noisy, the news of the launch hadn't budged. A few minutes later, there was news coming out from among the colleagues of Chuan Ho that the conference could not be opened again and the confirmed reporter let go of the pigeon, the news gradually boiled over, the network was hotly debated dramatically, at the same time Chuan Ho Watch sent out another announcement that there was a change in the conference just now and the reconvened meeting would take place at 12 o'clock, it blew up again. It was conducted at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, bombed, it was held at 5 in the evening, bomb again, in one day's time all four conferences were cancelled, anyone can see that underneath the deep water there are at least two forces in constant play, nice guys, Li Yuzhen is crazy and Shui Huaqing is equally crazy. At this time, it was already close to the end of the day and the sky outside the window was gradually slanting in the west. Lu Ping sat in front of the work desk, the cold light emanating from the screen hit his face, he looked to the final announcement issued by Chuan He still the notice of the conference, this announcement with enlarged red title, the message is, the last conference will be held tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, and the conference will not only clarify on the public opinion, but also will be open to the public Chuan He's new spokesman, the end of the conference, that is the eight hole the conference will be held to continue the Chuan He's year-end promotion, now, Chuan He conference, all become a terrier, Lu Ping emotionally, he thought he was crazy enough and now he realizes that he is still far from it, no one who can become a big shot is a normal person, Ping, off duty, but also look at it. Gudashi probed and said, Brother Ping, Zhang Yingying also packed up and stood in front of Lu Ping with a small bag on her back, Gudashi did not leave early and the three of them hung out together in front of the neon lights on the pedestrian street ate their meals and zipped into the big players, late at night, Three unusual black nanny cars from the East City Airport, along the Pru River, the top Riverview flat, waiting room. Mr. Lu, I didn't expect you to come over, Shui Hua Cheng. Surprised to look at the man who walked in, his age is not small, but his physique is well maintained, the accumulation of years of temperament, his hands and feet are very mature charm, probing hand smiling. You see this brain of mine have not introduced myself, Shui Hua Cheng, mainly in the media circle small fight, Shui Hua Cheng said. Mr. Shui, how are you? Heavenly King Lu Minghua shook Shui Watching's hand and mildly responded, Su Movie Queen, Heavenly King Zhou, for the two of you to be able to appear at the same time I'm afraid that if this news were to spread out it would cause a big wave of rendering. Heavenly Empress Su Princess Su Qing was very young, just over 30 years old right? At the most beautiful age for a woman, and at this age she has already gotten her hands on the grand slam in the movie and television industry and the Chinese singer circle, the power behind her was very mysterious over the years but all those who dared to extend their claws to her were chopped off with their arms. After a few times in the darkness all the greedy gazes retreated, Zhou Tianwang Zhou Iluan on the other hand does not need to be said it is an era, Shui Hua Qing greeted the three marveling in his heart, to be able to invite these people here even the top families were not necessarily able to do so what was needed were corresponding favors and resources, Mr. Liu whispered. 
The entertainment circle although most of them can't reach the stage that the so-called small flower big flower basically is the canary raised by the powerful and wealthy, but to the status of Lu Mingua's three people at least Xue Huaqing needs to be on par with them and even the energy is far less than the other side, the four people sat in the waiting room exchanging something. Not much longer, the doorbell outside the house rang again, it should be Ms. Li coming, Xue Huaqing smiled and said, still a little nervous good guy how come the heat of this live broadcasting room in Chuanha is so high, the 21st day of the waxing moon, the night of Chuanha's big promotion, Lu Peng and Gu Dashi as well as Zhang Yingying have not yet left after work, a few people put together the work table manually carrying a pot of self-heating small hot pot ready to witness the final fall, you have to realize that black and red is also red, in recent days the hot search can be all Chuanha, Lu Peng said, the cold light emanating from the screen was refracted in the lenses and he watched the live broadcast room, the number representing the number of people rose crazily and the number of people online in just a few minutes broke through 10 million. Chuanha selection, a new official account, this was an attempt to solidify the traffic on the brand rather than a certain anchor, good tactics, Lu Ping marveled. His heart leapt powerfully his body vaguely excited, in a way he was the deepest pusher behind this grand event, three benches Lu Ping sat in the center Jing Yingying sat on the right hand side and Gu Dashi was on the left he ate with a mouth full of oil saw the launch start and muttered five crashes in a row, but it is normal, coke bring it to me. Lu Ping said to Zhang Yingying, took a big gulp, he was still holding his cell phone in his hand and noticed that, almost at the same time, the scripts of the major platform flips appeared one after another and countless water armies came out of the darkness, Lu Ping inexplicably shivered, although he promoted all this, but basically through the borrowed power through the fox, the three spokespersons introduced in the first session of the opening? Zhang Yingying muttered, on the screen in the large conference room the viewpoint turned to the door and two staff members dressed in black formal attire slightly nodded before pulling open the wooden door at the same time, the chasing lights fell, holy shit, Zhang Yingying's eyes widened, Gu Dashi froze he was also stunned even goosebumps rose, holding back a big move, invited all three of them? However, it's useless to invite them if those problems in Xuanha are not solved right? Should have asked Li Yuzhen to get three autographs for me, Lu Ping muttered, Su Qingfei was no less than the most popular diva under the chasing lights her beauty was astounding. Lu Ping only felt that purely from the point of view of looks even if Li Yuzhen is slightly worse but combined with the temperament it would be equal or even better, Lu Tianwang really is a man of half a century of red, Monday round an era in the Chinese music scene, these three people appeared the entire live broadcast room first lurched followed by a crazy refresh of comments, the server was shocked the picture lagged. But within a few minutes the picture quality returned to smooth and that's when the number of people began to rush high, in front of the Bund, a private club not open to the public, crowded with actresses Song Ziwen and the few rich kids from yesterday were also watching the launch, when Lu Mingwa's trio came out the face of Song Ziwen who was a gentlemanly and elegant looking man instantly went cold. A terrifying low air pressure spread from around him, the actress in his arms sensed the signs that looked like a volcano erupting and the actress didn't even dare to move holding her breath, all around the smiles on the faces of the rich second generation from different families in Zhanghai disappeared stopping their respective movements and looking at Song Ziwen one after another, Song Dong. The young female secretary walked in broadly after answering a phone call, she glanced at the hall. The unbearable scene quickly walked behind Song Ziwen and attached her mouth to his ear. Another force is beginning to appear on the various platforms, our officers investigated that these pushers are coming from Xue Huaqing who chose Ms. Li, hearing these two words. Song Ziwen looked up and glanced at his secretary his expression seemed unusual but the heart of her who knew Song Ziwen extremely well as a person thumped and she was momentarily a little terrified and her sweaty hair stood up, escape, wanted to escape, this was the instinct that would arise when a creature faced danger, I know, Song Ziwen calmly responded, he pushed the frame and continued, call Shua watching I want him to give me an explanation, yes, the young female secretary. Responded, Li Yuzhen, you play me, Song Ziwen raised his head and gazed at the screen he vaguely sensed the variables, Lu Minghua and the three of them sat down in front of their seats, the meeting continued. The host still didn't give a lecture about public opinion but instead introduced the core of Chuanha's big promotion, the overseas specialized products located in Southeast Asia Europe and the Americas as well as the the most efficient logistics team, short video playback, routes see transportation everything is clearly visible, fast, 
don't say it, otherwise I'm going to move again. Should not say, Chuanha big promotion of these products, these logistics really do well if Chuanha can give a reasonable explanation I am still willing to believe Chuanha, so many things I have always wanted, but personally looking for the purchase price is too expensive, but also not fidelity, what does Chuanha mean, we didn't come here to hear about its products, the pop-ups kept refreshing. Song Ziwen cocked his head, behind the gold-rimmed glasses the eyes that were calm to the extreme blinked without blinking as they stared at the shipping company in the screen, he felt like a clown who was being teased, he restrained his emotions, Song understanding, Shui watching side refused to give you an answer saying that your hand has been stretched too far and that some people in Zhanghai are already dissatisfied, the young secretary said nervously, Yin Jing City Li family side. Intervened, Song Ziwen calmly said, our people have not detected the power of the Li family, the China shipping group is a branch under the Chao sect and the current person in charge is called Ding Qing, the secretary said succinctly, I want to know the power behind Li Yuzhen, there is no need to look, this one we lost. Song Ziwen stood up he smiled gently and apologized to the several Zhanghai second generation and followed closely taking his secretary with him he picked up his jacket and was about to leave, at this time in the live broadcast room Chuan he hadn't even taken out the chain of evidence yet, night color, the black Rolls Royce drove into the city and on both sides the sparkling city night scene kept going backwards, you're scared of me? Song Ziwen who had been resting with his eyes. Closed as soon as he sat in the car, suddenly opened his eyes, he stared at the secretary, beside him, the female secretary came as close as possible to the car door only sitting on half of her ass, no, after hearing the words, the secretary said in fear, ah, the secretary screamed out in shock, her hair was grabbed by the roots and her cheek was pressed against the glass, the meeting continued, the audience is over 50 million. Holy shit! Xuanwu is also too miserable, these head anchors are really not something, huh? So the anchor who died suddenly had just signed up and hadn't even started his first day of work, Xuanho's initial compensation was $60,000, but after learning about the anchor's family, they gave him an additional $140,000. With this, that anchor is still willing to throw dirty water on Xuanha? Xuanhe was really offended but it was good that he survived, got it, bye, 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 late at. Night 12 o'clock, crazy right, in 4 hours the sales of the Xuanho promotion have exceeded 3 billion dollars, a unicorn, this is really a unicorn. Our union culture, all three of them hadn't left yet, Gudashi stared in disbelief. Nowadays, shopping is all about netizens going to the online store to pick themselves and the network carries this kind of goods and there have been small companies that have tried it but no one has bought it at all. The scale and effect of Chuan's promotion was the first of its kind. Chuan has set off fireworks, Zhang Yingying exclaimed, Lu Ping also followed the sound and looked the brilliant fireworks. Reflected in the night reflected in his eyes, take an early rest, ah, uh, you also rest early. It was late at night, Lu Ping sent Zhang Yingying home and said goodbye he stuck his hands in his coat pockets and turned to leave, Zhang Yingying pursed her lips and looked at Lu Ping's back, girls in love are always like this, they don't want to be separated from their beloved even for a minute. Zhang Yingying's heart was unwilling to let go of seeing Lu Ping go away she even wanted to cry a little her mouth opened her emotions surged up and she couldn't restrain herself from shouting brother Ping, eh, Lu Ping stopped and looked back. The dim light of the street lamp hit on his face Zhang Yingying's heartbeat accelerated and her white skin diffused an onyx-like redness, send me a message when you get home. Zhang Yingying wanted to say a lot but the words came to his lips, but turned into the sentence, aha, uh -huh, I know, Lu Ping waved his hand, the word of mouth turnaround of the Chuanha promotion is far more complicated than I can see, tonight is just the beginning and the undercurrents will get rougher and rougher, walking along the sidewalk. Lu Ping looked calm as he carefully reviewed the entire passage he saw tonight. Lu Ping stood at the intersection ready to stop a cab home in due course. The arms of the cell phone abruptly vibrate, glanced at C as Li Yuzhen called. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. Pressed the emotions to the bottom of his heart. Took a deep breath. The tone of voice with some smile. Miss Li, tonight's battle was a beautiful one. I should be congratulating you, right? Lu Ping looked at. The intersection in the distance, the oncoming cars kept brushing by and the driver who was driving the car late at night under those lights was imprinted into his eyes, eating water without forgetting to dig wells Mr. Lu is the uncrowned king tonight, I would like to ask Mr. Lu to witness the rise of a legend. 
Li Yuzhen held the phone in her hand, her legs folded, relying on the seat, her body turned, looking sideways out of the floor to ceiling window, her red lips smiled seductively and said, Of course, I have prepared a gift for Mr. Lu Pingherd. He did not respond directly but pondered the intelligence in his hand has been basically used no longer something that can sway the situation the new refreshed intelligence has not yet been mapped out and the probability of touching it at risk is a car crash, in other words at this juncture now if he encountered danger he could only dispatch Ding Qing's power, good, between thoughts, Lu Ping raised his head the corners of his mouth rose high and he pushed the mirror frame calmly with a reckless and flamboyant look responded, turning his hand to the clouds and turning his hand to the rain such a night let Lu Ping leave like this he is difficult to resist. Getting into a cab, left in the next city center and got into the back of a black sedan that had been waiting at the curb for a long time, it was almost over, there were already real-time traffic and sales statistics on the network with 2.1 billion viewers and total sales of 42.3 billion, Lu Ping glanced at the middle-aged driver through the rearview mirror. The corresponding name and information immediately floated in his mind, he was the earliest to obtain Li. Yuzhen's intelligence and had the deepest grasp of her information, there was no more intentional manifestation of the power of intelligence. The first time he came into contact with Li Yuzhen when he met the secretary Chao Shelwi he had to call out secretary Chao, when he met the security captain Bo Wei Jun he said his truest name in one breath, he was just an ordinary employee and this was the most direct means for him to protect himself, now at least when facing Li Yuzhen it was no longer necessary, as the saying goes when the moon is full it loses, when the water is full it overflows, when kept in mind, with his hand. Supporting his chin he clicked on his cell phone and the Chuanha Grand Promotion Live, various data crossed in front of his eyes and he noticed that this new number that was just established since 7 o'clock until now at 1.30 a.m., six and a half hours, rose 10 million powder, really powerful. It was estimated that tonight, many internet business bigwigs would not be able to sleep, what Chuanha represented might be a new sales model. The car drove into the center city CBD, the building was brightly lit, Lu Ping sat in the car and looked out and saw that the curtain wall advertisement of the building had changed, the huge $4 billion meant that the grand ceremony was approaching, Mr. The middle-aged driver stepped down his sharp eyes skimming around, looking in a few directions he nodded slightly, only then did he pull back the rear seat his hand blocking the edge of the door frame and respectfully called out. Lu Ping stood in front of the car gazing at the secluded underground garage a few black clothed silhouettes on guard in the ordinary scenery. Looking at it calmly and suppressing the desire to grin he only inserted his hands into the pockets of his coat and calmly stepped into the elevator on the side. The middle-aged driver swiped down the ladder control 58 floors, when Li Yuzhen's floor is pressed this section of the elevator will not stop at the rest of the floors and will not show the exact floor in the screen, report, black Audi license plate number CA30192, outside the building, Wearing a janitorial suit the janitorial guard who was cleaning up the fireworks set off by Chuanho glanced at the garage as he continued to carry up the garbage while whispering in a low voice. On the ninth floor of the building an ordinary program company, the slightly blonde figure yawned as he walked into the elevator room, scratching his thinning hair as his gaze swept past the six elevators to the left and right, the up and down floor twists were pressed at the same time, the downward facing elevator arrived. Instead of walking straight in the blonde figure continued to stop for a moment his eyes glancing at the one upward elevator continuing upward. He stepped into the elevator and dozens of seconds later another elevator arrived from a farther location on the floor he had left, 14th floor of the building, 23rd floor of the building, 35th floor of the building, five elevators were stopped one after the other and only the one that remained was still ascending towards the floor, report. Confirmed an unknown person is heading to the 58th floor of the building, Roger that, Zhenghai City top villa area, snap, song. Ziwen cupped a fist-sized ball in his hand he didn't know what kind of material it was made of he exerted force on his fingertips and the ball abruptly popped out followed by a dull ringing sound and then bounced back at high speed, he kept throwing it out and catching it again, the lighted living room, the young female secretary didn't dare to speak her body would subconsciously tremble when that ball sound rang out. The black-clad bodyguards stationed at different corners of the villa their intertwined network defended the entire villa airtight, my fiancé met with some wild man late at night, Song Ziwen suddenly broke the silence, his elegant and gentlemanly appearance revealed a smile that made people tremble, but the words that came out of his mouth were unusually calm, the young secretary looked up, 
She didn't know if Song Ziwen was talking to her, in reason I should go and take a look, don't you? Think so, the words left, Song Ziwen then stood up, he grabbed the satellite phone on his desk and pressed the call button his voice gradually becoming higher, bring people, surround Chuanha mansion for me. He didn't care if the one who went to Li Yuzhen's office was a man or not, he only needed to use this as an excuse to strike and no one could say a word of no, Mr. Liu. Ah, uh, the elevator opened, the secretary Xia Ting was already waiting, she bowed respectfully and called out under her breath, Lu Ping looked calm and answered. He walked into the hall with a broad stride and his secretary Xia Ting and the middle-aged driver followed behind him on the left and right, I kind of understand. A big brother can't be made in a day. Lu Ping felt his current state just now Xia Ting almost stooped 90 degrees he showed composure full of unconcern but inwardly actually in the cry and joy. If not intentionally restrained the corners of his mouth have been raised high he simply cannot do when the right in the body will be that great sense of satisfaction is ordinary, it is something that takes a long time to be in the right position to be able to have, I knew that appearing on the 58th floor at this juncture in time could be dangerous, but I still came, in my heart I am harboring a fluke, Lu Ping emotionally. His body was trembling with excitement, the soul was wanton and flailing, the unspeakable feelings that any ordinary ordinary person would feel when he personally promoted and witnessed the feast of Chuanha would make him drench and sound to the extreme, there is no way to avoid this. The only antidote is to truly and permanently become that high up, which one is it, China Sea, or, the Lingnan ones that are eating out of the palm of their hands, Black Rolls Royce, Song Ziwen had his hand propped up on his chin gazing out the window in boredom he suddenly broke into a smile and muttered to himself, he was a madman a horrible madman, pleasure and anger were invisible yet he had an unusually sharp sense of smell and decisive action, he wanted to block Xuanha. Seemingly a careless venting in violence but in reality it was him who wanted to catch the uncontrollable force behind Li Yuzhen in the shortest possible time, he even did not care about the ridicule induced in the circle, losing to Chuan he, he still has the means even if it became a unicorn how. But can't find the shadow behind Chuan Song Ziwen can't accept, sedans coming from all directions blocked off the several intersections outside Chuan Ha mansion before they could draw attention to themselves, the black Rolls Royce passed through the blockade surrounded by a fleet of cars, in the darkness. The gazes that greedily watched Chuan he were attracted by the fleet of Rolls Royces and when the identity of the owner was learned that one being revealed a rakish smile, gaze and personally shoot the closing button for the first day of the Chuanha promotion, Lu Ping overlooked the screen the sizzling atmosphere, the party including Lu Minghua three heavenly kings everyone was gazing at the camera when he tapped the button the ribbons thumped and bloomed, re-sitting in front of the desk, Mr. Lu. This is Chuanha's equity transfer agreement, please sign it. Li Yuzhen pushed an agreement in front of Lu Ping. Lu Ping turned it over and looked at it, the heart skipped a beat with it. The transfer of 10% of the shares of Chuanha Media Group, according to the results of tonight's Chuanha promotion, if it goes public, I'm afraid that it will charge a horrible price, and at that time, what this represents could be tens of billions or even hundreds of billions. This is the gift prepared. By MS, Li, Lu Ping raised his head and looked at Li Yuzhen said with a smile, only Lu Ping himself knew how hard he was enduring at this moment, this is for Mr. or rather for the gentleman. Li Yuzhen said, Chuanha has already shown its potential then the next will be the biggest challenge to develop further we need to divide the benefits and form a larger aggregation of benefits, Lu Ping showed the bottomless energy it is worth this contract, we, Lu Ping read in his mind, in that case Lu Ping said, before his words fell behind him a sharp snap sounded, the movement in Lu Ping's hand stopped, Li Yuzhen's eyes were gazing towards Lu Ping's right hand that was holding the fountain pen at this time her eyes stared up to the door of the room and a clear and cold voice followed, come in, Xia Ting was a very smart girl and would never interrupt at this time without a major event. Mr. Li, Xia Ting hurriedly walked in and called out not continuing, directly said, Li Yuzhen said in a deep voice, Duke Song blocked the building he is bringing people to your office, Xia Ting was a little flustered she certainly knew enough about that man as Li Yuzhen's secretary, hearing the words Duke Song, Li Yuzhen's expression was calm and disgust appeared on her stunningly beautiful face, honestly, she was not surprised that Song Ziwen would rush over she knew that disgusting man. Too well, Mr. Lu, Li Yuzhen apologetically looked at Lu Ping, she was still about to say something when cold words sounded heavily in her ears. Are you counting on me, Lu Ping said, the moment the secretary Xia Ting barged in and told the news that Song Ziwen had blocked off the building, Lu Ping's heart almost jumped to his throat, 
He only felt that he was falling from heaven to the middle of hell rapidly, at this moment he was the one who was the most frightened in this office, he wanted to take a big breath, but did not dare to show his truest emotions, in the leather shoes under his feet Lu Ping's toes crushed the uppers in. Death, in Lu Ping's bookcase he had already refreshed five pieces of intelligence and he was vaguely able to realize the power and grading of the powerful people in this world, and according to this grading, he was at least two levels away from Song Ziwen's intelligence information which meant that even if he relied on the weight of the yellow level intelligence when facing Song Ziwen directly, the latter would still be able to crush him to death without a care in the world like crushing a bedbug. What should I do? What should I do? Lu Ping was frantically thinking his back was already drenched in sweat, it was too late to think. Li Yuzhen's cold words came in his ears, Mr. Lu almost at the same moment Lu Ping's eyes were cold and from the time he started exercising at the very beginning the indifferent eyes that were already extremely mature were used by him. All the emotions of the entire person instantly converged, calm, expression of extreme calmness, and the extreme calmness combined with that special status was intimidating, are you counting on me? Lu Ping looked at Li Yuzhen and said, you don't know me yet so I'll tell you right now, what I hate most is to be counted, the pen in his hand was thrown down, Lu Ping's body leaned back and looked at Li Yuzhen and said calmly, he gazed at Li Yuzhen and understood that with the latter's knowledge of this fiancé of his she must have thought of the possibility that Song Ziwen would rush over, but she still invited herself, there was inevitably something hidden here, if Song Ziwen came, then let yourself collide with Song Ziwen's mind, I have only to put on the big brother to the end. Yuli Yuzhen are counting on me, I can only force you, push you up, there's not a single good person in this circle, today if I can walk out of this door alive I'll throw all the flukes in my heart into the incinerator, Lu Ping was calm on the outside, his truest self in his head was swearing and venting his fear and tension, he gazed at Li Yuzhen behind this absolute woman, the huge floor-to-ceiling windows outside the top metropolis neon lights shining brightly the distant seat of. The building outside the curtain wall congratulations Chuan Ho big promotion perfect convening scene flashes, it was a magnificent scene, junior, a beautiful rose always with thorns. Tense to the extreme, Lu Ping's trembling soul instead calmed down a lot of things to see understood, he was naive for the anger that welled up in his heart just now, that one equity agreement how is it good to take, since Li Yuzhen's point of view she is right let out the benefit I endure the risk. This is the unspoken rule of the circle of power and wealth, if I'm really a big shot. This deal is appropriate, but the problem is I'm a fake big shot. In a very short time, Lu Ping ran his thoughts clean, the way he subconsciously considered things was still based on an ordinary person, Miss Li. Lu Ping's eyes were indifferent as he called out, it is impossible for me to meet with Song Zi when meeting with him will inevitably reveal myself and die without a burial place, do you still not see it? Lu Ping carefully recalled Li Yuzhen's intelligence and asked, Please ask Mr. Lu to solve the confusion. Secretary Xia Ting stood beside her anxiously. Li Yuzhen gazed at Mr. Lu. She did not say much, only her red lips lightly opened and responded, At the same time, outside the office, 40. Eighth floor, the door of the elevator opened, scholarly and elegant looking Song Ziwen stuck his hands in his pockets and strutted out with a bright smile. He gazed at the logo of Chuanha Grand Promotion and stepped into the waiting room. Mr. Tonight's Chuanha's entire staff is working overtime, Song Ziwen surrounded by the crowd just walked in the girl at the front desk greeted him, we are no longer receiving tonight if you have something to do you can the young receptionist's words were not finished she stared wide-eyed her voice ended abruptly, only saw, Song Ziwen was smiling gentlemanly one second, but the next second he pulled out a silver pistol from his pocket and the cold muzzle of the gun was pressed against the front desk's white forehead, I'm looking for Li Yuzhen, I see cold said, the young receptionist's pupils dilated she didn't dare to move her breathing was dull, it was like she wanted to scream out but the sound that followed her tightly made her close her mouth tightly, only nodding her head forcefully. If you dare to scream out I will send you to the king of hell now, go. In the elevator, the young receptionist trembled and swiped down the ladder control, her eyes watering with tears, carefully twisting her head to look at Song Ziwen, roll, the elevator door slowly closed, the young receptionist remained frozen in place and after a while, she seemed to have reacted her feet hitting the ground and paralyzing, her lips trembled and she broke down and cried out, she was just a company. Receptionist who loved drinking milk tea and shopping with her little sister and this was the first time she felt so close to death, Song Ziwen gazed at the woman who stood in front of the ladder door like a puppet and snorted until the door closed completely looking aimlessly at the floor, soon, the elevator arrived again.
elevator hall, Ba Weijun, the captain of Liuzhin's security team, gazed expressionlessly at the open ladder door, his gaze meeting the elevator, standing in the middle Song Ziwen whose black and white eyes overflowed with a smile. Beside Bo Huijun on the left and right sides, security guards in black suits lined up in two lines. The elevator doors opened completely, Mr. Song. Bo Huijun bowed and shouted in a deep voice, Captain Zhang long time no see, Song Ziwen stepped out with one hand in his pocket and answered with a smile, It's already very late, miss, please return first, Mr. Song. Bo Huijun still maintained his bow but made a gesture of invitation as he continued. As these words fell in the elevator hall, the atmosphere froze in an instant, the smile on Song Ziwen's face disappeared, gazed straight at Bao Huijun, raised his hand and firmly slapped Bao Huijun on the right side of his face, no words were spoken, lifting his foot to take a step he was about to brush past Bao Huijun's body. Bao Huijun like a mountain of sturdy figure moved, sturdy block in front of Song Ziwen, Song Ziwen has not yet spoken behind him the black clothed bodyguard step. Forward bow feet buckle the ground waist shoulder palm and one fell swoop hit only to hear the bang the sound. Bao Weijun who was tall and big and had served in the special forces had his body slammed backward like a cannonball. Song Ziwen glanced at the security captain and with that he broadside towards Li Yuzhen's office. The Song family's sphere of influence was in Lingnan where the transmission of martial arts and boxing was prevalent with numerous Hungar Wing Chun and Xingyi factions. Song Ziwen had so recklessly overstepped the rules of the bet. The answer is obvious, why should Mess, Li deceive herself and others, Lu Ping calmly said. In the intelligence, the description of the Li family's old man's body was not optimistic and the Li family was in a moment of crisis, but from Song Ziwen's current behavior I am afraid that the change is in that old man's body, the pillar will fall, the middle-aged generation is not capable enough to hold up the family and the green and yellow are not enough, Li Yuzhen's face was icy cold, she had long realized this possibility but had been unwilling to believe it, your performance today makes me very dissatisfied, Lu Ping's hand that fell on the armrest of the chair lifted and slapped he looked at Li Yuzhen and said indifferently, I am still willing to give you a chance, let me see your determination Lu Ping said, Li Yuzhen was silent she did not think that Lu Ping would be strong to this extent and did not allow a hint of passivity she did not take the initiative to count the latter as meaning only a borrowed power push the boat with the water, if it happens then try Mr. Lu with the water behind him, but this Mr. Lu only seized a hint of words and techniques and then reclaimed the absolute initiative in there. On hands, it is just, if you are planted you have to admit it, this is what her grandfather taught her at a very young age, Li Yuzhen knocked open the drawer probed her hand and grasped that one Colt M2000 pistol in her palm, getting up, walked towards the door of the room, she had just taken a step. Bang loud bang, the wooden door of the office slammed backward and it fell at Li Yuzhen's feet splinters splattering in front of the floor, Li Yuzhen looked at the man in front of the door. The absolutely beautiful face was still calm as she lifted the high heels under her feet her heels crushing over the wooden crumbs as she walked towards the door, at this time, the man in black from the party gave way Song Ziwen laughed lightly as he strutted broadly his gaze sweeping from Li. Yuzhen's face to the man behind her who was turning his back to himself the depths of his eyes behind his gold-rimmed glasses enacting the hideousness of a wild beast, the moment the door to the office room was slammed open and the loud noise came Lu Ping's heart intensified and his body nearly jumped up, the knot in his throat surged and he swallowed in a small voice, following closely, a gaze that was like an on landed on his body. Lu Ping realized something, he took a deep breath, I am big brother, I am big brother, trying to hypnotize himself, Lu Ping probed his hand and picked up the tea in front of him, his palm wanted to tremble, he almost clenched his back teeth to restrain himself, picked up the tea lid and rattled it, bringing the tea to his mouth, Lu Ping was like this, against Song Ziwen's gaze, taking small sips of tea, he drank in the tea petals in his mouth, chewed and spat them out before anyone could. Break the silence of the moment, Lu Ping could only hear that his heartbeat was so dull and rapid he had spent all his strength just to maintain the composure of his sitting posture. That gaze made Lu Ping feel a pang in his back, what else could be done, Ding Ching, should I call Ding Chung, come and save old man. Lu Ping was inwardly disturbed and terrified he regretted his fluke but then he pushed the regret to the back of his mind reflection was reserved for the living it was a bit too early to consider this at this moment, the brain was spinning, frantically sorting through the advantages he had mastered since gaining his abilities, never mind that movement of opening the door just now was clearly another practiced one. Damn it, how come I didn't know that there were so many martial arts? Transmission masters in this world before, 
what did all the online taekwondo fakes do, Lu Ping cursed, constantly overturning his own advantage, the more it is analyzed, the more powerless, left is dead right is also dead, Lu Ping simply crossed his heart and revealed a fierce look in his eyes, the big deal is to lift the table I will pull the 10 billion dollar family to be buried with me. With the yellow classified level information if I will use it regardless of everything there is a chance to live, although it may be more than a moment to live, but as long as alive can survive the 12 o'clock tonight there is still hope, more or less a way of life. Lu Ping's heart was slightly settled he put down the teacup the tea soup splashed out a little bit to soak his fingertips, feeling the gaze behind him he understood that he could not be afraid the more afraid the more. Dangerous, do not turn around can say it is inconvenient to show but do not look up how to put off, thoughts to this, raising his head Lu Ping's eyes overflowed with a light smile meeting Song Ziwen's eyes that suppressed the beast behind the floor to ceiling glass in front of him. To the, nodding, feeling that lightly smiling gaze, Song Ziwen only felt that he was being viciously offended and the hideous ferocious beast behind his felt epidermis was about to lose control, he gasped and took a step forward, just then, Bang, only a gunshot could be heard and the bullet that shot out grazed the tip of Song Ziwen's nose and burrowed inside the floor-to-ceiling glass beside him. The curtain wall of that glass clicked and crunched and with the embedded bullet as the origin dense cracks quickly appeared, Song Ziwen stopped in his tracks as he twisted his head incredulously scarlet surfacing in his eyes. At the corner of the long corridor the security captain Bo Hui Jun was still holding his gun maintaining the action of pulling the trigger he spat on the blood-stained saliva put the pistol away and walked towards Song Ziwen, just now he had only seized the gap that appeared in a flash and the moment the gunshot rang out Song Ziwen's body had become impenetrable in front of him. The security guards raised their guns and aimed them at Bo Hui Jun, accompanying Bao Hui Jun's movements the Liuzhen security team stationed in front of the door drew their guns and aimed them at Song Ziwen security, confrontation, the two sides confronted each other like this, an atmosphere wrapped in the smell of smoke was spreading, miss, but Weijun stopped in his tracks and called out in a deep voice, I'm fine, but if they dare to make any further movements I will allow you to directly shoot. Liuzhen's face was expressionless as she gazed at Song Ziwen in front of her and ordered in an icy voice, yes, Bao Hui Jun answered, the little finger-length scar on his face twisted like a centipede as he stared tightly at the line of people in front of him, he felt suffocated. When he was in the war zone, the fun-like transmission of martial arts experts when they met their formed and modernized armed team, they only had the qualification of running away like rats, Song Ziwen, what do? You want to do? Li Yuzhen asked in a deep voice. What do I want? Song Ziwen asked rhetorically. He had a wide smile on his face and after glancing at Li Yuzhen he took the satellite phone from his secretary's hand and dialed out a certain number. He didn't hide it and pressed the outgoing call, beeped the sound of the phone echoed throughout the corridor, after a good while the phone was picked up, hello, the majestic middle-aged male voice rang in everyone's ears, Li Yuzhen heard it and her gaze froze, Uncle Li sorry for disturbing your rest, Song Ziwen stared at Li Yuzhen the smile on his face grew brighter as he said in a svelte manner, it's like this, today is Yuzhen Chuan's big day, I specially came over from Yangcheng. And want to accompany Yuzhen to witness her splendor, the hypocritical face makes people feel sick, but ah, uh, I could have almost been just now, Song Ziwen's words began to turn his smile remained unchanged but he slowly lengthened his tone, after a slight pause he calmly said, what about Yuzhen's subordinates killing? I have never been this close to death, even at this very moment Yuzhen's subordinates are still raising their guns and aiming them at me, Uncle Li. I'm so scared, maybe one second I'm talking to you and the next I'm a sieve, I'm wondering if my engagement with Yuzhen is off the table, Song Ziwen one after another said, as his words rang out he could hear the anger coming from the other end of the phone asshole. Followed closely by a loud shout, the satellite phone first was handed. To Li Yuzhen, splintered angry curses, followed by, satellite phone was handed over to the hands of Bao Junhui. After the phone was hung up Bao Junhui pursed his mouth his face expressionless without any action. And at this time beside him the vice captain of the security team crossed over and raised his hand gestured and said in a deep voice, unload the gun, suffocation, anger. However, that one bit of security still put away their guns one after another and when they raised their heads they looked to see Song Ziwen's security still aiming with their guns waiting to shoot at them. This team was first Yanjing City's Li family's security and then Li Yuzhen's forces, Li Yuzhen watched the scene with an expressionless face, if it was an ordinary woman, she could be aggrieved and angry, she could bawl her eyes out, she could be hoarse, however she couldn't. She was Li Yuzhen, she was the tiger daughter of the Li family office. 
Lu Ping held his breath as he nervously listened to every word that Li Yuzhen's father uttered, and when the latter asked the security to unload the gun his heart sank continuously, finished, finished, Lu Ping cursed in his heart, Song Ziwen let out a smug laugh as he lifted his feet and was ready to brush past Li Yuzhen and walk towards the strange man, but he had just made a move, Li Yuzhen moved her steps and blocked in front of Song Ziwen, Song Ziwen's face turned cold he lowered his. Had his eyes gazing straight towards Li Yuzhen his suppressed emotions almost about to be restrained, Song Ziwen's footsteps once again gave way this time Li Yuzhen did not block again he lightly laughed and walked past Li Yuzhen, just brushing shoulders. Li Yuzhen snapped and pulled out the gun that she had just put away aiming it at the back of Song Ziwen's head, she hadn't been able to make a move to pull the trigger, behind Song Ziwen the man in black made a tackle and the Colt M2000 pistol in Li Yuzhen's hand was knocked to the ground in the flash of light. Song Ziwen stopped, lowered his head, and looked at the firearm. Snap, his eyes were ruthless. Raising his hand, it was a slap, a solid slap on the face of the secretary beside him. Half of that young secretary's cheek swelled red at a speed visible to the naked eye. Song Ziwen was expressionless as he continued to walk towards Lu Ping. The sound of footsteps was only a stone's throw away from his ears. Lu Ping was silent, the sweaty hairs on his arms stood up, his heart hung in the air. Then the corners of his mouth lifted lightly as he once again reached out and twisted the tea and brought it to his mouth, his posture was calm and collected, Song Ziwen, Li Yuzhen did not know when she had taken several steps back and even more so she did not know where she had once again pulled out a palm-sized lady's gun, she was expressionless, she placed the muzzle of the gun against her forehead. Calmly called out, in front of Song Ziwen's forehead veins exploded as he took off the glasses in front of the bridge of his nose and put them back on, he twisted his head and looked at Li Yuzhen. At this time, Li Yuzhen was tinted with some absolutely beautiful and tragic colors. Her destiny was doomed like a thorn bird, like a flower on the other shore, under the same sky, Yanjing City Li family. Li Yuzhen's mother noticed that Li's father pushed open the door and headed towards the study, and after a long time, she also carefully got out of bed. Putting on her clothes, she walked towards the mansion. It's me, madam. How long has the old master been awake today? Li residents specialized intensive care ward and medical team. When Mother Li entered, the 24-hour physician in charge was busy welcoming her. Li mother stood outside the ward, through the glass looking at the house. Wearing a respirator, the body inserted with a variety of testing equipment, the old man is the day of the Li family, even one more day to live, but also a day of deterrence, he should have died a long time ago. For the sake of these uncontested descendants hold out until now, Li Yuzhen's mother is called Zhang Wanyu, born in the Jiangnan region. Unlike the Yanjing city Li family, it is just an unusual bookish family. When young, Li Yuzhen's father Li Chong Yan was in his prime waving his hand a good young handsome. He traveled down to Jiangnan and drew out the best of the best attracting the gentle water town woman Zhang talking rain with just one glance. The old man is an enlightened son like it is, of course, from a certain point of view, this may also be one of the reasons why the Li family has fallen into disrepair. Famous families, why more marriages, not only the union of resources, but also exists in many areas you will be a lot less stumbling increase on a lot of help, this one before and one. After, then not one plus one equals two that's simple, dr. One, I want to see the old man, Li mother gently said, Madam, the middle-aged physician showed hesitation always elegant and quiet mother Li's eyes opened the aura of a high-ranking person poured out the physician was busy lowering his head and respectfully responded, Please wait a moment, Li mother put on the isolation gown, carefully disinfected her hands. She relaxed her breathing footsteps and walked to the front of the hospital bed when looking into the warm light, the old frail almost completely with modern medicine to maintain life, Lee Mother's eyes red choked out a sob, sitting on the side, Lee Mother was restless and anxious she reached out several times, but her fingertips shrank back when they touched the old man's mattress, she couldn't bear to wake up the old man, letting the latter still worry at this time, but the same heartache. Zhang Hai's daughter Li Yuzhen, cough, just at this moment, the silent intensive care ward was broken by the sound of coughing and the old man's eyelids trembled then opened. Words rain, elderly Jianguo was even struggling to speak his cloudy eyes noticed his daughter-in-law and rested for a moment before calling out under Li Mother's excited gaze, the old man's voice rang out, Li Mother's tears could not stop rolling down, don't cry don't cry, there is the old man in, the sky, the sky won't collapse, the old man couldn't move, his shriveled palm effortlessly nudges the back of Mother Li's hand, holy shit. Really, it's a big game, Lu Ping threw his 
Reflection in the curtain wall, saw Li Yuzhen's gun being knocked down followed by the latter pulling out his gun and pressing it against his forehead, his heart stopped and his body was going limp, it was better to have the jade broken than to have it broken, Li Yuzhen did it, Lu Ping recalled Li Yuzhen's intelligence and he was able to say this with certainty, and if Li Yuzhen really died in this office then the already chaotic situation would completely storm out. I'm just an ordinary little person, don't involve me in such a whirlpool, scream, screamed in the bottom of his heart, right now he couldn't do anything the only thing he could do was to continue to carry the mysterious posture of a big brother, Yuzhen, Song Ziwen really stopped and raised his hands calling out gently, why are you so tense, I'm not some kind of flooding beast, man-eating tiger, I just heard that there are some powerful people behind you Yuzhen and wanted to come over to pay a visit, Song Ziwen revealing a gentle smile said, Yuzhen put the gun down first, he eased up, Song Ziwen's voice was ringing in his ears and his figure was about two steps or so apart from himself, Lu Ping gazed at the changes behind him and when he saw that Song Ziwen had indeed softened somewhat he exhaled slightly. He had not expected it, with just one sentence he had forced Li Yuzhen into such a state, Oi, hello, the gentleman over there, you talk to Yuzhen and ask her to put down her gun, then we'll have a cup of tea and talk together. Oh right, I've also brought some dragon wells picked from the old lion peak well here, Song Ziwen turned his gaze to Lu Ping who still had his back to himself as if he was watching a good show raised his voice and shouted. Lu Ping's toes clasped the soles in his leather shoes, Song Ziwen was very smart he keenly captured the only figure in the room who could calm down the atmosphere and immediately opened his mouth, he shouted like this. In the room, the frozen atmosphere, the taut, even trembling subordinates and secretaries all turned their gazes to the back of the table, they held their breath, their hearts beating violently, if Li Yuzhen really died in this room one of those present would be finished, Li Yuzhen who was holding up her gun and pressing the muzzle against her white forehead her eyelashes fluttered lightly and she actually looked at Lu Ping as well, not daring to move, restrained the trembling arms. Fortunately, Fortunately, underneath her feet, there was no one in the soles of her shoes who could peer in, at this moment Lu Ping almost vented all of his stress and fear on his forefoot, his toes tightly together deadening the sole. Inch by inch, he rubbed over, a light smile hung on Lu Ping's face, a smile that had almost become his mask, the brain briefly went blank, hadn't thought of a way to say it yet, in front of everyone's eyes Lu Ping probed his body, picked up the tea once again and took a sip calmly and calmly a long short sip of tea and then holding the tea light he looked towards Song Ziwen's shadow within the curtain wall and calmly said, Mr. Song, how is MS? Li because you want a visit then so, Lu. Ping said, pause, send the tea to the table he exhaled a small breath feeling that when the first sentence opened he found some state the smile on his face convergence, a bet was a bet, the palm of his hand slapped towards the mahogany armrest. Snap, snap, a dull ringing sound echoed in the office in the ears of the crowd. Lu Ping did not have the intention to turn around still turning his back to Li Yuzhen and Song Ziwen with some cold words ringing out Mr. Song is so not keeping the spirit of the contract, stretched the words cold, then raised abruptly said the second half of the words, may not have the qualifications to sit in front of me, boom. This sentence was uttered no less than a thunderbolt exploding in the heart of secretary Xia Ting exploding in the ears of Song Ziwen's secretary exploding in the heart of Li Yuzhen, what is Song Ziwen's status, the first son of the Lingnan Song family and the Song family, the wealth under its command is more than a trillion dollars. More than that, it is the absolute head of the Lingnan business circle and the capital system he represents does not occupy the slightest advantage over even the old families in Yinjing city. In the end, what kind of existence could have the courage to not give Song Ziwen face like this, the smile on Song Ziwen's face froze, then converged, replaced by coldness and shoddiness, Old Kai, Song Ziwen shouted, his words rang out and almost simultaneously the black-robed middle-aged man behind him had his fist stance pulled back like a tiger or a leopard and his essence stared up at Lu Ping, this was like a solidified aura or killing intent, Lu Ping's scalp was numb and goosebumps. Appeared, death, he smelled the scent of death, ringing office, the crisp phone rang. Secretary Xia Ting's eyes widened at a loss for words but soon she reacted only those few people should be able to dial her number at such an important moment, Madam called. Xia Ting looked towards Li Yuzhen almost on the verge of crying, mother's health was not good, the gun in Li Yuzhen's hand was still staring at her forehead and she only said in a deep voice, hello, Mrs. Xia Ting answered, it's me, hoarse and pale, but the words in the puff of majesty rang out, hear this voice, 
Strong as Li Yuzhen's absolutely beautiful and tragic face first revealed incredulity followed closely by her eyes were red but soon she hid her emotions, when the black. Clothed middle-aged man saw Song Ziwen raise his hand he also collected his locked essence, it was saved, Lu Ping breathed a sigh of relief, take a look, see what I just said? Those who do not honor the spirit of the contract are not qualified to sit in front of me, fuck, fuck, fucking awesome, the building, 58 floors, Lu Ping raised his head to be able to see the most brilliant city night scene behind him Li Yuzhen, Song Ziwen atmosphere is depressing frozen, a short period of safety allowed Lu Ping to withdraw from the extreme tension of the party followed by another wonderful feeling bursting in his body like a cosmic singularity exploding, he was hearty, he was excited, that was the adrenal hormone secreted after dancing with death and surviving temporarily, Lu Ping recalled what he had just performed, he marveled thinking that this was the miracle of life, he was just an ordinary clerk but he had rebuked the predator at the tip of the pyramid tower with the posture of a big brother. Could a loser press a powerful person who was more powerful than Wang Xiaotsong and then smack him with his palm? Grandpa, Li Yuzhen brought her cell phone in front of her she pursed her lips only feeling that she had disgraced her grandfather for a moment before calling out, Yuzhen I've heard it all, Chuan Hunt did a great job, worthy of being my Li family's tiger daughter, warmth flowed from the old voice, after that the words changed, Yuzhen turn the phone on I have a few words to say, it's on, go ahead Grandpa. Call Captain Zhang Wenrong to me, the Li family's old man's voice was not high but very calm and powerful and the majesty that naturally flowed out of his words made no one dare to relax the slightest bit. Chief Zhang Wenrong is in, Bao Huijuan's alias was Zhang Wenrong but he had almost forgotten his real name, when he heard the call his lanky figure cut through the crowd and stood upright in front of Li Yuzhen leaning his hands against his legs as he shouted in a loud voice, when I first asked you to follow Yuzhen I asked you to protect her, can you do it? The old man of the Li family asked calmly through the phone, Bao Hui Jun's tiger eyes were red and he did not respond, himself and. The others gave up resistance and let the outsiders raise their guns on the young lady, hand over the fate to others, is this how I taught you? The words of the old man of the Li family rang in the ears of everyone in the office. There was no rebuke, the tone was calm, but these few sentences for Bao Hui Jun is no less than a heart torture, he lowered his head his tigerish body trembling. I am very disappointed in you, the old man of the Li family said, get lost, continued to say, is. Men have tears Bao Hui Jun is even more so and several years ago he was almost about to die on the battlefield relying on a breath of air to climb out from the pile of corpses without blinking his eyes much, but now he had tears in. His eyes and his throat knots welled up as he answered in a deep voice, chief, he was about to leave, his steps stopped, you take care of your health, got it. Bao Hui Jun took a broad step he did not walk out of the office but just stood behind Li Yuzhen like a lance. This is the aura of a big shot the takeover and mastery of the atmosphere and rhythm of the scene, Lu Ping listened carefully, he was shocked in his heart regarding the information about the Li family's old man he had only glimpsed a little through Li Yuzhen's intelligence but just those were enough for him to understand what kind of existence this was, a true tower of the top. Damn it this old man's words and breathing didn't sound like he was dying. Was the information wrong, or was it? Something else, Song Ziwen's spelt face was filled with respect but in his heart he cursed the worst words, at his level even if he was mad he was mad in a controlled manner, why was he so aggressive towards Li Yuzhen, there was no lack of testing Elder Li's body, this is like go, if you take a step back and show your cowardice you will be taken a step further and eat a piece more. Is Song Ziwen on the side, Elder Li turned his words to another as he said in a deep voice, deal with family matters first then the front mouth to the outside world or rather use Bao Weijun to create a shocking atmosphere and show his attitude in order to knock the mountain and shake the tiger as a purpose, Grandpa, Ziwen and the Song Ziwen where there is still a strange clamor he showed a good face and respectfully answered, I'm not dead yet why be in such a hurry, elderly calmly said. Through the phone, Song Ziwen eyelids fluttered a trace of uneasiness surfaced in his heart busy respectfully said, Grandfather misunderstanding I just want to come to celebrate Yuzhen, enough, the tone was raised, Song Ziwen immediately closed his mouth he felt the pressure from the old man his eyes flickered constantly thinking about something, the previous sentence ended. The phone fell into silence, even so not a single person dared to make an extra move, after a long time the Li family's old man's words which could not be rejected sounded once again, hand over the Song family's business in the northern border, or you and Yuzhen's marriage will be called off. His words fell, Song Ziwen's eyes widened abruptly and real panic appeared on his handsome and gentle face, 
Elder Lee's knife was practically stabbing him and the Song family in the vitals, giving up the Song family's business in the northern border was equivalent to cutting off an arm, and ending the marriage between the Song family and Li Yuzhen would be even more unacceptable for the family's next plans. Elder Lee was calculating all of this and wanted the Song family to break their arm, fine sweat broke out on Song Ziwen's forehead as he gasped for air shouting under his breath, Grandpa, Ziwen was wrong, it was Ziwen who was wrong, well I'm a bit tired you also roll what is it let your old man speak, an old voice rang out, Song Ziwen's mouth opened his eyes were shadowy bowed and said, then Grandpa rest early, after the words were spoken he led the people turned around and walked. Towards the outside of the office, stepping in the corridor, the beast in human skin seemed to be unable to restrain himself any longer, he twisted his neck his fists clenched his nails digging into the flesh. Song Ziwen was wondering if it was the Li family that was doing this, purposely releasing the news that the old man was critically ill just to get the Song family's business in the northern border. Great, this is big brother, in the future I might be able to be like this too, Lu Ping almost cheered for the old man, Yu Jin, is that gentleman who helped you nearby? After pausing for a long while, the Li family's old man's voice suddenly once again said, Lu Ping's heart hung in the air, and Li Yuzhen looked towards Lu Ping who was sitting in front of the desk, she felt more and more alarmed by the mystery of the latter's identity, let Mr. answer the phone, the old man of the Li family said, the phone, just like this was handed to Lu Ping. Lu Ping did not want to pick it up, but he noticed Li Yuzhen's gaze and knew that at this time, he likewise did not have the time to hesitate, and with a subdued light smile on his face, he brought the phone in front of him, I have long heard of the elegance of the Li family's old man and now that I have a chance to see him, it is really admirable. Lu Ping said mildly, how could he not have imagined that he would have the time to act like a big brother in front of the old master Li Jianguo of the Li family in Yanjing City, saying more is more wrong, respond to all changes with no change, Lu Ping reminded himself as if in his heart.